Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Join us for the Tales of Jade. This is a gemstone that has been revered for well over 4,000 years. It has been uncovered in archaeological sites dating back to the Neolithic era. Every single dynasty that has ruled over China has valued this stone above gold, and us mere mortals are never meant to own it. After visiting Myanmar in 2018 and hearing about the stories from that part of the world, from that side of the border, we wanted to bring to an event where we uncover the true tales of Jadeite, steeped in folklore and mystery. This event is where you collect so you get to experience all the different varieties, all the different colors. Essentially, every Jadeite we have ever acquired, that we have ever procured from the Far East, will be available for a limited time only and for the best and incredible deals. This is your chance to get your Jadeite happily ever after. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Do I pass as a mermaid? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. I'm just missing my shells. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yeah, I've made it to fit. I'm like Daryl oh, Hannah. Oh, I wish. I wish. Oh my goodness, Gemma. It looks so lovely on you. Oh, oh your masterclass today. Let's put it on her so you can literally. Yeah. So you can, you, you, can, you can show everybody up close and personal your work of art. And it is a work of art, isn't it? Literally. I, I've had a go at wire work and I'm utterly useless. Useless at wire work. I remember making one piece and everybody in the office laughing. It was that horrendous. You know which piece I'm talking about. You remember? I remember. Oh, you do. You do. You're just being polite. <laughs> That's a work of art. And this is t today coming up at 12 o'clock. So if you want to know how Gemma made this and the kits, literally you've got the full shaboodle. Yes, got everything. Everything. And I've seen, I'm going to have to have my app on or I'm going to have to tell you order, order, because I haven't got my phone I have yet. seen all I the shells and all the things coming up as well. And I, I love all that stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my goodness, Gemma. I mean, I've been admiring it, the progression, really, on yeah. social media as well. So 12 o'clock today with the wonderful Gemma Crow, um, this absolute work of art. And headdresses and things like that are all the rage again, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. Jewelry for the hair and the head yeah. is, is a big deal. And face jewelry, it's all... It's all back. Yeah. Even and my six-year-old... Oh, God, if Willow saw that, my goodness me. <laughs> my goodness me, she'd be in her element. She'd be like, Mummy, look! Yeah. Wow. It, wow. It, it's pretty, isn't it? And, you know, who doesn't love mermaids? Exactly. Exactly. I'd worry if somebody did. did. Yeah, I would yeah, worry. I um, Gemma Crow, everybody, is in the studio. What a delight it is to see this gorgeous lady. You've also got some amazing kits I in the have. nine o'clock hour as well. Just gifting kits, yeah. So they make lovely gifts and they come in gift boxes as well. So you can, Oh, do they? If you've made them, you can package them back up. And so, 
I mean, look at those. I mean, I know it's only August and we're in literally a, a, a major heat wave right now, but think Christmas. And you do have to plan ahead, don't you, if you're a crafter. That's OK. I've always got my coffee on the desk as well, oh, Gem, don't worry. Um, but yeah, you have to plan ahead if, you, if you're a crafter because these kind of things don't materialise overnight, do they? No. Um, so you said giftable. I mean, I would love to receive something like yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Me too. They're lovely, really nice gemstones. The pearls, the peach pearls are absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, really lovely quality. Well, um, um, super affordable. And speaking of planning ahead, we're going to try something a bit new. So, for the first time, I think possibly in jewellery maker history, this is bold, mm, yeah. everything with Gemma and I, not the, not the, uh, the, the jade section of the show, everything even the 12 o'clock kits and you're quite worried about this aren't you um because thinking they might actually sell out so is available on pre-order now so if you if you're thinking i want to make that and most importantly i want to purchase the kit so i can literally sit back at 12 o'clock and watch um then shop ahead everybody will pay the final low price tag we do it on Sewing Street. Um, we may well even do it on Hobby Maker. But yeah, if you have a little look on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Watch live. There we go. Click on our mugs. You can send us a lovely message as well. Hopefully it is lovely. Not nasty messages, because yeah, I don't think we'd show them. <laughs> um, there we go. Ben likes quiche. There we go. I love quiche. Um, if you scroll down, now they are at set prices, but that doesn't mean they're not going lower. In fact, I can guarantee they, be, they, they, they definitely are going lower, yeah. So, um, and even if you check out now, everybody will pay that final low price tag, honestly. So well, I don't believe we've ever done pre-order on an entire show, with the exception, with the exception of the 10 and uh, 11 hour. So for example, what Ben is circling right now, there are two of those. There's two left. Already people are shopping ahead on these. And Classic Ben, loads of items are available on the website which have only ever been seen previously in kits. Now, why is that, Gemma? Do you know why? No. Do you know why Ben gets to see products uh, that have only ever I've been... I've got out? an idea. Have you got an idea? I've got a good idea. It's Insider knowledge. Inside... <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Producer Ben and lovely Alice from our kit team, they are in love. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've gone a few steps ahead. I know. Right? I like to embarrass them. Yeah. It's all right. They should be used to it right now. And right now, I know Alice is embarrassed as well because she's really lovely and shy and everything. So, um, but yeah. So yeah, loads of items on the website which have only ever been seen in kits before. She is a very good egg and beautiful too. Um, yeah. An absolute hottie. Um, yeah, always been tied up in kits before, which is wonderful, but for the first time ever available to you. So take a little look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, and of course, you can shop ahead. Now, let's talk about your early bird because you have got some absolutely beautiful uh, faceted sapphires, totally and utterly natural with the drill hole running through. And Anne and Sue have created some lovely little stacker rings with these. Super, super quick makes. Um, genuine sapphires, of course full regal rich very much the cashmere like color saturation they're available within this hour not just yet though not just yet you can shop ahead and pre-order on it but we're not doing it just yet likewise you know yesterday when we had that um we had the high goo ring yesterday and i put my my engagement ring behind it never mind that how about putting your own stone this is a natural singida zircon so for those of you that were maybe have donuts or high goos um in your stash already literally um pop that in the center and away you go you know like what we were discussing yesterday dave and i it'd be perfect wouldn't it um okay now let's get cracking shall we because time is ticking by already now let's do a meter of beautiful gold stone shall we a meter, lots of meter long length strands coming your way, including amber, which I think will look absolutely amazing. Are you kicking bins again? Yeah. Kick the bucket. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't kick the bucket. We'd rather not. We'd rather, we'd rather not. After the 12th. <laughs> no, not after the 12th either. Don't kick the bucket. Why, what's happened on the 12th? 
No, after the 12 o'clock. Oh, right. <laughs> Make sure we get the, get the demo in don't first. Don't the bucket. We, don't, we love you too much. Um, beautiful goldstone, a wonderful man-made gemstone, um, bringing you that beautiful, absolutely beautiful spectacle um, of glittering suspensions again. They are, they are man-made, um, but very, very popular amongst our lovely jewellery makers. £5.99. Not for a 38 centimetre strand. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's amazing. That's nearly three strands of gemstones. So <laughs> Precisely. You're going to need amazing. to be quick, though, on those phone lines. Yeah, our Ben, he's, he's not shy of bringing the deals. He's not shy at all. How many do we have of these, then, Ben? OK, we've got 52 of these available, and they're already flying out the door. Um, rapidly, actually, approaching your single figures. Five pounds and ninety-nine pence, not for a thirty-eight centimetre strand, for a full metre long length. Beautiful, beautiful goldstone um, in your six millimetre round. So those of you that do things like your kiss cross, those of you that mm. do things like your stretchy bracelets, ideal for that, yeah. Oh, the single figures. Oh. We're in the single figures. Um, <laughs> if you like it, you've got to make a ring with it. I see what you did there. It's good. Good. Yeah, it's good. Channeling is in a Beyonce as yeah, our yeah. Ben right now. <laughs> yeah, B. Yeah, Queen B for Ben. <laughs> I'm just imagining that you doing the dance, Ben. Just imagining that. Five ninety nine only. Can I see our lovely viewers? I can't see their names yet. <laughs> no, it's all right, Ben. Ben, they don't, you don't you don't see it on Sewing Street, do you? So uh, whereas we get the chance to say hello to everybody, Lisa, Helen, Alison, God, oh, it's sold out. Oh. Well done, well done, well done. Um, if you love your meter long lengths, don't you worry. We've got more where that came from. <clears throat> In fact, oh my goodness me, I can't quite believe that we do oh. amber by the meter. meter. No, that's ridiculous. I mean, just knotted and overhead oh. style um, necklace would be gorgeous with that. Oh, I like that as a long line. They're big pieces of amber as well. They aren't they? Yeah, they really are. I mean, imagine that in a mala. Anyone oh, made gorgeous. a full amber mala? Oh, wouldn't imagine that be beautiful? That would cost to buy if you... Yeah, exactly. It's gonna, it, you know, it's gonna cost a pretty penny, isn't it? Because amber, let's be frank, but in most places is is, is a boutique gemstone, um, and it does t tend to come with a pretty premium. And that's because, of course, it is, well. Ancient. It's a gemstone literally from millions of years ago, a fossilised resin. It's what we call an organic gemstone. And it comes, do you know, it comes in over 250 different colours, Amber. Mm. We now know that down to seven for ease. But yeah, there are different, lots of different variations, I suppose, um, of Amber. And you'll notice in this strand, you've also got your opaque butterscotch variety, which is incredibly rare. In fact, I learned at Tucson, it's the rarest variety. 49 pounds and 99 pence. Think how many Amber bracelets you're gonna make out of this. Think how many Amber necklaces. Um, if you go on to Not on the High Street, which I do, I, it's what, I, I like that app, I think it's really good, and it supports local businesses as well. Amber jewelry is so expensive on there and I always look at it thinking our lovely viewers could make that mm. they could make that at a fraction of the cost yeah. but I'm really feeling I'm really feeling Gemma mm. an amber mala yeah I think I mean that would be spectacular wouldn't it oh wow do you know what Mr Gibbs is feeling right now yeah. producer Ben Gibbs he's feeling a little price reduction it's already at 49.99 to be honest a strand would have been that not so long ago yeah. wouldn't it yeah you know an amber wasn't always 38 centimeters was it no 39.99 not for just a 38 centimeter strand for a full meter long length i i, I i'm shopping again today yesterday ben you made me shop but i'm you're gonna make, make me shop again today aren't you I know I'm shopping today. Oh, <laughs> are you ready to spend some money, I'm, Gemma? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's just essential. I'm just going to have to. Going to have to because Ben's yeah. bringing all the deals. Yeah, he is. All the deals. Um, again, limited in quantity already. Lots of you pouncing on this deal knowing that we don't see amber, firstly, very often. And secondly, we don't see a metre long length at under £40, ever, maybe. I don't think I have, anyway. Um, there are, oh gosh, already only 19 of these remaining. Uh, make sure you do check out those baskets, everybody, <laughs> um, to guarantee uh, guarantee your success. Hello to you, Dorothy. Hello to you, Margaret, Heather, Suzanne, Alison, Jenny. Hello, Marjorie. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Ruby. Hello, Janet, Jeanette. Hello to you, Julie, Simon. Hello to you, Catherine, Margaret and Elizabeth. London, lots of new buyers 
is getting a oh, welcome to the wonderful world of jewelry maker we're a little bit bonkers mm -hmm. but i promise we've got good souls haven't we yeah i think yeah. so yeah, i think i think we have yeah good souls yeah. yeah i'd like to think so i'd be quite upset if people thought <laughs> otherwise <laughs> I think I think we yeah yeah good souls good souls down to definitely the final bonkers. yeah a definitely bonkers yeah. Yeah. as a box of frogs <laughs> uh, Janet hello to you send your messages in as well so we can say uh, good morning to you stay cool today isn't it meant to be ridiculously hot I mean it's hot now yeah yeah it is hot now it's hot it's not just me it's hot in the studio mm. No, no, it that's, is me that's then. You. I reckon my thermostat's <laughs> broken, you know. I reckon my thermostat's good. Perhaps, perhaps I'm pre-menopausal. I think this is lovely in the studio. <laughs> Poor Stephen yesterday was his, his teeth were chattering. I reckon it's me. Sorry, Stephen. Yeah. I'll get used to it. I promise. Um, stay cool, everyone, because it's going to be um, obscenely hot today. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Should we do a bundle? A beautiful bundle and a perfect combination oh, as well. Lovely. Do you know oh. I could use these two together? That's a Doesn't really nice work? idea. Yeah. Tell you what, he's good, isn't he, yeah, Ben? He's good. Guess what? These have never been seen outside of a kit. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous. What a tinker. I mean, this is your ultimate. You know, if you're preparing for craft fairs and Christmas fairs, Tiger's eye stretchy bracelets, I think, are one of the most popular because they're so... People know it. Yeah, and they're, they're so unisex, and everybody loves it, whether they love it for the colour or the, the light play or that mm. lovely sort of tiger's eye effect. They, they love it, and it's a perfect size <gasps> for stretchies. £15 per metre. Great price. Oh, my goodness. And it's quality tiger's eye and Amazonite yeah, as well. Do you know, I was looking, no disrespect... Well, no, oh, oh. I say no disrespect, but when I say what I'm going to say, might come across a little bit disrespectful. I was looking at Thomas Sabo, Tiger's Eye. Mm. It's not great. No. It's not as good as it, it's not as good as this. I know, sorry, there's no way of sugarcoating that, is there? Um, that's working out at 15 pounds per strand. They are meter long lengths. Um, that's a good deal, yes, Ben. Yeah. Are you gonna squeeze are you gonna squeeze those margins some more? Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it, Ben. Yeah, do it. Ruby, Julie, Yvonne, Joanna, would you like a further deal? It's lovely when that happens, isn't it? When you've already bought it and then it goes down again. Yeah. yeah. Such a bonus. Put one of those orange notes back into your pocket. That's amazing. That's £10 per okay. metre long length. Again, two beautiful marlas, if you wish. Yeah. Or, as you said, it's the foundations of a beautiful craft fair. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's fantastic. And just mixing them up together, they look lovely, don't they? They do. They really do. I think that's because you've got. Now. I think because you've got the multi colours as well yeah. of your uh, of your Amazonite. It really does actually complement the tiger's eye too. Ten pound per strand. Oh, you've jumped all over that deal. Well done. Mm. Simple stretchy bracelets. There's three left. Oh, it's busy this morning, Ben. Lots of people up and at it this morning, maybe enjoying the cool before it gets mental, before it gets too crazy, crazy hot, um, and we all start wilting. Mm. Uh, I was looking at my, my, my plants in my garden. Um, your other half would cringe at my garden, honestly, yeah. would. Um, and I was like, I feel like that too. They're all like this. Hey. Yeah, I know. Hey. Hey. Tomatoes Just are suffering. Your tomatoes yeah, are suffering. Yeah, they need so much water. And they do. You know. There's no water. Is everybody putting some water out for the wildlife as well? Um, yes, I'm doing that. Angela, hello to you. Good morning, Elle, Gemma, and lovely team. Last night, I dreamt about rain and shallow streams. Oh, oh. literally, Angela, I'm just ma imagining now lying in a shallow stream. That sounds incredible, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'm, we're oh. now, we've got a stream that we can walk through. You can walk for miles in the stream, so oh. and that's so nice. We just did it on that last really hot day. Just walked, it's lovely. Just go and sit in it. Yeah, yeah, you oh. go swimming in it, it's lovely. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. Early birds coming up literally after this opportunity. It's the final of your metre long length strands. Oh, that's beautiful together. Yeah, that's lovely. Magenta, uh, magenta quartzite, and also your rose quartzite in your six mil rounds. Again, stretchies, absolutely brilliant. What are you going to get out of each strand? What, four, five yeah. stretches out of each strand? Yeah, I'd mm -hmm. say, if not more. Now, if every <laughs> Ben is saying, if 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 you send uh, a special wish to the Deal Fairy, aka Ben, the producer, yeah, Deal Fairy Gib Gibbs, 
He said he will respond. Okay. So what do you want? A message? Just a little message saying, um, deal Fairy Gibbs. Could we have a really special deal on Rose Court and beautiful Quartzite? Quartzite? Do you know, it's so, I think it's so underestimated. Mm -hmm. You know, Lola Rose uses it massively. Yeah, well, it, it's, it's lovely for getting colour into your, yep. your vivid colours into your designs. And that, that pink, this hot pink, I love this colour. It's gorgeous. I'd use yeah. that with the tiger's eye. Yeah, or, or with the uh, Amazonite, it works beautifully. You know, you can team that, that hot pink with so many colours. Yeah, beautiful. Have you got your, uh, your message yet? Nobody has messaged Deal Fairy Gibbs. So, oh, so he wants, to hear, he wants a message saying, yeah, I want the deal. I want the, de uh, the deal, please, Deal Fairy. <laughs> please can... <laughs> <laughs> Who messaged that? Who messaged that? Do we know? Good morning, Fairy Ben, says Angela. I love that, Angela. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Uh, that, that, I mean, let's, let, let's, ju let's just take that one as, a, as Deal Fairy Gibbs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it, Angela. That's, that could stick, you know. Twelve ninety nine. <laughs> Not furry, fairy. Twelve ninety nine. Goodness me, that's six pound fifty per strand. That's incredible. Not strand, meter long length. Yeah, this is it. It's Amazing. Like, it's, it's three strands almost, isn't it? Each. Yeah. So six. Six. Six strands almost for twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Yeah. Amazing. This would look lovely with your kits coming up in the next it hour. It would. It would. I was thinking that it would <coughs> work well with all the designs that I've done, but it also worked well with the. Head uh, headdresses, you know, to add that pop of colour and... If you're a magenta mermaid. Yeah, because we've got another colourway. We've got purples and pinks colourway. And so, yeah. Well, 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 people, well, people can literally shop ahead and look at Gemma's kits uh, for the 9 o'clock and also the 12 o'clock hour. Um, oh, guess what? This is sold out. Well done. Well done. Is there lots of, is there lots of love now for the deal, Fairy? You know, it's funny because we've got, we've got Wayne, who is, what, the Duke of Discounts. <laughs> Um, or the Viscount of Value. You've got Wayne, who is the Bashasaurus. And then we've got our lovely Ben now, who is the Deal Fairy Gibbs. Uh, yes, please, Deal Fairy Gibbs. Wave your magic wand, says Catherine in Yorkshire. He's on it. <laughs> That's brilliant. We need to come up with a name for, um, for, for Ross as well, because Ross yeah. needs a name, doesn't he? Well dressed Ross. Hey, what's that? Well dressed Ross, they call him. Well-dressed Ross. Well Ross, or Rogue Ross, actually. Rogue Ross. We call him Rogue Ross, too. Oh, there we go. Right, speaking of going rogue, your early bird, I tell you what, for the rarity of this beautiful source of sapphire, the quality that you are getting, you're about to see an absolutely bonkers deal. Very workable, and I know that's something that um, our lovely designers talk about a lot, you know, the fact that you can work with these gemstones. It's not just about the calibrations. They actually have drill holes, meaning you can literally feed it onto your beading thread and your silks, etc. Coming up, beautiful natural sapphire as your early bird. Now, when we think of sapphire, sapphire, most of us, sapphire, I almost went continental then, didn't I? Zephyrs. Zephyrs. <laughs> <laughs> when you think of sapphire, most of us immediately think of that beautiful regal blue, don't we? Yeah, and in particular, the Royal Engagement Ring. Yeah. You know, which has that wonderful, almost like a midnight, beautiful intensity, whilst also maintaining refraction and brilliance. You know, uh, uh, normally with your coloured gemstones that have a darker saturation, um, or I shouldn't say normally, but some of your darker saturation gemstones will suffer from what we call in the business extinction. And what that basically means is that, uh, you know, they can be so heavily coloured that light can't penetrate yeah. it and can't actually sort of bounce back. Now, when you look at sapphire, and it's got that wonderful intensity of saturation, um, but also maintaining the beautiful brilliance like these, it is something to behold. Now, there are individual solitaires um, that are drilled in the centre. So maybe you wanted to, uh, those people that got melee diamonds not so long ago, we had some lovely little melee diamonds in a little box like this. 
Um, you could almost uh, set the little melee diamond in the drill hole if you wanted to. Or alternatively, you could take inspiration from lovely Anne and Sue, who have just turned these into really beautiful, elastic, stretchy rings. I mean, how pretty is that? Genuine sapphire, yeah. 70 points. It's a good price, £24.99 um, for this location. So this is uh, Kachamburi Sapphire. It's a global hub. So, uh, Thailand is actually a global hub for sapphire and rubies in actual fact. It is estimated approximately 90% of the world's sapphires and rubies will go to Thailand at some point. They might not be mined there, but they will go to Thailand at some point because they really are the masters of cutting this gemstone. Well, this is from that location. And also, if you imagine the, uh, the geography of Thailand, um, you know, it's quite a small island. The deposits of sapphire and ruby are dwindling rapidly. So it may well be one of those locations uh, that runs out in the foreseeable future. Now, again, that's a good price for the quality that you are getting, that beautiful, intense, that midnight blue, very much that regal royal blue that we see within, our, uh, within the royal engagement ring. That's a good price. It's not your early bird price, though. How many do we have, Ben? There are 147 of these available. They also would look lovely dropped in the centre of your uh, of your donut gemstones. Yeah, they would. Yeah, I mean, there's you could just use one on their own as like an accent. You know, maybe you've got a nice um, pearl necklace, for example, and mm. you just want to space the centre. What two either side? Yeah, oh, one, oh, yeah. You know, just maybe the five in the centre. You lovely space with these gorgeous sapphires. Now, producer Ben is saying, "I want to sell this out," and he says, "And it's going to be a bit of a wild deal." Kachamburi from Thailand, sapphire known for that beautiful, intense midnight blue whilst maintaining dazzling amounts of refraction. You will find this location on our sister channel in nine karat gold, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold pieces of jewelry. It is an area of supremacy for the quality of the stones that they offer. Even if we were to stop here, that's a good deal, but this is mad, absolute madness. Did you wake up this morning and think, Oh, give myself all. I'm going to buy three quarters of a carrot, about, oh yeah, about three quarters of a carrot of beautiful quality sapphire. But I don't want to pay a double figure price tag for it. Oh. Did you imagine that that would be something that you, you would say? In one minute, in one minute, our call screens will go absolutely crazy. Yes, they're drilled in the centre, Jacqueline. You've got a very good size drill hole too, which is unusual with, with um, gemstones like mm. this because obviously you want to preserve the carrot weight, don't you? True, so, yeah. You know, it's yeah. fair you get them with this good size drill hole. More or less everything so far today is sold out. Is this going to be any different? No. We've got two strands of the amber left, by the way, just two. Everything else uh, thus far has sold out and we're not going to break that trend. This is going to be the same. Um, yeah, gener uh, that's a really good point, isn't it, Gemma? I mean, the mm. fact that you have got a generous drill hole here. Yeah. So this will even thread on to, say, m maybe some of your gauges of wire. Yeah, yeah. Some of your thicker cords. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's shock our lovely viewers in the best possible way, of course. Definitely a 0.4 wire go through there. Really? Yeah. 4.99, Gem. That's amazing. Four pounds ninety nine pence only. Imagine these in your beautiful pearls. Imagine these in amongst your amazing jadeites. Imagine these alongside. I don't know. Would you put them with? Let's think. I'd say South Sea or Akoyas. Yeah. Um, imagine these. Just. Yeah. Anything. 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 I think. Like. Even like a, a clear quartz oh, or, nice. or um, what's the lovely diamonds? Thing? Yeah, diamonds, of course. I mean, yeah, who diamonds. wouldn't? But yeah, I mean, I think something like that really helping each other, sort of complement each, each other. Well, it, 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 yeah, we had a little showcase on diamonds and we, we, we were discussing, because Wayne was producing me, we were discussing how, you know, the price surge on diamonds mm. at the moment, which is fairly ob obvious with things that are going on in the world at the moment. And I don't want to get too much into that, but the price of diamonds has been massively affected in, in terms of its increase. Um, you know, and we brought you uh, irrepeatable deals. Mm. Um, imagine these alongside those diamonds. Yeah. How beautiful that would be. Yeah. Maybe a canary diamond. Oh, or, yeah, that would be amazing. Or, or or a blue or a teal blue. 
Yeah. All of the above. Yeah. All of the above. Um, four pounds and ninety nine pence. Loads of multi buyers getting involved. Ben wasn't wrong, you know. There's tons of you there. Catherine's mm -hmm. got two. Jacqueline's got two. Denise has got two. Powers has got two. Suzanne's got two. K. Margaret County Durham's got three. Heather's got two. Alison's got two. Hello to you, Nikki. OMG, that is insane. Had to get them at that price. Thank you. You're very welcome, my love, my darling. Uh, hello to you, Liz. What a wonderful lot of goodies on pre-order. I'm looking forward to Gemma's demo. Her Facebook pictures were stunning, weren't they, Liz? We can't wait either. Um, really excited about that. Sorry, hello to you. Morning, Ben. We're loving your deals. Uh, are you in uh, your new chair permanently? Um, he has. He's, he's no longer directing. He isn't any, he's not directing anymore. He fancied a change, so he went into a little bit of producing, and he's wicked for producing, by yeah. the way. Yeah, I know you are. And, you know, do you know, um, Ben, when you said to me that you were going for the producer, I was like, you are literally perfect for that job because he's really lovely in the ear. Yeah. Really lovely. And he is, yeah. makes yeah. a difference. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but, no, he's not here full-time on, uh, on Jewelry Maker. He's actually on Sewing Street. So we're just borrowing him for the moment. Um, and it is a real treat to have him. And, by the way, Paul Demiers is in the, in the directing chair today. Hello, Paul Demiers. Hello. Are you OK? Getting up extra early? There he is. There he is. Um, Paul, I mean, I'm being asked the question, what sort of things do you do? <laughs> the power of Paul. The power of Paul. Did, did Paul do the clock? Yeah, that's what we're on about, yeah. That's what we're talking about, honestly. Uh, Does anybody else is... watch Stranger Things? Right now, yeah. you're 11 doing that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> put it, put, putting the clock on your screens. <laughs> <clears throat> Literally, just he, he literally just zapped it on our screens through his magical powers. But what does that clock mean for everybody that's shopping? What does it mean for everybody that's already purchased? It means the price is going lower and it means everybody that's already purchased will pay that final low price tag, of course. So many of you have chosen to multi-buy and frankly, why wouldn't you? Jacqueline, Lisa, Karen, Lynn, Robert, Hilda, Catherine, uh, Gloucestershire, new customer, Darren, Denise. Hello to you all. Again, let's just, just, just you know, a moment of reality. Did you imagine yourself? Let's rewind, I don't know, 12 years ago, before Jewelry Maker existed, did you ever think, Oh, I'm going to wake up this morning. I'm going to buy myself almost three quarters of a carat of sapphire, but I only want to pay three quid. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I it is, isn't it? It really, it really is. That's I less than your postage for sapphire. Oh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It is, and we must never lose sight of that. Two nine. In fact, in fact, Gemma, you'll remember this. We were never allowed to do two ninety nine no, we prices. Weren't. We weren't allowed to go under four ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Because it was yeah. non broadcastable. Yeah. Because yeah. Do we all want to know a secret? Ben says to me. He I just don't care. <gasps> He's all about the deals. That's what he cares about. Fairy deal. <laughs> fairy. Fairy. Fairy Deal Gibbs. Oh, why doesn't... Deal Still Fairy Gibbs. Gibbs. Yeah, that's it. I was going to say, why, do, <laughs> why does that not <laughs> sound right, right this morning? <laughs> um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Now, this is looking like it is going to be a sellout imminently. Are we surprised? Got another. Crazy, <clears throat> says Nikki. I know. I know. And, we, and also, this is Thai Sapphire. Yeah. You know, Thai Sapphire. Uh, OMG, that is insane. Hard to get them at that price, thank you. Yeah, uh, we should point out, by the way, this is not profitable for us as a channel. Um, this is, yeah, exactly. Really? Less than 60p for a Sapphire? Ridiculous. Woohoo! Exactly. It is, yeah, we're not profiting right now. This is literally, that's what, you know what? We're making lots of friends, so we're profiting in that way. I tell you what, we'll leave that one with you. Good luck. Double figure quantities remaining, and they are the low double figures as well. Um, okay, still to come. Right, 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 right. Are we doing it now? Start dialing. Start dialing, because you could literally. Only yesterday, I got my took my engagement ring off and and, and held the diamond almost at the back of one of those jade high goos, and and everyone was like, oh, ooh, that's amazing. Well, never mind 
borrowing a diamond elsewhere. How about putting a gemstone, which technically speaking is rarer than a diamond? I love zircon. Me too. It's, got, it's got more dispersion and it's, fire than a diamond. It's so beautiful. Look at that. We're up close and personal with this amazing gemstone. The oldest gemstone on our planet. Not to be confused with cubic zirconia, please don't. Cubic zirconia is man-made. This is mother nature made. This gemstone literally is as old as our planet, which I find absolutely fascinating. The reason why people don't know zircon as well as they do diamonds is purely because it, it's actually a victim of its own rarity. Um, marketing really uh, sort of puts, pushes diamonds into, into the forefront. Uh, zircon, there's simply not enough available. It's a beautiful colorless stone doubly refractive what that basically means is it will give you twice the dispersion twice the fire that you would see in any colorless diamond um, we're already at 28.99 now we've got the wall of fame to squeeze in we've got loads more star buys to squeeze in so we need to pick up the pace somewhat keep checking out on um, on the previous deal have a little look on pre-orders as well for the rest of the show even your 12 o'clock hour is available on pre-order Ooh. I know, daring. One thing we can call Ben, bold. Bold. Bold yeah. Ben. Yes, that suits him, doesn't it? Yeah, very bold. What? I'm really surprised. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. How? No, there's no way near enough of you on the phone lines. Ben, if you're going to do that deal, no way near enough people on the phone lines. Mm. He said, the thing is... Just think, think to the, the, the previous early bird. Yeah, 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 yeah. How low that went. We're just gonna, we're just, we're just gonna do so, again something, something ultra surprising. It's a big stone. Nine ninety nine. As with any gemstone out there, one larger stone is much rarer than lots of little stones. So that's why a one carat diamond, for example, solitaire, costs more than a one carat cluster. 9.99 only again get hold of this perfect if you've got any of the lovely high goos from the jadeites perfect if you do things like gemstone setting yeah absolutely yeah and um drilling into pearls oh really i mean now you're talking that would look incredible wouldn't it i mean this is just so beautiful single figure price tag i'm imagining that actually framed with the sapphires Ooh. It's because you can thread the sapphires you can you know yeah. thread them onto a um a wire a wire and frame like a, a prong set ring or a oh. tube set. Imagine that in the tube setting and then framed with the sapphires. It'd be absolutely gorgeous. Um, it'd be absolutely amazing. Um, I know we won't have enough of these to go around. People are multi-buying on them. I mean, they'd be beautiful earrings, wouldn't they? Yeah. Let's be honest. Diamond solitaire earrings are going to cost yeah. uh, cost a great deal. Yeah. Um, you know, zircon, whilst rarer, and I think equally as beautiful as a diamond, is more affordable, especially when you are sourcing from uh, the likes of jewelry maker. Noreen Carroll, new customer. Alison Cynthia, new buyers. Jay, well done. Stay I, I've got to move on. We'll leave the graphics live purely because we've got so much, so much to uh, squeeze in today's show. And I know that you're still purchasing from the Sapphire as well. So let's let's step into your wonderful creations whilst you make your confirmations. Wonderful talents in the Wall of Fame next. <laughs> Ah, starting us off this morning is number 245, Jade Cousins. Jade, wow, that's so beautiful. I think that's a kiss cross, isn't it? Uh, hi, jewelry maker. My entry this week is a shell pearl, kiss cross necklace and earring set, all from jewelry maker. And she says, good luck, everybody. That's beautiful, Jade. Good luck to you. At number 246 is Vivian. Hello to you, Vivian. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that with his sweet peas as well. Uh, hello, all. This week's effort uh, is a simple overhead necklace made with appetite chips and nuggets tiny silver spacer beads and one huge amethyst chunk everything is from jm best wishes everybody do you know what actually vivian i popped into um we've got like a bagel shop um which is really nice near us and do most amazing coffee and most amazing bagels mm -hmm. and there's uh, one of the girls that works there um she was wearing a necklace which was very different gemstones but very similar to that mm -hmm. and i asked her about it and she said oh i saved up and saved up and saved up for it and i was like you must tune into jewelry maker because i could teach 
teach you, or well, not me, we could teach you how to make it, but it was very similar to your piece. Number 247 um, is from Margaret Gibson. Hello, Margaret, some beautiful wire work there. This week's entry is a bracelet made a few weeks ago using a Viking knit tool and wire for the first time. Um, at the moment, we are on holiday, heading up into the highlands of Scotland. So haven't seen any JM TV this week, and I only read Facebook when I have signal. Uh, she says, I feel really out of touch. Well, it's lovely to hear from you, my darling, and have, have a lovely holiday. That is lovely, Margaret, really lovely. Um, I've got uh, number 248, it's from Josephine, and she says, oh, look at that. Yeah, nice. beautiful. It's like a patchwork quilt, isn't it? Like a, <laughs> yeah. A crochet. It's lovely. Beautiful. Hi, all to every, hi to everybody at JM. This week's entry are two seed bead and shell pearl bracelets and earrings, all products from JM, and inspired by Mark's fabulous demos. Good luck all. They're gorgeous, Josephine. Amazing. And then I have um, Isabel Morgan. She says, hello, lovely friends. Um, I recently went on a polymer clay holiday where I learned loads of new techniques. And since I've come home, I can't stop making beads. Here is my favorite batch and a bracelet with a toggle actually made from the clay. Wow. I mean, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Amazing. Love those colors. Yeah, really beautiful. beautiful. Polymer clay holiday. <coughs> Polymer clay holiday sounds like fun, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Good it luck, everybody. And do get your entries into us using Duramaker products, of course, and a nice little message so we can, uh, we can say hello to you all. Don't forget, have a look on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Click watch live and you can scroll down. Literally for the first time ever, apart from your 10 and 11 o'clock hour, which is your uh, Tales of Jadeite show, um, everything is available on pre-order. Um, even Gemma's masterclass kits, they, might be, they will be going lower as well. Some of these deals will go lower and everybody pays that final low, but you are guaranteed success if you do shop ahead so take a little look at those oh look like the headbands we haven't Ooh. seen those in ages have we some lovely deals in here some components which have never been seen outside of a kit um awesome now again that beautiful beautiful zircon 5.5 millimeter round brilliant cut stone make sure you check that out, out as soon as you can 9.99 is an absolutely astonishing deal one of the pieces of jewelry that i wear almost every single day on my days off is is literally a zircon probably about the same size actually solitaire uh, that yeah. i bought from our sister channel years and years mm. and years ago and so many people come Comment on it and think it is a diamond yeah well it, you would i think you you would think it's a diamond well yeah a really good quality diamond. oh my gosh yeah <laughs> that would be that like yeah, de colorless yeah because the, the i mean that color the, the it's fire isn't it yeah the colors in them are absolutely sensational um are you up for something a bit different yeah go on then yeah yeah never been seen outside of a kit already flying on pre-order in fact you clocked them yeah well i love i love an unusual component that can be you know my, it makes my brain work mm -hmm. makes me think should we get your brain ticking around with bouncing around with inspiration brand new i'm not even going to say what they are check this star buy out You get both. Oh, I just want them. Do, do you know what I want them for? Earrings. Oh. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm having these. And they're cool, aren't they? <laughs> and you get all the, these have only ever been in a kit before. They are sari bangles oh. um, in a base metal. You get 50 within a pack. Look at these beautiful colours. So uh, with sari bangles, I guess you could use them with your sari silks, of course. Yeah. Um, but you can also incorporate them into things like your um, wire work, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Your frames for frames for your trees of life. Frames polymer clay. Your, yeah, frames of polymer clay. I, I love things. Do you know, I bought an, a box of bangles, old bangles from the charity shop just to have these solid shapes yeah. ready to use in things. You know, I've made... Um, um, sun catches for the window with crystals hanging in, so I just strung the bangles like this. You, you people may remember actually, I did a post with it and then yeah, yeah. string them like that, and a different crystal in each. I mean, your chakra crystals, oh, imagine those yes. hanging. Things like your um, dream catchers, yeah. 
so, so much potential. So and many. the fact that you are actually getting two of these, you're getting, you know, 50 in total yeah. um, with all of those beautiful colours. Now, they have never, ever, ever been available outside of kits. I've never seen them before as well. So um, really excited by these. Likewise, is our lovely Gemma. <laughs> um, perfect frame. You know, often like with things like Tree of Lives, as you've, as you've mentioned it, you need that, you need a frame, don't you, to yeah. actually do, start uh, or, or begin your wire work with. Um, and this has got that wonderful solid structure. Hello, Liz. Ooh, perfect Ooh. for dream catcher projects with yes. the children, grandchildren in, uh, on the holidays. Perfect idea. Absolutely. Do you know what? Willow would wear them exactly as they are. I reckon she went, oh, mummy, I like those. Literally wear them as individual bangles. Yeah. Um, are you having a sort out, I Jen? am. I'm just, I'm just thinking you could ombre them and you, you can definitely find all your chakra colours. And, you know, can I squish a little bit? Yeah, go on. OK. So you can... Shape them. You can change them into oval shapes. Oh! Which means you could make them into eye shapes. Let's have a little play. That's so a great can, idea. Like, your, well, your evil eye motifs and your, you know. Well, we'll Ben's just come up with a really good idea. You know, Alison with her, um, with her, her press. Yes. You know, the dangle, uh, the bangle press. Yeah. The dangle press. <laughs> <laughs> the bangle press, which creates all those lovely wavy shapes. Yeah. You could put those in there, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. You could. Definitely. In fact, I want to have a go at that. If I had one in the studio, I, that's the first thing I would do. Straight away, lots of you getting involved. Look at all those lovely colours that you're getting. Teresa, Eleanor, Durham, Linda, Vera, Catherine, Merseyside, Carolyn, Kay, Tyne and Ware, Pauline, Deirdre, Ruby, Mary, Jill, uh, Jennifer, Lynn. Now, nearly half the stock has already been allocated. It, yeah, yeah. So... Um, should we should we get to your star by price point never ever been on your screens outside of a kit until today and i think they will be an on-screen sellout right all of a sudden i've seen seen people jump uh you know up their order quantity is that because you've seen the deal that date uh, that, 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 that that's been delivered what oh, i need that's these. for 50. Ben, oh, please save me some ben ben <laughs> I don't know, um, and I forgot my phone, otherwise I'd have ordered them I mean, for you. Sorry. Oh, look at that. Can I show that, Gem? Yeah. Look how beautiful I mean, that is. I've only got half the stack, so I imagine there's probably a similar number of colours in each. Oh, look, it's like a sunset. I'd wear them as they are, but that great for hoop earrings. I think, uh, yeah, I want lots of hoop earrings. I need the orange ones. I haven't got any, I haven't got any to wear with, you know, this top. It would be perfect. Yeah. It would I be could perfect. Have orange ones. You could have... Some um, or some pink ones to go with your pink ones flowers. in mine or the green. Is there green? No, there's no, no green. greens. Blues. Blues. I could have the blues in there yeah. as well. Five ninety nine gets you this. Well, fifty. Fifty of them in total. Absolutely amazing. And you've gone completely and utterly nuts for these. Um, but what about actually forming like your polymer clay around it to yeah. create like your bangles? Yeah, that's it. I mean, they're they're great formers. They're just really great formers. And also, you know, you've got your sarongs and your scarves this summer. Yeah, you know, this is you know scarf loops for putting. Oh, your, your pashminas in the winter. Yeah, for you know for making the different combinations. Nice. You know, you can even use them sort of in straps for. You know. brooches no um brooches. they're not heavy at all they're not too heavy to wear actually in the yeah in in yeah. the ear um yeah what about wire work brooches and things like yeah. that yeah yeah i mean so much potential there's so much I, this i love components like this if, you know if i had these i'd be going to time with all the different ways i'd could put them together yeah seed beading yeah around them you know Ooh, nice um, oh yeah because mark normally puts some seed beading on things like memory wire yeah if you don't want it to have that flexibility See, then you it. could absolutely see be direct yeah. yes you could so much tube around them you could put all your jump rings around yeah, yeah. i love that Honestly, if you could see Gemma's face right yeah. now, literally the cogs in her brain are ticking, ticking, ticking. You do get 50 yeah. of them. Gemma's got a little a little collection of, of them in front of her. And I didn't try and get them off her because no. she looks like she looks like she's uh, um, she's commandeering <laughs> those. Um, well done, Ruby. Hello to Jacqueline, Carol, Jennifer, Sharon, Leslie, Caroline, Lynn. Um, those of you that have a phone in your hand, we, there is a small queue. Uh, please do bear with our, our call centre. They are amazing. Um, and they will get you as soon as they possibly can. You can attach charms to them. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Bag charms, things like that. Nice. You know how you have the mandalas, or mandalas, however you um, say them. You. 
<laughs> oh, it's like going to make a chakra hanging ornament, wrapping yes. gemstones and adding them to a bangle. Hope yeah. that makes sense. Yes, yes absolutely. That's, that's the perfect, perfect thing. I think like home decor pieces are going to be ideal. Yeah, beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, perfect dream catcher frame, says Mandy. I'm with mm. you on that, Mandy. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that I would create. Um, do you know, and, and I think they'd be great uh, for, for, for gifts for all ages as well. Um, most definitely your children. Like, do you know, only last night I actually had a conversation with my, with Willow. And, and of course it's hot, isn't it, at the moment? So I opened the window and she was like, Mommy, I don't like the window open. And I said, why don't you like the window open? What's the matter? She goes, because possums might crawl in. I was like... <laughs> Possums. possums of all the animals all the things to be worried about yeah possums <laughs> i know bless her heart bless her heart yeah. firstly there's no possums here willow you're okay and i don't think they're going to be crawling in through your window bless you um these are going to sell out again you do get the pack of 50 of them again please bear with our call center they will get you valerie hayley margaret annie um our call center will be there you are being answered i promise you of that um, and we can see you there good luck everybody um good luck everyone Oh, should we, should we, I'm going to, I'm totally going to pass that buck, Ben, to our lovely Gemma to choose. Where are the hands? Oh, I've seen them. They go on the rings. Where are they, though? Have you got them, Ben? Have you got them, Dan? No, they're little soldable hands. Jumping. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Yeah. I see the little hands. The little hands oh, yeah. Okay. Do you want to do little solderable hands mm -hmm. or would you like to do infinity? Solderable hands. Please. Solderable hands. Let's do the solderable hands. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. I do both. Both. I have both, please. All <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> no, yeah. The solderable hands are separate to the infinity. Let's do the hands because they're so sweet. You literally can do that with your gemstones. Okay. They're so, so, so sweet. Um, they, well, again, stay where you are on your phone lines for that. Now, Ruby or Larimar? Ruby or Larimar, Gem? Mm, Larimar, please. Larimar, righto. Good call. Because it's a beautiful quality Larimar as well. It's so. Summery. Oh. Isn't it? And it feels like summer. Yeah. But it is summer. It is. These, oh, guess wow. what? I've never been oh, seen outside of kits. So look, they, look at the detail of the hands. And basically, if I hold it like this with my tweezers, can you imagine there's a gemstone in the centre there? They literally cup it. Oh. How beautiful are they? The detail. Let me just swap it round with my tweezers. That would make life a lot easier, wouldn't it? Um, so 925 sterling silver. You also do get that beautiful mount. You get the natural Larimar, one locational gemstone, of course, from the Dominican Republic. So imagine soldering your hands maybe either side of your um, of your Larimar so they look like they're cupping the Larimar gemstone. Oh, that would be lovely. How beautiful. How beautiful are these? Um, I remember launching these alongside, I think it was Claire, lovely Claire. Mm. Yeah, um, and they absolutely flew. So you can watch back the demonstration um, on YouTube as well. But yeah, they literally just soldered directly onto um, a ring shank if you wanted. Mm -hmm. You could also maybe put the wire directly to the wrist and they could be almost like a wraparound ring, yeah. like an adjustable ring. That would be nice. Never been seen outside of a kit. Look at that detail. They're beautiful. £12.99. Now, do you know what? That should be the price of the Larimar on its own. Um, I've just spotted something, Ben, we need to change. Larimar is not from the USA. Mm, no, no, no. As a graphical error, we'll get that sorted, don't worry. Um, uh, Larimar comes from, uh, from the Dominican Republic. We know that, it's one locational, it's not from the States, it's not from the States. We'll get that changed, of course. Um, so don't worry, your certificate will have the correct information on there. Um, but these beautiful, beautiful hands. Um, yeah, it's probably, I don't know, it's maybe gone th through America and that's why it says that detail. Um, or we might have bought them in Tucson. Yeah, that's a very, yeah, that might make sense. So just literally a, a mix up. So we'll get that corrected for you, uh, for you all. £12.99 for these beautiful hands. Would you love an alternative to Larimar? Oh, this ruby is going to blow you away. What are you taking this to, Ben? What are you taking this to? Oh, wow, that ruby is insane. I know. It's absolutely gorgeous. That doesn't look real, does it? It's so good. I know, I know, I know, I know. So 
Isn't think, that beautiful? I think you should put a zero on the end of yours, your figure. Seriously, seriously. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Ben said, um, had he have seen the ruby, he probably would have held the price tag a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, but having said that, having said that, Ben, remember, you are the deal fairy. Mm. So I'm not sure I believe that. I'm not sure I, I, I'm not sure I believe that. That's a six millimeter, 1.4 carat uh, ruby, genuine ruby, not a simulant, not a fake gemstone, a genuine ruby. And then you've got those solderable hands and of course that beautiful gallery as well. If, you, if you've never done soldering before, it's not as scary as it sounds. No, it's not. <coughs> You're relatively new to it, aren't you? I'm fairly new to it, yeah. I've done a lot of practicing recently, but yeah, I'm fairly new. Oh, that's gorgeous. So obviously you would set it properly. Yeah. This is amazing, Ruby, Ben, yeah? Absolutely gorgeous, yeah? But yes, you are the deal fairy, yes, absolutely. You would set it properly. Oh, You'd obviously yeah. need to encourage those prongs out a little yeah. bit further. Um, but you get the general idea. It is calibrated to fit within that mount. It's almost got cat's eye effect. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. Like Cabbage and cat on the ruby with it being that, that clarity. It's An amazing beautiful. pinkish hue. Amazing. Um, what is the what's the location? Just out of curiosity, it doesn't really matter, but what's the location of the ruby? Do we know? Because that looks very Burmese to me. It's Thai. Again, very limited in its supply. It looks like a Burmese ruby because it's got that wonderful pinkish colour. Mm. Why is there a clock ticking? We're already at £12.99. pence. If these don't sell, I'm going to get some of these. Oh, my oh, word, wow. start dialing through. <laughs> for, never mind the sterling silver components. For the ruby alone, for the ruby on its own, we've got a good quantity, and that's the only reason that our deal fairy is going as low as he is, he's saying in my ear. The Larimar is now quite limited, very, very popular product. If you're a lover of ruby, which how many of us aren't? It's probably an easier question. Oh, because I called deal fairy, right? That's unbelievable. I mean, even if you take the ruby out, it's fantastic for those little hands. You know, they're yeah. so beautifully made. I, Seriously, look at that ruby. I for eight, that. The ruby alone at 8 99 is absolutely awesome. How many did we have? We had quantity. However, they're absolutely flying out the door. Um, let's see our lovely customers so I can say well done to everybody. Annette, Maria, Gail, Lynn, Jeannie, Pauline. Hello to you, Melanie, Judith, Lisa, Vera, Christine, Beverly, uh, Catherine, Kim, Noreen, Ruby, Candy, Linda, Pauline, Jackie in Essex. Congratulations to you as well. Make sure you check out. We've got a big quantity, but these are, as you can imagine, absolutely flying. I know I'm focusing on the ruby, but seriously, eight ninety nine for a ruby of that grade, and it's over a carat. In fact pushing on one and a half carats. Yeah, there's soldered by hands with the rainbow moonstone as well. Should we get those in before the top of the hour as well? Um, again, let, uh, literally keep on dialing through. I'm only doing this because um, I'm only moving on because I want to show you the, oh my goodness, this, this moonstone's insane. Do you know, I had a conversation, and I've told you this story before, but the conversation with a lovely uh, moonstone trader over in Tucson, and he only dealt with this gemstone. Um, and every single piece of jewellery on his stand was, was in 18 karat gold. Look at the quality oh, of that beautiful adolescence. What? Oh, seven ninety nine. Look at that, it's magical, isn't it? It's literally magical. Yeah, that's beautiful. That, that's one of the best moonstones I've seen. Yeah, I, I mean, I've bought a ready-made um, moonstone solitaire ring and it's nowhere near as good as that. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere near. It's the Aurora Borealis right there, isn't it? It's beautiful. You know, people travel to Iceland and chase it, don't they? They chase the Northern mm. Lights. Ah, oh, save yourself the trip. Literally just look into your moonstone and you see that beautiful spectacle occurs completely and utterly natural. It's a phenomena called 
adolescence. So you get that wonderful gallery, you get your Colette um, that it obviously fits at the Moonstone and you also get your beautiful hands. In fact, wouldn't that be perfect? It's like the hands are holding the moon. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, <laughs> 7.99 only. Well done, lovely jewellery makers. These are absolutely flying out the door. Again, I've got quantity, but these are super popular. Maybe the first purchase um, and uh, um, interest in soldering. Uh, hello to you, Avon. Say morning, ladies. Just couldn't resist that ruby. Thank you. And now That's the that. moonstone. I know. You've got to have that. Especially at 7 99 goodness me, that's it's a giveaway deal, isn't yeah. it? Right, we're running out of time within this hour, so keep on dialing, still very much available. And again, have a little look on the website. We've got some cheeky deals that we're going to literally keep on adding, and you can shop ahead as well, um, even including your masterclass. So that's very, very mm. exciting. Uh, but coming up after the break, lovely Gemma Crow with some absolutely beautiful pearl kits. Don't go anywhere back after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Join us for the Tales of Jade. This is a gemstone that has been revered for well over 4,000 years. It has been uncovered in archaeological sites dating back to the Neolithic era. Every single dynasty that has ruled over China has valued this stone above gold, and us mere mortals are never meant to own it. After visiting Myanmar in 2018 and hearing about the stories from that part of the world, from that side of the border, we wanted to bring to an event where we uncover the true tales of Jadeite, steeped in folklore and mystery. This event is where you collect so you get to experience all the different varieties, all the different colors. Essentially, every Jadeite we have ever acquired, that we have ever procured from the Far East, will be available for a limited time only and for the best and incredible deals. This is your chance to get your Jadeite happily ever after. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. 
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. My name's Eleanor. I'm joined by the beautiful Gemma Crow. I'm so excited about your demo hours today because the yeah. jewellery... Well, actually, they work together, don't they? Yeah, they do. I mean, definitely, especially the peach pearls. They work beautifully. Oh. And then, yeah, and then the purple colourway works wonderfully with the... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Fluorite. Fluorite, that's the one. Works beautifully with that. Look at these amazing, amazing kits um, coming up. So just before we dive into Gemma's kits, let's bring you some more beautiful uh, sterling silver essentials, absolute essentials. And something we, believe it or not, don't see every single day on our screens. You know, how many times, I don't know, do you want to wrap loop a, a clasp onto a chain? How many times do you want to create maybe, um, I don't know, uh, a pendant mm -hmm. um you know with the sapphires that we had a few oh. moments ago you know you'll use your featherweight headpins yeah. won't you yeah definitely yeah and you'll want to use your silver as well won't you? So. yeah especially with the caliber of the gemstones yeah. that we seem to be bringing you of late now you're not just getting the one bundle you're actually getting two um which basically equates to what 200 yeah is that right 200 headpins in total because there's 100 in a pack and i'm getting two of them that seems to make sense, doesn't it? And there's 200 at the bottom of the screens. Um, you eat into these. I know that lovely uh, Linda Brumwell, for example, always used to say, stock up on featherweight headpins whenever you get the chance. Yeah. Um, especially if you do things like your bubble style inspirations, because they literally, whilst you think, oh, 200, I've got loads. They don't last, do no, they? No, they, they, yeah, no, you need a lot if you're doing your bubble style pieces. Yeah. Yeah. No it's very, it it's very featherweight headpin heavy. It is, yeah. Uh, and yet, like I said, even though it's an essential, we don't see them every single day. No. Um, also, just a little bit of a heads up. Don't forget, in just under an hour's time, we're going to be welcome, welcoming um, uh, my good friend Dave Troth into the studio for some absolutely beautiful jadeite deals. Now, we're not stopping there. Even though you've got a massive gram weight of sterling silver, they'll work with Gemma's amazing kit. Mm -hmm. Well, you've used headpins in these kits, yeah, haven't I you? Have, yeah, I've used some headpins, you know, for hanging the little pearls. I've got the featherweights on them. There. Can you pass me that, uh, like those earrings and that bracelet for a second, so you can actually see it? Here we go. I'll pop them, pop them along here. So if you want to do something like this, like rosary linking on the bracelet, um, that's using featherweights. Well, or yeah, wire. or wire, yeah, or wire. Yeah. Uh, but you could use your featherweight headpins, literally attaching one of your pearls to uh, your sterling silver components that are coming up within the kits in a few moments ago. Wait, Ben, that's seven pound fifty per one hundred. That's mad. That's a very, very low deal. And our customers know it too. This is what we call an essential, one of our essential collections. What we mean by that is the fact, you know, we will we will endeavour, we will endeavour to always have them available to you. Because as jewellery makers, if you don't have things like your jump rings, your clasps, and your featherweight, your hands are a little bit tied, aren't they? In yeah. terms of the, you know, what you can actually create uh, create with. So part of our essentials collection. But if we can keep on delivering deals like this, they definitely are not going to hang around. How many do we have have available at that price? Oh, we've got 400, but Ben, yeah, I knew yeah. it. The call screens are busy already. And, and you know, just to put that into perspective, it's that, that's eight meters of wire, uh, of stone silver wire. Well, it's actually more, it's more like 10 because the ball in the end takes up some of that um, length. 
And so, and also then the polishing and the, the cleaning of that once you've done it. I mean, you couldn't, you literally couldn't make these for that price. You just couldn't. So. Never mind the time. Never mind the time. Yeah, never I mean, mind who the wants time. to ball up 200 tiny pieces Not me. of wire? Not no. me. I'd watch And then clean them. Yeah, no, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Um, not nice. me. At that kind of price point, yeah, you might as well get involved with uh, with Ben's deal. Well done. And they are a necessity. If you're mm. new to Jewelry Maker, which I, I, we've definitely seen a wonderful surge of new customers to our ju uh, Jewelry Maker family of lately, um, which is wonderful, you need them. They are mm. an absolute necessity because, you know, just a simple wrap loop, you could attach it to a stretchy bracelet. You can, yeah. as Gemma has done here, just attaching them, dropping them from sterling silver. It's, you know, you can finish off chains with your featherweight yeah. head pins. Yeah, you can. I mean, they're, they're just so, so useful. You Do you remember them. the time we first saw a featherweight head pin? Yeah. Because I, we I used remember. to have the thicker ones, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I remember Mark Smith, he cried. Do you remember? No. Yes, he did. He did, and he still talks about it now. I think he's quite embarrassed, so sorry, Mark. Um, but yeah, the first time featherweight head pins were introduced, he actually cried because if you remember, there were gemstones we couldn't use in our yep. general jewelry making because we couldn't. You could only put the them end. onto tiger tail, couldn't you? Yeah, and you, then you had to use a crimp and a crimp cover. And that's you know that's time consuming, yep. frustrating. So yeah, and he was so relieved to finally have them to use them in his pieces. Yeah. Ah, he got oh, all yeah. totes of motion. He did. He got Bless our Mark. Bless our Mark. <laughs> um, well, wow, fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's for not just the one little bundle, um, but actually two beautiful bundles of nine two five sterling silver featherweight head pins. They are a featherweight. I, I guess it's fairly obvious, really, but they are that much more uh, the narrower, aren't they? So they'll breeze through yep. your micro gemstones. They'll breeze through your pearls. Yes. They're also less clumpy, so... Yeah, and then they're nice and neat to make wrap loops with. You know, I prefer them for wrap loops. Sometimes your bigger gem, your bigger, um, you know, head pins may be a bit thick, and they already work hardened for us as well, mm. so quite difficult to do yeah, wrap loops. I can't do wrap loops with those. Yeah. I can do wrap loops with a featherweight. I yeah. can't do them with normal head yeah, pins. Yeah, really easy to do. Um, yeah, especially if you've got things like dexterity issues as well. They are much more, uh, much softer, aren't yeah, they? they are. Much more workable. Um, well done. Tons of you with it still in your baskets. Do check them out. I, I, it'll sound like a massive quantity. Whilst I had 400, it's not actually that much. Not for, uh, not for our show. So good luck, everybody. Keep on checking those out. Now, Gemma, let's, do, let's dive into your stunning kits. Beautiful kit. They are absolutely beautiful. I'll pass you those back so I don't oh, knock them you. over. Um, now, well, uh, yeah. you've got something for um, something for everybody. I bought some pills yesterday. I was talking about it, wasn't I? I was saying about how seed pills... Mm. You, you, you just you just never ever 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 see or get the chance to see um, and when we do they literally are on and gone I, have a, I, I do I hoard mine so any that I've got I've hoarded and you know and you're just worried about use I don't want to use them just in case I can't get any because you know they're quite they're quite rare really. they are rare they they are rare and and, and they are expensive too mm. the, you would assume that the smaller the pearl natural you know genuine pearl um, you would assume the smaller that they are, um, the more affordable that they are. It's actually the latter. The smaller the pill actually can be more expensive, and that's because you've got different challenges. Firstly, you're actually stopping or, or, or you're interrupting um, the culturing process. Um, so there's that cost incurred. Yeah. Secondly, the fact that you've got, you've got to drill them, and the smaller sizes is even more challenging. Yeah. They create beautiful texture in pearl jewellery, don't they? they do, yeah. We had a little bundle like this yesterday that I multi-bought on as well because they're great for things like tassels. Yes, yeah, and the Suze's tassels are just beautiful, aren't they, with the pearls. And also, like, lovely bubble-style pieces without the bulk because yeah. they're tiny. So get those he featherweight head pins make some beautiful um, sort of um, bubble-style earrings. Oh, and yeah, it's a perfect component, yeah, isn't and, it? Back and rosary-linked fine chain is so beautiful. Oh. Love it. With seed pearls as well. Love it. You're actually getting three beautiful strands. Um, three beautiful strands. Now, th this is, this is oh, unfortunately, Gemma, you didn't get this kit, I did didn't you? I get this one, though. I got you the didn't other get three. This kit. I didn't get this one. I guess that's a, a, you know, a quantity thing. Yeah, I think it's probably because seed pearls, you know... Is it there's not many, not of, many them. of them. There's so. not many of them available. Now, we're going to introduce the graphics onto your screens. You don't just get the three strands. You're also getting your 925 sterling silver. What are these? Shanks? Open... Open, open ring. jump rings, open but you could use them as shanks, couldn't you? These, uh, yeah, really. these would work with the solderable hands. Yes, yeah, 
Because it is Argentium. Do them like a, a wrap around, couldn't you? So put a hand on either end. Oh, wow. Ooh. Put a hand on either end. Yes. Do a little wrap around style ring. That's Argentium. So technically purer than 925. Yes. It's what, 935? Um, Anti tarnish? Hypoallergenic. So you're getting three of those, perfect alongside the lovely uh, ruby and the moonstone mm. um, that we had just, and the Laramar that we had a few moments ago. Perfect for that. So three of those lovely shanks, three strands of beautiful cultured pearls, not faux, not simulant, genuine cultured pearls. Even if we were to stop here, I mean, visualize it as maybe, um, you know, just literally, I put them literally. How would you describe that? Maybe silver, white seed, silver, white seed, silver, white seed, mm. and create literally an over the head necklace. Yeah, I mean, that would be lovely. I'd be, I'd be tempted to make cascades of like pearls from using those hoops. Mm. Maybe you put a bit of texture because it's nice and soft, Argentine. Yeah. Put a bit of texture in, maybe a bit of fusing the two together so you get these Ooh. quite organic hoops and then dropping lots of layers of pearls from them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gemma, we're not stopping there, you know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah I had a feeling. We're not stopping at 149.99. Well, it's bold Ben, isn't it? Bold Ben. Should we should we take should we take it under a hundred? Just you know, you know, dip that dip that little 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 toe in the water. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to remember Ben what you said this was going to. I have no idea. Do you remember? No, I have no idea. I don't know what anything's going to. Only my kits, which I can't believe. So I didn't ask about anything else. I think people are good. How many do we have, Ben? 56, oh, it's not enough. No. I'd buy this kit. I'd use this with those hands that we had a few moments ago. I yes, I know they're 925 idea. and this is Argentium. That doesn't matter, does I it? I mean, no, you can still you can still solder them together. I mean, Argentium's a little bit softer, so you'd have to use a soft solder. Yeah. But yes, you could. And you, if you shape them so that you ha the hands could cup one of those pearls. Oh! Couldn't they? Cupping a pearl. We're not stopping there either. Just giving you a chance. We're managing the volume of uh, calls on the phone lines, managing the traffic on the website and, and also the app. Three beautiful strands of amazing pills and three Argentium. I don't know what to call them. Oh, there we go. Silver jump rings. So you could hammer these, you could texture these, you could create yes. the same kind of design. Yes. Um, that you've done with yeah. those earrings. Yeah, you could create those, but they're obviously a lot heavier. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of ground weight in that. Yeah, they are. I don't know if we've got that, but that, that's that's a lot of silver there. I can see if I can actually uh, if I can actually uh, weigh them. It looks like about a 2.5 mil gauge, you know, and that's all the way around. So flatten those out, you've got a four mil thickness. Yeah. You know, amazing, really. It's gonna, yeah, typically I'd, oh, here we go. Let's see if this works. Typically our scales never, ever work in this gym. Let's have a little look. Yes, let's have a go. Bingo. Units. Is that what I press? Yeah, gram. There we are. So this is your Argentium. Goodness me, there's over seven grams. Seven grams of Argentium into those three uh, three shanks. Are you ready? In five seconds, we are going lower, not just by a little bit. Um, beautiful to be incorporated alongside the peach pills that you're seeing in Gemma's kit. Mm -hmm. Amazing to go alongside your headdress that's coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. £49.99. pence. But likewise, alongside maybe your ruby or your moonstone uh, or your Larimar that you saw in the previous hour as well. Um, lots of multi-buyers getting involved. I mean, I'm a very simple, very basic jewellery maker. So all I would do is literally restrand those. Mm. Um, and yeah, I'd probably be tempted to maybe create, like you've done there, some uh, sort of obscure shapes. Yeah, some nice, some nice unusual <laughs> shapes. Yeah, that's the beauty of those. They're, they're a blank canvas, really, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they really are. And Argentium, again, is a fantastic medium. If you've not got into it yet, fantastic medium that's not scary at all. $49.99, multi-buyers on this one. Sarah Ruby, hello to you, and Marie. Uh, Maria, sorry. Abby, Suzanne, Linda, Fiona, Rachel, you're there as well. If you want to multi-buy on this, then I would definitely check out because we only had, what, 52, did you say? Um, and he had 52 of these kits available and there is, uh, uh, there's a lot of you there. I'm not surprised. We've got some really stunning peach pearls coming up with Gemma's next kits. Yeah, nice together. They are. Oh, indulge, indulge on the pearls. And we've got some silks coming up as well. So if you wanted to actually do that over the head necklace, then you absolutely can. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave that one with you because we've actually got four kits to bring you to in this hour. Here's the irregular shapes. 
Mm. Oh, now I thought you'd done that shape. No, 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 they were done for me, which is great. It saved me lots of time. There you go. Look at how beautiful those shapes are. And textured. Yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. They catch the light really nicely. It's like they've got almost like a diamond cut finish. I think they're lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? Lovely organic shape. You're getting three of those. And, so I'll pop those down for a second. You're getting your natural silk, pre-threaded, 0.7 millimetres. Um, one of the banes of my life is actually threading silk. I can't do it. Yeah, so it's already it's already it's done already for thread. you. Yeah, I don't I don't thread silk. I buy the pre thread. Yeah, it's the same. I had to order it off eBay the other day actually because oh, I didn't have that's any. That's a gorgeous colour. Too. It is yeah. taupe natural. It's like the colour of your trousers. Yes. And doesn't it complement? Look at this yeah. beautiful, beautiful peach pearls. Uh, <clears throat> beautiful uh, sort of a soft apricot peach colour. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, again, just literally restrand this. You're making luxury high-end yeah. jewellery. The quality of these pearls all day long into the moon and back if we were to hold them at 99.99. That would you sell that for 99.99? I mean, I think you could sell it in excess of that. It's 925, they're genuine pearls. Yeah. Shall we match the price of the previous kit? Yeah. Shall we dare him? Go on. I dare you, Ben. Go on, match it. See if you can. <laughs> they, I, these are the pearls I was talking about to you. They, they're just so beautiful. The, you know, the surface of them is, is so clean and got the, just the most gorgeous luster across the surface. They're, they're absolutely oh. gorgeous pearls. I think they look so luxurious and that. They look so expensive. Peach. Yeah, they do. That's that's what it that's what it is, I think. And I think the color just is just so um glamorous. It it's, is. Well, they look like your uh, you know, papaya pearls. No, they're not natural color. Pardon? How many do we have in this kit? Okay, there that's, are 70, yeah, you, you've just heard what I've just heard, yeah, Gemma. There are 78 incredible. of this kit available. Um, if, if like Gemma and I, you are completely smitten with these pearls, again, remember your five virtues. Remember its size, remember its shape, remember its color, remember its luster. Um, uh, you've got, it's ticking all of those lovely boxes. Do you believe in the deal fairy? I believe in deal fairies. Absolutely, I believe in the deal fairy. Do you? Do you believe in the deal fairy, Dan? Absolutely. Yeah, he, ex he exists. Yeah. I don't know if I can say that out loud. No. You should believe in the deal fairy because look, 24 pounds and 99 pence only. For the pearls on their own, that's absolutely yeah. incredible. But you're also getting a significant gram weight of your sterling silver in those lovely irregular shapes. Look at the luster. Luster is the most important of your virtues. Many would actually say a little bit like uh, clarity uh, or cut really actually uh, is to your diamond. Um, because, you know, you can have a pearl with lovely natural colors and shape, uh, shape and size. But if it doesn't have, I believe in the deal fairy says Kath, good. Good, because he, he does exist, the deal fairy, and he sat right there. Look. There we go, with the little mod. <laughs> he says, sorry, he didn't see us there. Uh, he was just casting more deals on today's show. <laughs> I know we're not normal. I said at the beginning, didn't I? Mad as a box of frogs. Um... Oh, my word. I'd be tempted to use these with a the kit previously, and I'd certainly, certainly be tempted to use it alongside your lovely jade eye. Um, I might have to join you on this opportunity. Carol, Susan, Angela, Renfusha, Nicolette, Ruby, Kath, Maria. Uh, hello to you, Justin. Hello to you, Patricia, Jan. I think that's our Jan, isn't it? Uh, uh, maker on the web. Abby, congratulations. Caroline, nice to see you. Lots of multi buyers getting involved. Yeah, I mean, you've got beautiful, soft apricot color, uh, apricot colors with mirror-like like luster it, it it just brings your pearls to life doesn't it when they they should take on their surroundings quality pearls yeah i mean is, uh, yeah that's doing that it is doing that they're, they're superb i just and just on the jadeite front i mean i've been looking at that you've got the jadeite ring on yes sorry for pointing that out if you no no i don't um, <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm not wearing a jadeite the, ring the color together yep. i mean just look at that combination so jadeite strands with that peach is just going to be the most gorgeous combination isn't oh, it? Oh beautiful. Mm.
Yeah, okay, now I'm getting, now people know I'm wearing it, Jen. I know. They know Sorry. I'm wearing Sorry. it. Sorry, as soon as it left my mind, so I The MD it. was just in the gallery, so <laughs> he's going to be checking my hands. Um, okay, so next opportunity. Keep dialing through because we've still got two more kits to do. Um, okay, which one? So we did the floor, right? Comes with the presentation box as well. How awesome is that? So when you actually, perfect for displaying. Yeah. There we go. Let's do it like that. And look, there we go. It comes with a little cushion. Little cushion in the centre. Very sweet. So, obviously, for uh, displaying and gifting. It comes with, check these out, beautiful curved tube spacers, um, which are sterling silver. Wow, that's a lot of 925, it isn't is. it? Yeah, they're really substantial, aren't they? I was actually expecting these to be maybe um, a base metal because they're that hefty. Mm. Gemma, you've brought some beautiful jewellery, uh, made some beautiful jewellery out of this kit. Then you've got your lovely fluorite, the most colourful mineral on the planet, many people actually say, and I tell you what, this strand demonstrates that. You've got some really vibrant ultraviolet purples, you've got some lovely spearmint greens, you've got the blues and the pinks within here as well. Classic six mil round um, uh, on a full 38 centimetre strand. I mean, the kind of kit makes itself, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does. It's really simple, really um, lovely to use. I mean, I've what have because I had these components in two kits. I just tried to use them differently in each one, so you can mix and match the sort of designs. But yeah, just I've used them in these oh, earrings. Ombre. I think they look, you know, they, they sort of frame the gemstone. They give you that lovely, lovely shape for earrings. I think beautiful. And you get all that luster from them because they're so twinkly, aren't they? Well, they're diamond cut. Yeah. Diamond cut, so all that lovely precision, um, all that lovely precision. We've got a variety of this kit coming up just after, but again, that gram weight that you're getting in those uh, silver uh, curved tubes, um, they actually measure 50 millimeters, so you could possibly use them at the front of a bracelet, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, I've used them at the front of a bracelet oh, and in, a another, in another one. Um, and also, I've uh, in a previous show, I've, I've shown you how to cut them in half. So you can actually, you know, spread them I out. Remember that. And I made a little frame and hung a gemstone in. So you put them together, they make a lovely ellipse. Shape. Don't you put something through the centre so it doesn't buckle? Or am I thinking somebody else? Then? Oh yes, no. When you cut it, yeah. yes. If you cut, if you cut it with a, with a cutters, yeah, you need to put something through the middle. But if you saw cut it, you'd be fine. Oh okay. Yeah. So you can actually well double the quantity then of yeah. the curved yeah. spaces if you actually uh, sort of cut them down to a smaller size. Now at thirty nine pounds, and what do you mean going to? Are we not at that price? Okay. <laughs> now we know that the deal fairy's been in town. However. He says he can't take credit credit for this price tag. This is all down to the kit team. It get, comes with the box, comes with the sterling silver uh, tubes and the fluorite. To take this, no, is it, it's not going lower than that, is it? Uh, uh, Producer Ben would have taken this to 19.99, he says. But look at that. Even with, with that ground weight of sterling silver and the fluorite, you get the box too. But our lovely Alice from Kit Team. <laughs> says this. Oh, wow. That's, that's an amazing price, isn't that's it? That's a price for the fluorite right? and mean, getting everything else for free. I, I think if these are in a sort of a, a, a good craft fair, you know, a... High end. A high end craft fair, or even in a shop window, I think you'd be looking at around 60 to 80 pounds. For Definitely. Because of the ground weight yeah. that you look, that for me, that's the price of the fluorite, and you're getting everything else for free. And like mm. I said, that is diamond cut nine two five sterling silver, and the box. You pay probably four. How much do you reckon? Three four pounds for the yeah. box. Yeah. Um, on, on its own. What a deal. Alice, what a kit. Nicolette, Abby, Pauline, Christina, Vivian, Kath, Christine, Jennifer, Ayrshire, Pat, Cormon, Nicolette, Catherine, you're there as well. Um, I hope we've got quantity of this kit. At 14 99 that's an absolute giveaway deal. Would we all agree? Would we all agree? You're paying for your beautiful floor. Oh, no. No way. <laughs> Oh, this is, oh, no, listen, I can, I oh, predict wow. a, maybe, have you, you two having your first tiff on this? God. Ben has just said he doesn't want to be beaten by his lovely lady, Alice. Alice set the 14 99 price tag. Ben wants to just go that one step further. Goodness me, this might be your first tiff, Ben. 
pushing boundaries, isn't he? He is somewhat. <laughs> yeah. You know that, don't you, Ben? Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. That's fantastic. I mean, it's fantastic just for the fluorite. Or just for the diamond cut sterling silver. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So one, two, three. Three components, even though technically you're getting more because you've got two lots of the tubes. You're talking about four quid each. Amazing. Four quid each. Well done. Just over. Amazing. I've got to move on to the next kit just because I am running out of time. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, we're not going to do any of the panto. Listen, we've got to watch the clock as well. Um, you've got your diamond cut, beautiful 925 sterling silver spacers. Ah, uh, could have been there. Could have. There's your lovely giftable box that you're getting also. And you have your soda light. <laughs> Alice says she wins at everything. <laughs> She's right, Ben. She's right. The sooner you embrace it, the better. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. And again, look at as if Gemma. I mean, you look at your jewelry. Yeah. That could, you wouldn't ever think that was a twelve ninety nine price tag. Oh, look at those. Oh wow! All that soda light, literally cascading from your diamond cut curved spacers. Look at the quality of the soda light too. And the gift box, don't forget that, you get the gift box as well. Uh, hello Nikki, saying Ben, when is the Labradorite box uh, clasp on please? I love Labradorite. Ooh, it's on pre-order, isn't it? In the 12 o'clock hour, but you can get it on pre-order, Nikki. Um, yeah, basically, safe in the knowledge that Ben will take it to the best possible deal. So it's on the website right now. There we go, Nikki. Um, it is going lower than twenty one ninety nine. So um, it's going lower than that. Trust in the deal, fairy. He's saying twelve ninety nine uh, only. Well done, every single one of you. Absolutely beautiful. And again, any questions that you have for lovely Gemma and her uh, pieces of jewelry, then do feel free. Oh, what I do you want? The, yes. Do what the else do you need? And the soda light please. and the soda light yes there you go i thank you very much no problem okay so yes what i wanted to show you today was how to create that um those loops below your spacer bar and incorporate I did that wonder. into your designs um however i have brought the wrong wire with me so i'm hoping this works so let me just check i'm not sure it's going to work with this wire just, just have a little check. If not, we might have to do a little mock-up. We can improvise. 0.4 and improvise. Yeah. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna, yes, I can do it. Is it working? Yeah. <laughs> Is that all down so, to the thickness or, yeah, so, um, of the wire? Yeah, it's, it's how much you can get through this tube. So okay. you can do this with a 0.6 or a 0.8 mil wire. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got a 0.8 mil wire here, but it's a square um, profile wire. And so um, that, can sometimes, that can sometimes make a difference to how, how okay. it goes through. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice long length of my wire to start with because we're going to use up quite a bit of the length of the wire with doing some loops and also we're going to take it through the tube a couple of times. So when I cut the wire, I'm going to go for around 40 centimetres just to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to create some loops on the wire. So take your round nose pliers or um, bail making pliers, even better, because then you can have exactly the same size loop every time. And then I'm gonna go to the center of my 40 centimeters of 0.8 mil wire. And I'm going to, I'm gonna pick this point on my pliers and, and try and pick the same point every time. And then I'm going to create a loop on this wire. I'm taking it round like so and then making it flat along the top. So we've just got a loop, sort of just sat below the wire, like so. Okay, and we're just gonna flatten that out a bit more. So to flatten it out, just make sure it's on your pliers, and then just push against the wire with your finger, and then that should create a nice flat top. And then we're gonna do another loop next to it. In fact, we're gonna do a few loops, um, and as many as you really, as you want, really. So I'm going to position my pliers roughly where I want the loop to be. And I can move it around a bit if it's too far away. So push and then take the wire round. Now what you want to make sure you're doing is getting the wire um, the same, um, moving in the same way round every time. So if your wire comes underneath every time, make sure 
it does so that all your loops sort of are the same so um, they, they lay flatter then okay so we'll do a couple on one side and then we'll do a couple Uh, then, um, yeah, just do a couple along. I, I always go for an odd number so that I've got a middle. I like to have a middle that I can perhaps do an extra feature on or put a pendant on. So I've got three, two on this side. I'm going to do another one, I believe, on here, and then we'll do the other side as well. So just, again, taking your pliers, positioning in the loop where you want it, and then bringing the wire around so that you get that nice flat um, section of wire along the top with the loops below. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to the other side. I think on my original one I did nine loops, but we'll do a few less just so that we can, I can show you the next bit. Okay, just positioning. So move your pliers along and then making sure that they're in the same direction each time. So if your wire's coming underneath, make sure it comes underneath. If it goes on the top, make sure it stays going over the top each time. And you'll soon see, because if your loops, you should have, um, if we look at it from this, from this side, it should look like steps going up. So all these straight bits go the same direction. If they, and if they end up with sort of a straight wire and then one behind it and then one in front, then it's not going to sit properly underneath your bar. So just ensure that that's happening. You're going the right way. And let's put this. This is the last loop I'm going to put in. Now, I could probably go for a few more loops to fill the length of the bar, but we'll just stay with that for now. So what I'm going to do now is sort of shape this to the same sort of curve as the spacer bar. So I'm just going to use my finger to do that. I'm just going to sort of rub along that section there so that it forms the same sort of loop mm -hmm. okay and then I'm going to just make a note so center it up so that hang on, my wires a bit springy center it up so that I've got an equal distance at either end from my spacer bar and then I'm just going to um, help it along a little bit or tell it where to go by popping my pliers onto the wire and just giving it a bit of a bend at each side so that it you know it goes into it doesn't pull through too far when I start putting it through the tube okay so like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to take these wires either direction through the tube so I'm going to take the one side going through if you find it sticking a little bit you can sort of put a bit of a curve on your wire to help it sort of find its route through and then we're going to do the I'm going to put this one down and then try and get the other one through as well. Now, this can take a bit of wiggling to, um, it, it can take a little bit of time. Okay. And then this wire through the other direction. <laughs> he was funny, isn't he? <laughs> If you ever hear us just like literally tittering away at, at, at completely nothing, it's usually <laughs> because we're laughing, <laughs> laughing at Ben in the gallery. Just, just, just natter into himself. He does have a little natter to himself. It's funny. Right. So if you want to, if you want to help this along a bit, you can take your pliers and push it through. It's easier than it's better than doing it with your hands because your hands tend to bend and uh, move the wire. So it's better to get quite close to where you're, you're pushing it through and then push it through ooh, until you see it coming out the other end and then you just pull that into place now it's it will be it might be a bit tricky especially me I'm using 0.8 square profile wire here so it's going to be trickier for me to do this than for you it won't be this. so what gauge w w should so we use? I would go you can go a 0.8 but it's not a profile wire yeah uh, so the profile is making it a bit trickier because it's got a bit more purchase yeah um, to it so it's making it a bit trickier but um, yeah, let's just, I'm just gonna, don't worry if it um, comes out, there you go. Oh, there you right. go. So that's through there. Well, there you can see, you can got, you've got an eye shape there. Oh, if that's you cool, to, it's an all seeing eye. Yeah, if you wanted to turn it into that, but we're gonna just, what I want to do is have that bar as just like, um, a, 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 you know, like the holder for this. So it turns it into like a little connector really. Just fold that down. 
to manipulate. Okay. And then, then what I'm going to do is make sure that all of these loops are nicely sort of lined up and you know, face in the right direction so you can hang on your gemstones. And then at either end, I'm going to thread on one of my soda lights. Which are beautiful, aren't they? The they quality of the soda lights. They are really lovely. They really are like the um, sort of that uh, the ceramic ware. What's willow. Willow pattern. willow pattern, oh, yeah. Of course, willow. Um, you're not going to forget that, would, are you? Well, you would think, but I actually do. <laughs> forget right. it was only recently that I knew that's what it was called <laughs> <laughs> so that, then just to finish um, I've popped a little bead either side and then all I've done at this end is just created um, or either end just created little loops that I can then attach into my chain so if I cut I've bent those to start with to get me started and then I'm just going to cut them to about a centimeter long each side And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and create some little loops. And then I'll, all I need to do then is link this either into a, you know, you could do a nice rosary link chain to finish this if you wanted to. Or you could hook that onto just a general um, um, chain like I have to keep it nice and simple. And then all that's left to do is um, make some, either make your eye pins or um, use your your head pins and your eye pins to create lots of little dangles. Oh, those like those featherweights we had earlier on. Featherweights would be ideal, yeah, to create those wrap loops. Um, but I've done just layers of two, so I've done one sort of um, just a rosary link open loop um, mm -hmm. onto each and then added a little drop on the bottom of each one. Beautiful. What a great way of using those those curved bars because yeah. uh, again I would never have thought of any, uh, of actually turning them effectively into what is like a almost like a bale isn't it yeah, really it's, yeah it's like a multi bale and I, and I love this is why I love these components they really do make you think outside the box really just experiment oh, look. And play with them now this uh, this happens almost never almost never which ones Ben Arrowhead dash spacer bar. I think. Yeah. So one of these has got an arrowhead design and one of these has got a different, so they're slightly so, different designs. I think okay. this one might be the arrowhead, no. We'll have a little look now. Oh, oh, Dan's on the case, he's on it. Don't worry, uh, don't worry. So you'll see the different designs. This happens almost never. We ne uh, Very rarely do we actually have a, a component out, you know, within a kit on its own individually. And so frequently you message into the studio saying, thanks, Dan, um, saying, is it possible? Uh, so which one's the arrowheads? I'm going to... This one, I'm going to guess. Well, let's have a look at the other one. Have a little look. I'll put the two together. and we can... Have we got a photograph? Oh, that's the arrowhead. It would be the wrong one that I put, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think, well, I'm pretty sure because <gasps> it's got the chevron sort of shape. Oh, look, it. yeah, there we go. Look at those. Almost three, just shy of three grams of 925 sterling silver. I'm also going to show you in this direction so you can see just how generous, if you like that drill hole for want of a better that's description. Yours, I think. Yeah, so you could even put these onto things like your leather. Yeah. Uh, yeah, leather cords. Yeah, it's really it'd be really nice and contemporary. And do you know what? Just a great place to suspend like your big pendants. So you know these nice. gorgeous jadeite pendants. Yeah, you just have that threaded onto leather cord and then suspend your have your jadeite pendant on there. It's going to sort of have a bit of movement along that bar. Yeah, really nice. Without cord. making its way to the back. Now, yeah, uh, yeah. we don't have much time. We are literally edging our way towards your amazing Jadeite event as well. Um, so many of you getting involved. This is uh, almost three grams of sterling silver. Diamond cut, and you can see that in the beautiful luster. Wow. Wow. Seven ninety nine only. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that beautiful quality. All that gram weight of 925 sterling silver. You'd pet you'd expect that each maybe. Yeah. yeah it's a really good. But you get the two. Nice, you do get the two. How many do we have of these available then, Ben? 
they're actually on the verge of selling out. Um, on, on selling out. So good luck, good luck. If you are told that you miss out on this, you can always wish, it, wish list it. Our call centre uh, will call you if any of them just so happen to fall back into stock. All I can say is good luck. And a lot of you are actually multi-buying on this as well. Um, love it. And I really love the, the, just incorporating them into your into your stretchy bracelets. So I tell you yeah. what, taking something which is probably exactly. the easiest piece of jewellery that you make yeah. and, taking it, uh, 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 and taking it up a notch in terms of the actual luxury. Well done, everybody. Angela, Denise, Jane, Abby, Penny, Wendy, Alison. Oh, it's sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. Amazing. So all, loads of your thicker cords will actually fly through there. Mm. So are we doing the other cut? Yes. Amazing. <laughs> so diamond cut tubes. These are described as, oh, I'm so confused. Yeah. They are similar. Do you know what? I might be wrong. That they but might be not the, arrow the same. <laughs> no, the drawing. It is right it's in right, accordance. Right, is it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. In according to the uh, what the photograph I can see in the studio, that is right. Aren't they beautiful? They are lovely. They just got that. They, you know, that almost like a faceting. Yeah. I wonder if I if I bought maybe two lots of these, Gemma. Mm. That could be a bangle, couldn't it? Yeah. You, yeah. You could. Yeah. Just literally on the stretch. On the stretch. Turn it into like a flexible bangle. Yeah. Oh, nice. Really nice. All that 925 sterling silver, £7.99 pence only. Again, you are absolutely flying in for these. In terms of the length, 50, cent, uh, 50 millimetres, I beg your pardon. Um, but as Gemma said, you can cut them down. You can, yeah. So don't Talk use your flush cutters. No, because they it will crimp and close them. You can get away with it if you thread a 2 mil wire or something. To stop it buckling, stop it buckling. Um, and the best thing to cut it with would be something like um, the little notch in your shears your metal shears oh yeah yeah, yeah, a, yeah around yeah. a cut or even it kind of does um, that doesn't it as opposed to that yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they sold out. They sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. Really um, memory wire cutters. That's what I was going to say. That's quite a good. That's shape. a hum. Yeah. It's, Isn't a, it's, it? a, it's, it's like a, a parrot. Like yes. a carrot beak, it's that, it's, it's a better cut. Um, or a crab claw. Crab claw. Yeah, yeah totally. For all, the, <laughs> all the similar motions. Um. <laughs> um, should we do a tassel cap? Oh, is it this one? What, 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 what did you say was a gemstone? Oh, you're going to love this. And also... Um, this is very Dave, actually. I've seen a beautiful, beautiful piece of jewellery um, that Dave has actually launched on our sister channel. Um, this is Mother of Pearl. You've got the most amazing pink. It's a star by and it's next. This is beautiful. Pink mother of pearl. It comes, if I turn it this way as well, uh, we're not stopping there. This is beautiful. If I turn it that way, you've got a really discreet hidden bale. So it's almost gonna, it's almost gonna look like it, 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 would, it would float. Mm -hmm. But Gemma, I know you're intrigued. Yeah. You've oh, got, a lot. oh, that's good. That's where you attach all your tassels to. So think those sea pearls that we yeah. had in the, um, in, in, at the beginning of this hour. Literally just oh, a big bunch of those mm. on a 925 sterling silver chain. How beautiful. Gorgeous. And also, how amazing with your pearls that you had. Yes, the peach pearls. Perfect. And the jadeite that's coming up. Oh, that sounds like a heavenly piece of jewellery. Now, we are limited on time. Um, and there's a way that we pick up the pace. It's literally to reduce the prices even lower. Um, it just means we, uh, we move that li little bit faster to guarantee those deals. How many do we have? We had 150, but at nine pounds and 99 pence, these absolutely are not going to hang around. You saw what happened with, you know, the beautiful hands, for example, with that ruby. You've seen what happened with those lovely, colourful bangles. Mm. You've seen what's been happening across the entirety of the day. Um, we're short on time now. OK, we're very aware of that. We're short on time. We want to bring you all of these deals. So let's drop those prices even more. Angela, Nicolette, Kath, Maria, Beverly, Claire, Amanda, Linda, Linda, Angela, Kim, Elizabeth. Sabitha, hello to you. Nice to have your company. I had 150 of these available. I've always struggled with, well, with certain tassel tops I've struggled because sometimes it's just that little bit tricky to get the thread through. Yeah. Whereas these... Yeah, that's going to be a easy. A lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Because you've got more access, haven't you? Yeah. 
you can almost go across the piece. And those little silver elements are going to hide away at the top there. You're not going to see them when the tassel's in. Beautiful. I'm going to get some of these. And I'd make earrings out of them. Absolutely. They'd be beautiful earrings. Beautiful earrings, yeah. Oh, I keep the bail as it is. Yeah. Just attach a shepherd hook. Right, um, again, I've got 10 minutes on this hour. I need to squeeze this. And also, still got availability on these. It's just time that's pushed me for, uh, move, maybe move on. Um, you're going to love these. Described as jump rings. Oh, the jump rings, not the connectors. How, which ones, though, Ben? Three ten mils. Heart shapes. Is that those? What sizes have you got, Ben? Right, they're the fifteen. Here you go. No, let's do the ten mil. Oh, oh, oh! In what colour? Silver. It would be, wouldn't it? Here you go. These are nine two five sterling silver. In your little hearts. Oh, they're nice. Aren't they beautiful? Just connect them together, Jem. Yeah, I mean, you could simply create a lovely chain just by linking them with jump rings. Yeah. yeah but they, they'd also be nice sort of just as charms on your, oh. on your bracelets or... Yeah, just you know. literally uh, attach almost lark's head knot from either side. Yeah. And, and then think... bead away from it and create yeah. like a Solomon's bar. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, that would be cute. Now, you are getting all of these. Hang on, have I got the right one? I'm so confused. 10 mil, three pieces. Mm. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Let me just clarify. How many are there? There are nine there, because it'd be three times three then. Let's have a little look. So three, six, no, there's 10. Ah. There's 10 here. No. No, can't be three packs. Ten doesn't divide by five. No. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, bear with us. We're we're on it. But they're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Ninety five sterling it's not silver. In all three colours, is it? I wondered that too. No. No, not in the three colours. Three nine two five sterling silver. Is it three though? Or is that a typo? Let's we'll confirm it. This is one of the things that you, know, you love jewelry maker for. Because you know it's you know we are we are human. We make mistakes. We're not we're not computers. Um, we're not computers. <laughs> I think it makes it that that that, that's that more a uh, little bit more endearing. Yes, doesn't it? Like that. Should we stick with that as an yeah, excuse? Yeah, we've got good souls. Remember, good souls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, we make mistakes, but we've got good souls. We've got good souls. Ultimately, good souls. <laughs> um, right. Either way, they are pretty. They are really pretty. Um, really so, for a weird reason, I've got loads here. You should only have three. There we go. So you get three in a pack. If you want to multi buy, you absolutely can. Um, that would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Yeah. For whatever reason, I had more than, uh, than, than, than I should have done. 10 millimetres in their size. But like you said, that, I mean, that's a beautiful feature. That, yeah. That's yeah. what you use maybe at the front of a, a necklace. Or... Yeah. Should we do an apology price? Because that was embarrassing, wasn't yeah, it? it was. <laughs> it was. You know, OK. As an apology... Pound each. Pound. Kind Sterling silver. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's it? not bad, is it? You could frame. Yesterday, yesterday we had lavender jadeite, natural mm. lavender jadeite hearts. Mm. You could literally use that as the frame, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. And they'd be beautiful around, yeah. maybe surround a, 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 an eight millimeter uh, gemstone. That's an apology deal for you all, lovely jewelry makers, at two pounds and ninety nine pence. There we go. Um, so we can be reactive, can't we? Even if we make mistakes, we, we do react. We do react and we do so usually within the price point. Um, no, they're not base metals. These are precious 925 sterling silver. Oh, and you've gone crazy for it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That's an apology deal, though, because, yeah, yeah. We have got another three pack. OK, for the record, there is just three. Not just, there are three. I don't know why I've got loads. What colour? Oh, but these are the 15 millimeter ones. Now, I do actually have three of those, so that's right. <laughs> that is right. Oh, what do you think, Jim? Yeah, linked together. That'd be nice earrings, wouldn't they? 
They'd be pretty. Okay. Um, let's bring the graphics onto our screens of the 15 millimeters. So these are big boys, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. You they can. Lovely. What would you do with these, Gem? I I think like I'm thinking like a, if I make a, a bracelet with sterling silver. And instead of using just a simple um, toggle clasp, I could use this as the loop for the toggle, Aww. which would be quite nice. Uh, and I, I like the idea of the sort of negative space wish bracelets. Nice. So the heart Love in the that. Of the wrist. Love that. You could, of course, yeah. solder onto it as well. Yeah. Literally yeah. take the shanks towards the actual heart. Now, obviously, these are bigger. These are 15 millimetres, aren't they? So we've got more sterling silver. And we knew exactly what we were. So we haven't, we haven't fluffed up here, have we? No fluffing. Oh, how is that the same price? Well, we are. We've matched that price point. Again, a demonstration of when we say we do an apology deal, that's exactly what we do do. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, two pounds and 99 pence only. Literally sold her on to these, almost like creates a really sweet stacker style uh, uh, rings or bracelets, yeah. bangles. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, they're... they're Again, wonderfully versatile components, you know, just to work in with your designs. Beautiful. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Sorry. There's not enough syllables in beautiful to do that. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's because I said because we do do. Oh. We do do. <laughs> right then. What was that? Sorry, I didn't hear a word of that, Ben. A findings pack, ninety-five, with some lovely little love heart connectors. I don't have that here. Yeah. Oh, guess what, though? Okay. I have just found the three. You do. You do. <laughs> just found... Have I? Yeah, it's on the Oh, thread. yes! Look what I've just found, though, Ben. <laughs> My mistake. There they are. There's the pack of three. Ah, oh, sorry, Ben. And that's... Oops, I don't know where the pack of ten came from, but um, I found the pack of three. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You've got your... I'm missing a gemstone there, aren't I? Where's it gone? It was there. It was. I've seen it. There. Here it is. So these are calibrated, beautiful, faceted, calibrated hearts that will nestle perfectly within your 925 sterling silver uh, heart connectors. Connectors do so much more than the obvious. You mm -hmm. can uh, really think outside the box. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go. <laughs> yeah, you can take the edges off, solder them, you can make them into rings. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can... This um, is your job, Deb. <laughs> use them as sort of pendants. Um, because you can use those, of course, those loops don't have to be just used just twice. So if you've got that at the centre of a necklace, oh, a chain like either a, side. Like a multi-row? Yeah, or, or uh, no. So, <laughs> yeah, but no. So if you had that <laughs> connected at the centre of a chain, for example, at your centre, yeah. and then you can use those loops again to take another set of chains down. Oh. So, yeah, so yeah. It can, you, know, you can use it to connect and add to. But could I put multi-rows into one of those jump rings? Yeah, probably. You can get a couple in there. Yeah. yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Beautiful. And they are stunning, natural, genuine gemstones. You've got a wonderful, very passionate colour. There we go in your um, in your uh, Mozambique garnet. You've got an absolutely beautiful topaz um, and also colourless. You know, these aren't like a trillion pretending to be a heart. They are a definite, definite yeah. heart cut. So you've got that, um, you know, the, well, the, the, the precision, if you like, of faceting within, uh, within those gemstones. And all the 90... Oh! Oh, oh, hang on a minute. There's a clock on our screen. What just happened? Ben strolled across and literally put the clock on his screen. Okay. He says he miss pre misses pressing that button. Okay. I mean, it... $49.99. You could literally just put one of those on a sterling silver chain, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. These, these with the heart uh, jump rings that we saw a few moments ago. Okay, now, jewellery maker prices, we like to, uh, we pay close attention to our uh, competitors. Um, and if we can, if we can, we will always try, endeavour to beat uh, their prices as well. And I think it's fair to say that if we were to bring these at 12 99 that's a pretty epic deal, don't you? I mean, for the sourcing of the natural gemstones and all that 925 sterling silver. But it's not just, you know, we're not talking about cabochons here. We're not talking about... 
even round brilliant cuts is actually one of the most wasteful and and uh, and uh, uh, difficult of cuts um, with uh, across three different gemstones. Twelve pounds ninety nine pence only, and that's getting you all of that lovely sterling silver. Um, again, just literally coax those prongs ever so gently over the uh, crown facets of your heart cut gemstones, and then use them as and wash you will, uh, as and wash wish. <laughs> yes. Swishy washy. Well, swishy swashy swishy. Yeah. swishy, swishy. <laughs> you could, what about macrame from either uh, side? Absolutely, yeah. Just thinking that, or the slider connector bracelet. It's really, really lovely. You did that way for what, four pounds thirty four, something. Yeah. Per exactly. Gemstone, sterling, silver connector. It's just brilliant. Four pounds thirty, and you can mm. say, oh yeah, no, that's nine two five sterling silver. That's a genuine garn garnet. That's a beautiful topaz. Again, straight away, lots of you getting involved. Let me hold one of these up for you, so you can actually see the detail. Um, you've got that lovely beaded frame, almost giving you the illusion of uh, of melee diamond surrounding. Well done. Check out those baskets, everybody. Uh, congratulations to each and every single one of you. And just so you know, for probably. The Oh, one of the only times ever, I think, um, we've ever done this. Outside of the next hour and the 11 o'clock hour, everything coming up, even in the 12 o'clock hour, is available on pre-order, including, I know, it's, it's risky, including Gemma's amazing masterclass, that beautiful mermaid head, uh, headdress. Um, I mean, yeah, we've got loads on there. So do take a little look on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Now, coming up, a real treat uh, to welcome into the studio, wonderful Dave Troth. Where I mean, it, it is purely down to Dave and his wonderful connections around the world um, that I have this rare gemstone in my own family's legacy. These are some of the most exquisite carvings that any of us may even ever, ever, ever see. So a real opportunity, a moment in history, and it's happening after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join us for the Tales of Jade. This is a gemstone that has been revered for well over 4,000 years. It has been uncovered in archeological sites dating back to the Neolithic era. Every single dynasty that has ruled over China has valued this stone above gold and us mere mortals are never meant to own it. After visiting Myanmar in 2018 and hearing about the stories from that part of the world, from that side of the border, we wanted to bring to an event where we uncover the true tales of Jadeite, steeped in folklore and mystery. This event is where you collectors will get to experience all the different varieties, all the different colors, Essentially, every jadeite we have ever acquired, that we have ever procured from the Far East, will be available for a limited time only and for the best and incredible deals. This is your chance to get your jadeite happily ever after. Do you 
jewellery makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. Make sure you join us this Saturday on Jewelry Maker for Rumble in the Jungle. And we've got everything you would expect to see. So amazing deals on amber. We've got incredible animal charms, animal themed kits. We've got seed beads. We've even got a sterling silver elephant wearing a peridot. See you then on Saturday. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Are you ready? Because this is, and I said it a few moments ago, and we really must never lose sight of it. It's a moment in history that we need to grab by the horns because it is certainly going to be fleeting. And my dear friend, and the perfect person to make these opportunities possible, is Dave Troth. Oh, thank you very much, Al. And uh, good morning to every single one of you that is joining me uh, this morning. Uh, the offering that we have for you is very limited. Now, we do have a little bit of quantity, which is, which is amazing, because I know we haven't really been able to bring you anything like this before. It is extremely exciting. And, you know, we have to understand, and it's a great thing that you said there, Al, you know, it is fleeting. We have to understand that the jade that we are being exposed to right now in the current climate, and it's almost exclusive, uh, to Jewelry Maker, the, the offerings that we have are a result of us being starved of this material for you know, well over a decade and before that for generations. You know, the West has never been able to gain access to this mm. quality of jadeite. And I want you to understand that there is, you know, I'm not talking about the two different types of jadeite as in jadeite and nephrite. There are two different types of jadeite. There is the material that the Chinese don't mind leaving China, which is the material that you'll find in Jaipur, yeah. which is the, the low grade, and then there is the material that never should leave China, mm -hmm. which is the material that we are able to bring you right now. Okay, so I've been offered jadeite for in those 10 years. You know, when, every time I go to Jaipur, you know, they're like, we've got, we've got jadeite, they'll take me to some of the cutting facilities, and that is not the, the material that I want to expose you guys to. I don't want your first experience with jadeite to be the material that we can get for three quid in, in the Jaipur market. Yeah. That's the truth, right? Yeah, I, of course. And if, you, if we can get that going forward, but this moment, as El said, is extremely fleeting. And I've, I've said it many, many, many times. I'd bring you Jada every day for the rest of my life if I could. But I can't. You know, we have this unbelievable event where we are bringing you, we're offering you everything that we did buy when we could. And on Sunday, that is our last of, of those showcases. And you might see the last two or the last threes of things that we've had before. But the opportunities will disappear. And we will all kind of miss those days, uh, I would assume. You are getting the opportunity right now to get something that none of our predecessors got to own. I never thought I could own Jada, mm -hmm. and I was fortunate enough to go to Myanmar. You know, this material used to only be available in auction houses by way of an estate collection. And with that, you pay a significant premium. You know, the, the, the idea that we can go, hey guys, you've got an option, multi-buy. You know, <laughs> yeah. you can buy three or four, that, that's crazy. But we do have uh, jadeite that we have done deals on. And we're speaking as a team, as a collective. And because of that moment in time that we could get jadeite, which doesn't exist right now, and what's happened right now, because you know, this material has appreciated in the market, we've, we, we are exploring options of trading some parcels of our jadeite to procure other gemstones. 
to give you guys some variety. Because we got such a great deal on the Jedi. You know, when we go uh, and speak with vendors that now can't get Jedi because yep. they didn't act in that moment because they were on lockdown or they couldn't sell because they didn't have a business like ours because their roller shutters were down. If they have something that we would like, maybe Pareba Tourmaline, uh, maybe uh, s some incredible blue garnets that just... Well, That's what I mean, the Jade thinks to yeah, that. The, 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 the blue garnets um, that, we are, that used to come out of East Africa in the late 1990s. If someone has that material and we can come to the table and go, have you ever seen Jade like this? Then maybe we can get those deals over the line. And that's something that we are looking to do in the very near future. <coughs> so we are coming to the end of Jade And it might seem like, oh, Jade again, or we're fatigued. This is a moment. This is an incredible moment. And what we are bringing you for the first time is a series of Jedi archers rings. Oh. And these are, I mean, I've been in awe of these for so long. And if you join me for my Facebook Live this morning, you'll, you'll hear me quote that famous ancient Chinese proverb, which is, gold is valuable, Jedi is priceless. And it seems, as I said yesterday, every civilization that has ever come into contact with Jedi, so the Mesoamerican peoples, the cultures, the civilizations that existed, Thousands of years ago, in what is now modern-day Guatemala, Costa Rica, and Mexico, those, those locations, when they found jade, the Olmecs, the Mayans, the Aztecs, they fell in love with it. And you know, when, when the Spanish conquistadors came over and they were trading and they wanted the city of gold, they wanted this, you know, it was jade that the mm -hmm. Olmecs, that the Aztecs, that the Mayans valued far above that and the finest emerald mines in the world. It's the same with the Chinese cultures, you know, with, with ancient Chinese cultures dating back four, 5,000 years. Jade has always been their pinnacle stone. And where they can, they will carve the entirety of a piece of jewelry out of jade rather than lower the value by putting it into gold or platinum. That's why the jadeite bangles command the most significant premiums because it's carved out of all entirely jadeite. Okay, it is the material that doesn't need gold, doesn't need diamonds, doesn't need silver or platinum. And the ring is far harder to come by. Because I forgot a bangle. Yeah, yes. Can I borrow this bangle? Sure. Second? Thank you. I'm just going to show you this, just because it's a perfect demonstration. Those of you that know, know that when I went to Myanmar, I picked up a bangle, uh, and I was at the source, and I asked them the price. It was like $15,000. But to get a bangle, right, the thickness of a bangle, if you're looking at it, you can see it from there. This material, cheers, guys. Thank you. I'll show you that. But this is the, the thickness of the bangle, okay? And this would have been a slice of a boulder, okay? So it would have been a sheet like that. Wow. And then what they do is they place the template on, these, on, on, on the boulders, trying to maximize the amount of these that they can get. Uh, because you've got this thickness, there is a higher chance that the bangle will survive. But when you talk about a ring, you think about how fragile a ring is. It has to go through the same... It, you know, process, the six-stage process, and we talk about these being like one in a million that survived to this point, that don't need polymer impregnation, that don't need dye. You've got this continuous striation of color. You've got this, this ultra-dense material that is passed down through generations, so extremely, extremely durable. This is why this material is so expensive, even in the local marketplace. But to do a ring is probably the highest achievement. Now, not in terms of carat weight, but in terms of its ability to survive until its final form. And uh, we've explored so many options. Never have I ever offered a Jade Eye Archer's Ring next door. Oh, really? Never. This is, if you guys have uh, tuned into those shows, many of you will have, in fact, thousands of you will have over the last 18 months. We've tuned into be incredible, beautiful collections of Jade Eye next door. You'll have never seen a full carving of a Jade Eye Ring. You know, we'll, we'll get a cabochon and we'll put it in gold, or we'll get a cabochon and we'll put mm. it in silver. But what we have right now is really special. And to, to really allow you to understand this material, I'm going to talk to you about bangles. Because that is a, a miniature bangle, essentially. That's what you're getting, a wearable, miniature, incredible bangle. And if you go to Mays, who are uh, based in uh, North America and are Jedi Atelier jewelry house, you know, have beautiful collections of Jedi, they talk about the background of Jedi. They say, look, Jedi Jade is one of two types of genuine jade, which has been adored by the Chinese cultures for many centuries, as we know, in fact, thousands of years. Before the discovery of jade in Myanmar, Burma, nephrite was the main mineral used in jewelry and ornaments. For much of the past century, jade has become the quintessential gemstone for the Chinese. Now, it's not valued only for its beauty, durability, and rarity, 
but also for what it represents and the wealth, luck, and healing powers it possesses. And you know, when you talk about what jade art represents, you tick all those boxes when you get the, the carved circle of heaven. You know, that mm. prosperity, the, the wealth, it is a symbolism for all of that. Now, the majority of natural untreated jade bangles that supply the global markets, they're hand, handmade in Myanmar. And the article that we're going to go through explains the process of how a jade bangle is crafted from rough boulder to fine piece of jewellery. Now, did I hear right when I was in the gallery? Is everything on pre-order right now? Uh, no. Okay, good. We weren't that, that? No, fine. brave. That's, that's fine. I'm happy about that. No problem. <laughs> the other hours we did that. Yeah, because I would have alerted you to do that because I don't want this to sell out before we get the chance to really understand it. So they choose a jade art boulder. That's the first step. And we know that... You know, when they're choosing this jade out boulder, they can be bought from government auctions or indeed local vendors. And I've seen the process myself. I've shared that with you many times. I've seen people spending 10 million US dollars on jade out boulders that to me just look like huge rocks. Mm. But they seem to know what lies inside. Because the boulder is covered with a layer of brownish to black colored skin. And it's obviously very different than the material underneath. Some of the boulders can have small windows where the skin is ground down on one side so the buyer can have an indication, you know, essentially a window to the material that's inside. Others are cut in half and others have no indicators at all. And, and that is the material that is of the biggest risk. So picking a jade out boulder can be a gamble requiring both luck and skill because nobody can pinpoint where the good quality material is inside the boulder, if any. And then they've got to slice the jade out boulder. And I want you to turn your attention to the close-up shot on the right there. You see how thick that is? Yeah. It's, that, that, that is what they're doing for bangles, right? Because you're talking about bangle thickness. In fact, in the image on the right, you can see a bangle in its preform just to the left. Of oh, it. yes. Yeah, you yeah. see that. So, and then look at the very bottom of that stack of slices and look how thin that material is. Yeah. You know, it's like a, that tiny paint. It's almost like a pane of glass. Yeah. That's what they're carving rings out of. Wow. And when you put that into, I mean, think about that. They're going to carve that, hollow it out, drill it, polish it. The, the, the success rate for rings compared to bangles is minuscule. Yeah, I and can imagine. And this is why they are almost entirely auction house jewellery. Okay. okay. There's very few vendors today that are actually offering this material. It is usually, when we talk about the, the origins of the archer's ring, it's usually from different dynasties, you know, so how obviously how you pay a premium for the history associated with it, but mm -hmm. like the Quinlong era, uh, the Shang dynasty, it'll be from those eras. And we have to remember, when we're talking about those eras, that's carved from Nephrite. Yes, the Nephrite true, is a not much, Jadeite. Much stronger, much more generous material. Wow. Not as valuable, not as expensive, and that is just the truth. To ask the, the, the Jadeite dealers right now to say, hey guys, we actually want you to carve rings. <laughs> We're asking them through that in lieu of carving bangles, which, as we know, bangles command a, a more significant premium. So if you just go back to that image one more time, sorry. You say to them, yeah, I understand you, you can carve bangles out of that, which is going to get you a bigger premium. But could you then slice the thickness of that sheet in half again and carve rings out of it? Which is, again, way more risky. Yeah, of course. Because there's a higher, much higher chance of breakage. It's, it's no one is offering this material. So we know it's cut into slices of bangle thickness. That is all they cut using large diamond coated blades with water dripping to act as a lubricant and coolant. Being careful to check if any high quality veins have been revealed with, e with each slicing of the boulder. And what we mean by that is when you're talking about high quality uh, vein, it's not necessarily the color, it's the ground. Yeah. It's the crystal because that, that material there, I mean, we're only seeing an image of it, but it might not even be a high enough quality vein. You might carve a bangle into that, and the bangle will have fault lines. It will break. Mm -hmm. it, it won't be durable. It'll have to be polymer impregnated. So it's very difficult. And to do the rings is even harder. This will be your only chance of getting jade out rings with us here at Jewelry Maker. It's been hell to try and get these on your screens, I'll be really honest. Yeah. Because many people don't, don't even want to explore this option. And yeah, then, I don't think I've ever actually seen one outside yeah, of today. Fully carved. Yeah. Jadeite ring. Wow. The perfect placement. This is the key here. So once the jadeite is in the manageable slabs, workers draw outlines of bangles onto them. It's important step taking into consideration these three factors: size, flaws, and wastage. Now they've got to fit the maximum amount of bangles onto any given slab with the minimum amount of flaws, therefore reducing wastage. Mm. If you just hand me that bangle one more time, did I? I've got it. Sorry. Yeah. People might say, well, well, Dave, you know what, you could, um, why don't they take the material from the inside of the bangle uh -huh. and, and make rings out of that, right? So they, they, why don't they do that? 
This isn't like cut out. This isn't like a cookie cutter technique where you're left with this perfect you know, slice of jade that's in a circular form inside. It's drilled through. It's completely drilled. So anything in here is destroyed. It's all wasted. It's gone. I noticed that on that photograph, literally where you, they were drawing onto those yeah. slabs, literally the crosses in the middle. Absolutely, it's gone, it's wasted. Literally a big cross through the yeah. centre. And, and again, here we go. If you want to talk about floors, natural floors are common. And it's compromised between quality and overall value when it comes to deciding the placement of the bangles on, on the templates, on the slabs. The bangles can break in the drilling and polishing process if the floors are significant and not placed in the correct position. So we're talking about a bangle can break. You know, it's common for a bangle to break when they're drilling, when they're polishing, when it's going through this whole process. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. If a bangle, they, they say, is, is, is likely to break, more likely to break than survive, imagine that. Um, I... That's the same material. It has to go through the same process. It has to go through the same exact process. And then look at the thickness of that. Wow. This is a very special moment for you guys as collectors. There are very, you know, I'm sure with the influx of jade into the Western market, I'm sure people might have a bangle. People might have a, a beautiful pendant, the donut, the mm. pie symbol, the high goo. They might have a jadeite bracelet. Yep. Right, they might, they might have the jadeite ring. They might even have the colors of jadeite. But do they have that fully carved, incredible, translucent, gem quality, Jadeite ring that is completely oh my word perfect jadeite all the way around. We anticipate, and this is why I mentioned. I hope it's not on pre-order. We anticipate this is going to be the most in-demand showcase in our history. Okay, and it's not going to be the most expensive. I said that earlier. We've also, even though, and I promise you this, this is going to be affordable because you're sitting there at home, and I get it. Al, it's your first time seeing. It. Yeah, your first time seeing it, right? So we have yeah. no frame of reference. Yeah, no frame of reference. So we go. Okay, can I afford it? That's maybe the question on your lips. Maybe yeah. that's the question on your mind. Can, can I actually afford to get that into our, my collection? Yeah, you can. And not only can you afford it, I've, I've forced our sales manager, Wayne, because I understand the, the importance of a moment like this. This isn't um, a jadeite strand that maybe we've brought 100 times before. Mm -hmm. Okay, this isn't uh, a jadeite carving of which we brought you 50 or 60 of our yeah. time here. This is one series of jadeite rings. And I said, we're putting this on uh, split pay. And Wayne said, at this price point, this will give you an indication, we don't usually include split pay. Oh, my so word. Today we're going to. So we're going to make it attainable. We're going to make it affordable and attainable, which I can guarantee you, if anyone else is bringing you what I'm bringing you right now, if anyone else, and if you're lucky and you can find someone else that has some of this, they're going to be nowhere near our price points. Nowhere near our price points. And people say... Going forward, can we get more of this? You said the material gets the Jaipur. Yeah, you're not getting this out of Jaipur. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the material that doesn't have fault lines, that is translucent, that is Taipei, does not leave China. I want you to understand that. That is not something that we will bring to you. Now, we've talked about floors. We've talked about them in a big, generous, durable bangle. And now we're talking about this. Now they drill the jadeite slab. So with the outline drawn, the slabs are securely placed inside a drilling machine which is fitted with a double-bladed, diamond-coated hole saw. Now, the actual drilling process takes place underwater to keep the heat at bay, which reduces, doesn't eliminate, but it reduces the chance of breaking during the process. Again, you're talking about a real thick, beautiful piece of jade out there. Yeah. Right. We are now offering you something that should be the most fragile in the world to, to, to get to this point. And once it's at this point, it's extremely durable. Because we know jade is stronger than steel. Yeah. So this is, once it's in its final form, once it's survived to its final form, it is the most durable you can imagine. You know, it's, it's extremely durable. These are, these are passed down through generations. This is why, when you talk about the archer's rings that have been on the battlefield a thousand years ago, 700 years ago, still will make their way to Christie's and Bonhams today. Amazing. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Like they've actually been used. It's not just something that's been kept in a safe. They were, they were used in, in the battlefield. They were archers' rings. And that, that is why they carry such sim symbolism in uh, Chinese culture. Then you've got to shape it into a style. So the rough bangles are ready to be hand-carved into the desired style. So you've got round, semi-round, half moon, or flat. The technique uses two halves of a tough, gridded, diamond flat lap to shape the rough bangle into the style while it's mounted on a spinning spindle. 
Okay, and you can see it on the uh -huh. right. Again, imagine doing that with something this precious. This valuable. Yeah, and, and the thing is, I've just noticed by putting it on my finger here, this is one of the small ones, with small, medium, and large. So I've just got it up to here on my finger. As I'm wearing it, it feels so different to metal. Metal Doesn't is cold, it? right? As we understand, of course it is. This is, you know, takes on. You know, yeah. It's comfortable, it's, it's beautiful, it's durable, and you feel like you're not even wearing anything. That is the beauty. And you'll never experience that, I don't think, unless you've, if anything else has been carved into just complete ring. No silver, no gold, no nothing. It is just jade that is haloing your digit, haloing your finger. This is what's incredible about it. And then this is the final final piece of the jigsaw now. And they polish with the wet bamboo, which is something I was really privileged to get oh, to see. Right? Wow. And I mean, I may have even seen that guy in, my, in Myanmar. Like it was exactly the same technique, exactly everything we're seeing. So once the desired style has been carved, the jade bangles, and in this case, the jade ring, are given their final polish using the traditional method used since the ancient times. So this is you know, how the original archer's rings would have been done, okay? Wow. Uh, and it's a method used since the ancient times, bamboo. All polished jade bangles, and indeed rings, are given a rinse with water to wash off the, the residue abrasives and coated with wax to preserve the luster. And we are about to offer our thousands of collectors today, globally, the chance to own the most precious, the one in a million, the one that shouldn't be here. Certainly not on, on a shopping TV channel, certainly not for the price we're about to do. And we are going to open this up to all of you. And when I mean all of you, I mean all of you. I mean every single one of you can get these. We're not gonna price you out. We've got a very significant opportunity where we can say, hey, we did it. We persevered and we said we wanted this and we, we wanted to bring it to you. That's exactly what I've got right now. So when I was in Myanmar and I saw jadeite bangles and they were staggering in price, never saw jadeite rings, never saw you know, a full carving. And again, I want to you know, end this by talking about what I started talking about, the ancient proverb that exists. Gold is valuable, jadeite is priceless, and this is an entire circle of heaven formed out of solid type A, 100% natural jadeite, that has been through every single one of those stages. And we talk about how, how dangerous that is for a... Look, how dangerous that is for something like this, okay? Something like this. And then you see this. And you look at wow. this. Wow. Wow. You know, it really puts it into perspective. It does. What we are offering you right now. And we've always been amazing value on these. Always been amazing value. And I know you guys maybe have got your valuations. I know I've had a lot of messages from you that have bangles like this with the incredible polish, with you know, full carving out of the jadeite. But we're going to offer you this. And we're going to do an incredible deal. We're going to do a one minute clock right now to open the graphics for the first piece. Because we know how hotly anticipated this is going to be. We, we, we understand how many of you want to own this. Maybe you've never seen this. Maybe you've never heard about this. Maybe you've never read about this. I hope we've done a good enough job explaining why this is so special. And in 45 seconds, the floodgates are going to open. Yeah, this is so, so, so exciting, Dave. Um, uh, do you know what? It really, do you know, that's really hit home because I know that I understand that about the bangle. I know how wasteful it is. I know yeah. how, 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 how risky it is. But I'd never even considered that that would be actually uh, multiplied. Oh, with a, and, and more. And then some. Look at it. It's an absolute vision of beauty. And, and you feel the warmth of the presence of this gemstone. Yeah. The quality and in the, the colour. the translucency, you can see that. It's not chalky. It's not like opaque. It has this ethereal, beautiful glow. And I wanted to cover it by saying, I don't want you to have to wait. So I've told you it's going to be affordable. I've told you you're going to be able it's to get this. Incredible. There. Incredible. Right. This is yours. Forget the carat weight. It's, it's unimportant. 14 carats is special. We know that. But there's never been a f better piece of jadeite sitting at 14 carats on your screen. It's probably 30 carats or more mm -hmm. in the rough. This is your incredible moment. How many do we have? Oh, a big quantity. Yeah, we said we got as much as we could. That's why we can do the price we're going to do today. 300. 300. So I hope you know how good this deal is going to be. Because 300 don't just walk out of this building. No. Anything. 
unless it's an incredible deal. And let's, let's, let's just, let's just um, imagine that only one exists. Let's imagine we only have one. So let's imagine, here I am, I'm in Tucson, or I'm in Hong Kong, a gentleman has a booth and he has the bangles, he has the, the, the carvings, he has the different incredible colors, and then I, I see this. I see, this catches my eye, it's in the glass case. And you know, I say to him, is that a, a jadeite ring? And he explains, look, it's the jadeite archer's ring. You rarely, rarely ever see them. You rarely ever encounter these. Mm -hmm. And the reason you rarely encounter them, and he explains to us, he says, look, for instance, take this bangle, and I'm sure he'd take it out of his glass case, and he'd say, what makes these so expensive isn't just because people like bangles, it's because it's the highest caliber yeah. of jadeite. You know, it's got to survive through to this point. You're also removing the largest portion of it. It also represents the circle of heaven. Yeah, that connection. And now you get to wear a jadeite ring. Well, did, and, did do you know what the price would be? I, tell, I, I can tell you right now, I can estimate, I think, with some degree of like, accuracy, what the price would be on something like this. And I'll give it to you. Right, right now, I'll give you the price that I think this would be if it was a one of a kind. If we walked in here and we offered you all the jadeite we do, and I said, for one collector, I've managed to get one jadeite ring, the archer's ring, and I'm bringing it to you right now. But then the price would be, uh, let's be honest, it would be under a thousand pounds, which is incredible. I think it would be 799, certainly next door, certainly next door. 14 carats of jadeite. So let's bring that in. Let's go 799 right now. I'm, that, so, I mean, I'm so thrilled to see so many of our collectors on the phone lines that are adding this to their collection, that have trusted us and are saying, well, Dave said it's going to be affordable. Dave said it's going to be on split pay. You have no idea, my friends. You have no idea what we are working on right now. How incredible would that be if it was a one of a kind? But I said to you it's going to be affordable. And I said to you, if you want to, then you can multi-buy. You mentioned, Dave, um, that the carrot weight obviously isn't important. And, and to be honest, the size isn't important. But I do also understand why you want to know, um, you know, is it going to fit your finger? Literally just move digits if it doesn't. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Literally move dig dig digits. But for those of you that are asking, this is a, a approximately, um, approximately a P. OK. Really. Uh, but you can always move right. your... F Literally move it to the next finger. How, 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 you know, you've been part of some of the biggest auctions in jewellery makers' history in terms yep. of quantity, Al. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've had like a thousand quantities before, mm -hmm. you know, 700 quantities before. And there's like, we know because we do this every day, right? We know you. We know what, what we need to do to move volume, okay? Totally. We know that, 100%. What is the biggest quantity deal you've done here? Like a mystery bag or something, maybe? Like uh, a thousand of something? Or something like a chain, a, a meter long length of sterling silver chain, out just over two thousand. Right, and what price did you go to? Oh, about twenty pounds, something yeah. like that. And you know, yeah, to move that kind of volume, it's got to be incredible value. Yeah, and more than anything, it's just got to be a rock bottom deal. Yeah, right? and that's what it is. Well, I've I've not got one of these. If I've got one of these, I've just sold it maybe sixty times over, but I haven't. And everyone's going to pay the final low price. And I'm going to give you a minute. I've never been more confident of a sellout in my life. No, what no. About to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to offer you one piece of sage advice. I hope you sat down. I hope you sat down. Because I am going to destroy that price. And I said very confidently at the start of this show, no one can touch me on this. No one can touch me on the value I'm about to offer our collectors. And only our collectors. There's no one else that this is available to. You've got to be watching this channel right now. You've got yeah. to be part of this show right now. So we have done this for you, okay? And L said, oh my God, you got 300. Yeah, 300? we had to get 300. I was expecting you to say maybe 50. L, if I had 20, we would be not too far from this price. I'll yeah, yeah, right yeah. Th these don't just happen from one slice, from one boulder. And have these been seen by our sister channel? No. Or is this no. another thing that no. I'm going to have to keep us very closely guarded? No, don't, secret? well, you, you might want it from our presenters and, and producers, but... I can see many of our viewers from our other channel on the phone lines right now. Yeah, I'm not, this I'm, is I'm not why, surprised. This is why I've started to do you know, these Facebook Lives, because I think it's only fair. One second, guys. Let's get serious. Please have another minute clock. How many people, I don't want to know about baskets, because I can see there's hundreds of baskets. How many people have checked out right now, guys? OK. 70. Okay, so nearly a third of the stock has found Has gone out. already. Right. In 48 seconds, I'm going to go to our, the lowest deal I can on these. Wow. And the split pay is going to be available, and it's going to be manageable, it's going to be affordable, 
You know, I want to say a massive congratulations to those of you that are multi-buying. I think oh that my is a word. very smart move. Rene, Jenny, Jane, Maker, in, in Nottingham, Maker and Greater London. You guys, multi-buying is the way to go. I mean, I, I can see as well that there's so many of you I on feel, those phone lines. I, I, I actually feel like uh, it's unfair that I get to say this price. I'm so excited to say this price. I'm so excited to share it with you that it's, it's, it's almost unfair that only I get to do this. What we're about to do is probably the biggest saving we have done. And I know what's coming in three seconds. And I just hope you're, I know there's hundreds of you on your baskets. You ready? I'm going to offer it to you for 10% of what is on your screen right now. 10 what? I'm, hang on a minute. Yeah. 79.99. Double figures. Yep. And the split pay is going to remain best of luck to the, I don't know, what, 200 of you that can join us right now. 100 of you have already been smart. You've already secured it. You've already got it. This is how you move 300. Oh, my of, goodness. Of, of, of an incredible piece of jewelry in moments. And here you come. And my screen is, I've never seen it fill up so fast. Yeah. We must have the best contact center in the world. Or are they doing it on app or something? Because they're just... Oh, a lot of our customers do shop online. Okay, is, well done. Congratulations. Which is wonderful. Which is absolutely wonderful. Because, Dave, when you're here, yeah. we, we wouldn't cope without the it's, website. It's gonna be, if you're looking at the bottom of the screen, you're just going to see an endless scroll yeah. of names. The ticker tape of names that is just scrolling along the bottom of your screen is collectors who are successful. It's not, when the, those aren't the people, the hundreds of you with it in your baskets. That is you guys on the phone lines right now that are owning. And do you know what the funniest thing is? And I hate to say this, Al. That is- Oh no, the, I know the, what you're gonna say. That's why the, I did it's it. It's the rarest thing on your hand. Totally. It's the rarest thing. And, and you know, possibly usually, the most valuable. Door, oh, 100%. But usually next door, we'll ask our presenters to remove all their jewelry. Yep. Please remove all your jewelry. Because you know, when you've got a, an engagement ring and, and, and like a, a band like that, that is yep. you know, very valuable, very expensive. We understand the, the value of it. And we put next to it a garnet. Yeah, it's like, it's absolutely. Not, it's not great, okay? It's not great. But I am happy with you doing that. You're putting <laughs> this next to that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it's very different scenarios, isn't it? But that's how I'd wear it, Dave, you know? Yeah. That's where, how I would literally wear it alongside my eternity. Look at that amazing, amazing colour. Okay, give me a minute, clock. What, to close what did the I deal? say yesterday? No, no, no. I'm going again. What did I say yesterday? I said yesterday, I said, we're live, we're reactive, and we're here to give you the best deals. That is the best deal. But I want all 300 gone. I, even 200 is an amazing achievement, but it's yeah. not what I want. It's not no. what I want. It's not the outcome I want. I want you to get these. So Just to recap, this is a size approximately P, but you can always move digits. It's really about owning uh, owning the Archer's ring, isn't it? Really? Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, it's a completely. Oh, you put it on a pendant if it doesn't Oh, fit. for sure. It's completely carved out of Jade Act. You can see that there. Uh, love it. Yeah, Paul's saying that, uh, Director Paul, he's like saying that's how I would wear it, actually, literally on some leather. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And the, but the, the, again, that speaks to that proverb, yeah. you know, gold is valuable, jade is priceless. We've all seen jadeite in the auction houses selling for tens of thousands of dollars on cord, yeah. literally on, on what would be a shoelace or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not about the gold. You ready? What can I do for me? I don't know. Uh, okay, Liz, if I've just made you a year, I'm going to make you a decade. Take it to 49. Oh, yes. Take it to 49. Oh, my goodness. Margaret's me. got four. Jane's got two. Yeah. Nicolette's got Look two. Look at you. Liz has got two. Surrey's got two. West Yorkshire's got two. I mean, if you want to get four, get four. If you're buying for grandchildren, you're buying right for now. grandchildren you haven't even got yet because you understand, like we do, that this moment of jadeite, this jadeite kind of incredible moment where we're awash with jadeite as a wall of jadeite, is going to disappear. It Don't is. It's going to go. It is, it is, it is. You know, Rachel Hatton next door. Sorry, not Hatton anymore, is she? But Rachel next door. Rachel Simpson. Um, Simpson, there yeah. we go. Um, she put something the, uh, on the other day, didn't she, about, about tanzanite. And yeah. I'm not comparing the two gemstones, but she was like, do you remember the days when we used to do 24 hours of tanzanite? Oh, yeah. Weekends of tanzanite. You know, we're going to look back and go... Do you remember when we used to do Jade Eye? Oh my God, there used to be a time uh, at the very beginning of the channel before I joined. Uh, I remember speaking to Steve Bennett about it. That they used to have like a weekend of Brazilian parade. No. I mean, it's ridiculous. And I bet people, I bet people, you know, were like, there's Brazilian parade, and it's oh, gone. Not again. And I've never seen it, and I've been here for over 10 years, and I've Can never you? seen Brazilian Don't parade for tourmaline. Never, ever seen it. But this is what you do you've got $49.99 on your screen for a, a solid Jade Eye carved ring. 
and we're at sixteen pounds oh. sixty-six on split pay. We've just we've just moved into four solid columns of names. Yeah. What well, congratulations, an amazing, guys. And so many multi buyers. It's so hard to get I'm my head I'm slightly right. kicking myself right now, Dave. Yeah. Because I said to myself earlier on the, uh, this morning, in my head, yes, it's like, oh, I must remember to go and get my handbag from the dressing room, so that um, because my phone's in the hand in my in my handbag, that means I can actually get involved during this opportunity. But unfortunately, totally forgot, which means I can't get involved with this until after the show. So grab this opportunity. It, I am slightly gutted because look at that quality, beautiful, beautiful translucency. It's that consistency of color. Remember all the factors that we always uh, discuss when it comes to your jadeite. Firstly, is it natural? Yes, type A. Secondly, the colour, the consistency and that beautiful translucency. Dave, this is absolutely astonishing. Yeah, uh, it is astonishing. It's about to get even more astonishing. Uh, You've taken I'm going rogue. Off, you yeah, I'm going rogue. Is there a way, is there a way, guys, that you can put the other incredible rings that we have on, on uh, pre-order or not right now? We can do it after this auction. Right, because what I'm going to do, these should all be priced independently, right? Based on carat weight. We know that. We know it with gemstones, we know it with diamonds. Not today. What I'm going to do for this is going to be the same deal on every other one of these rings. And we should be done. It's an incredible deal. Like you said, I can't, I, you know, it's just names on that screen. Yeah. I don't know how big that plasma screen is, but it's just full of names. And you, we literally cannot actually fit any more names on there. No but I can give you more of these rings. Okay, I've got 300. There's, there's, I don't know how many in the queue, but we can't put 300 names on the screen. Oh no, it goes, if, 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 that will fill the bottom screen as well. Yeah, well, can I have a minute clock, please, guys? I'm sorry, Wayne, you might <laughs> want to leave me. You might want to go home. He told me <laughs> earlier, right? he said, because of, no. of the heat, he hasn't slept, right? He hasn't slept. Oh, he's like a bear with a sore head then. Yeah, he is. And I'm going again. That's not like, hey, guys, you're just going to, that's going to give you 44 seconds to win it. Have you seen the again. split, PL? 40 seconds. Oh, my goodness. And remember, after this auction, we're going to be putting all the other sizes on there as well. Um, wow, what an opportunity. So, for example, we've got the lighter colour uh, coming up a little bit later on, which I would like to very much like to buy for my husband, you know. I mean, what a, what a great alternative, maybe, for something like a, um, like, a, like a wedding ring. You can see the difference in the colour. All of these are going to be available to shop ahead for as well. We had... I'm blown away by the fact that we have 300 of these blown away i was imagining something as as, as technically challenging uh, challenging as this would be something like 50. yeah i look i don't have an earpiece so i don't have the same information as you uh l it's fine guys i'll just pull that across here it doesn't matter that's we can't fit any more names and you can see you're all multi buying so i don't know how many we have left i don't know if we have any left i don't know if what i'm gonna do i should do and because i don't have an earpiece if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take significant money off this, if these have already sold out, will someone stop me? Because if they've already sold out, I don't how want many, to do How that. many do we have left? 70. Okay, no one stopped me, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> okay, I, look, I don't have any piece. If you, want, if you want to come and stop me, Wayne, come and stop me, but I'm going to shout a price in a minute. It means we have to do it. Uh-oh. Right. Uh-oh, there's, I can hear moving. It doesn't matter, he's too slow. Uh, too slow! Sixteen pounds six six forty nine ninety nine. Screen full of names. We have three hundred, which is amazing. And whatever I do, and I'm saying it right now, I'm going to make sure we do the same deal on all the other rings. Oh, so again, no. I am going to do something crazy here, and it's going to be the same on every single one of these rings that we have coming. Okay. So I'm sorry if this absolutely ruins the day today on Jewelry Maker, but let's do it. Um, Ben's been giving you great deals all morning. Yeah. Uh, I saw one deal where he just gave something away, and it was incredible. No, he actually did give something away, yeah. yeah. We're about to do the same thing. <laughs> well, what happened, Ben? 200 people just checked it out, Checked didn't it out, because it was in minus margin, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we're about to do that with this, OK? And unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have 200 left. So I'm going to carry on the good work Ben has done this morning. <laughs> this is going to be wild. And I, tell you, I said to um, uh, manager Wayne, I said, we shouldn't even promote my shows or our shows. We should promote Ben's shows. Yes, I You guys like. don't care what we do. You want the guy that gives you, know you the what? best deal. He's been deals. calling himself all morning. What's that? The deal fairy. He's the deal fairy. <laughs> He's the deal godfather. <laughs> right. But I'm about to top it, Ben, so I'm going to take your mantle right now because I don't want to be upstaged by anyone. 
So for this and for every other of these Jada Archer's rings that I'm going to bring you, and if you don't want to bring any more because of what I'm about to do, then take them now. $29.99. What? $29.99. No. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. $29.99. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I totally, totally did not see that coming. And for, for anyone who's bored of seeing me on your screens here at Jewelry Maker, this might well be my last show. <laughs> this might well. I hope I'm not, meant to babe. be here on Friday with some of the most incredible pearls. I'm meant to be here on Sunday with the final collection of Jedi. This might just be the last show you see. No, I hope not. And that's not. fine because, do you know what? You go out with a bang like this, don't you? You, go, you don't want to just whittle away and be <laughs> forgotten. You want to go, who was that crazy I, I guy might, that gave away the I might start, ring? I uh, start a petition if that's the case. I cannot wait. I cannot wait <laughs> till in, in the future, in the months coming up or the weeks coming up, when you're walking around with the Taipei Jadeite ring on yeah. your finger, people go, oh, my God, is that fully carved Jadeite? And you go, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Too. Is it? I don't suppose it's type A, is it? Yeah, it's type yeah. A. Wow, what'd you pay for it? Oh, 30 pounds. <laughs> yeah. 30 pounds. Yeah. Like you've just rocked up into Claire's accessories. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're doing with 30 quid. You probably pay more in yeah, Claire's uh, accessories. Tell me about it. Tell but, me about but, it. Yeah, yeah. Come, yeah, you're a dad, you know. You I know. do know, unfortunately. Look at the rarity that you'll get. Oh, this is beautiful. The volumes, the deluge on our phone lines and the website yeah. is intense. Yeah, this is one of the most. We might um, crash the website. Mm, it's happened before. Well, it's, it's going to oh, I think we've now. done it. Actually, what? Seriously? Has the website crashed? Are you going to miss it's out just, no, on this opportunity? Are you going to miss out on this opportunity is all I'm going to ask. Maker and Cardi's got three. Kim's got two. Sandra's got two. Uh, we've got uh, Moira's got two. We've got Jenny's got seven. Uh, Greater London's got three. Suja's got two. Richard's got two. Jenny's got three. Patricia's got two. Linda's got two. Nicolette's got three. Yep. This is your moment. You've just tuned in at the most opportune moment in this event. Maybe in, this, in, in our history, I don't know. Yep. Do you want to give everyone a minute to just win it? It's a, a tenner on split pay. Oh, a tenner on Shouldn't split pay. And, and, and wait, 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 you also promised, wait, does... Every one of these. So wait, things. all of these, yep. even the bigger sizes, yep. are the same price? Yep. So I'm taking... Wait, what? Yep. Bigger carrot weights, bigger sizes. 43 seconds of we're closing this auction, guys. Oh, my goodness me. That's absolutely incredible. Do you know, I, I, I obviously wanted to get one of these. I've left my phone in the dressing room. But also, I'm thinking about... I'm also thinking about... That would be a beautiful wedding band. Oh, my word. Can you imagine having a jadeite yeah. yeah. wedding band? Absolutely. Absolutely. And at this price tag, my goodness me, most people wouldn't even entertain that idea as being affordable, but it definitely is. I said at the start, I said it's going to be affordable. And when I was saying Teeny's that... just I got thinking, 10. Uh, when I said that... I was talking to the price point at 79.99. Um, a few people asking again Who's about got the size. Jenny. Oh, Jenny, congratulations. Yeah, well done, you Jenny. Um, so look, I I've got the mandrel here. Again, you can always move it down fingers. And to be honest, I would do it. That's, that's what we suggest. Uh, it's just really faded. So this is about a P. Uh, P, can you see that just there? Yeah, it's really faded. So about a pee on the ring mandrel just there. Um, we do have a smaller size and we've got larger sizes as well, if that doesn't fit. But like I said, if this didn't fit on that finger, I don't care. I'm moving it to the little finger. Then. Oh, put it on it's, your thumb if you have to. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Is... It's, it's about owning the guess what we're gonna do? Guess what we're going to do on the next piece? Guess what we're going to do on the next piece? You know what we're going to do? How many do we have of the next ring? 162. Oh, no. So that's more limited. Yeah, it's like half the stop. Let's do a minute clock to bring in the graphics for the next piece. Um, have we fluffed up somewhat? Pardon? Oh, massively. But we went into it with our eyes open. Yeah, I suppose. We went into it with our eyes open. And we're doing it. We're, we're a part of this right now. You're a part of this. You are amassing incredible collections and you're getting the Jadeite Archer's ring right now into your collection. You're not paying 799. You're not paying 499. You're not paying 99 or 79. I can tell you what that is going to command. And from here, it looks like imperial green. But like from here, it looks yeah. like imperial green. I don't know what it's going to look like close up. But you're going to see it right now. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, it's sublime. That's I, don't know, I don't know if the lights are washing out. But I'm, t I'm telling you right now. 
from where I am. Yeah, that's a, Paul's got the perfect representation there. From where I am, this is so bright. Yeah, it is. And it's almost a, uh, like a bluey green yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. Totally and utterly natural. If there's anyone spare in the, um, in the, in the gallery right now, is there? Right, guys, um, let's, let's give you a deal of what this should be. Let's think about it. Let's say 299. Let's say 299 pounds. It would be an incredible deal if it was like a, if it was one of ten, like with the bangles. If mm. you've got ten of these, it's two nine nine, or maybe you've got five of these. Two hundred and ninety nine pounds on on here. You all come by the way. You know you're not paying that. Congratulations. Yeah, because you've already and made the price everyone's promise. Everyone's multi buying. Oh, I heard that from Ben. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. You heard it because you've got an earpiece. But the door swung open, and I just heard him telling Gail almost half the stocks in baskets. And it's been on, on screen for literally 30, uh, 37 seconds. Let's come in at £299. Let's just... Let's Which would just... be awesome if we were to stop there. Oh, incredible. I mean, I think it would sell out. Or maybe 80 would sell. Ah. Oh. But you, you guys know where I'm going. I hope there's someone that's just tuned in that doesn't know where we're going. I think I know who that Gloucestershire bidder is. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think it might be Miss, uh, Miss Crow. Oh, is it? Amazing, Gemma. <laughs> well done, Gemma. Okay, let's do a minute clock. I hope, so, I hope at least what, uh, some of you that are tuned in right now have just tuned in and you have no inclination to where this is going. In yeah, can you imagine? And you're like, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? What deal is Dave going to do on this? I mean, he might half that price. Yeah, might half that price. But you have no idea. And in 45 seconds, you might be too late on the phone lines. Richard's got two, Linda's got two, Jenny's got four, Cardiff's got two, Dorset's got two, Greater London's got three, Nicolette's got two, Gemma's got two, and we've got a massive queue building. Yeah, totally. This is more limited than the previous one. Um, oh, it, they're so beautiful, aren't they? There's a class to jadeite. That's what I always think about. Oh, it. sure. Beautiful, humble classiness. It, well, it's, it's about nobility. Yeah. They, they talk about, you know, it talks to your character, steadfast, mm -hmm. loyal. And then you've got the provenance. For me, it's just the, the fact that this material, ever since its discovery about 800 years ago, has just been seen as the ultimate gem material. The material we could never, ever bring you. Right, for those of you that don't know what's coming, I hope you sat down, said this a moment ago. 29 Wow. 10% of the price on your screen right now. Taking 90% off the price. I'm fairly sure I spent more than that on a takeaway the other day. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not a type A jadeite ring. I did last night. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. 30 pounds. Well, look, just, uh, just to manage expectations, of the previous piece that sold out that we went to this price on, we had 300. With this, we started with 160. And the moment it came on screens, Ben told us that half was already in basket. So it is just gonna be, it's, it's gonna be on and gone, if I'm honest. But if you can get it, get it. £9.99 on split pay. Amazing, amazing. And this will still do everything that we do with the, uh, in terms of the carving with the oh, yeah. translucency. You show it, yeah, let's see that translucency, because it is phenomenal. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful translucency. Hand carved. Yeah. Hand carved, hand polished. Uh, you know, extremely dangerous to do. That is phenomenal. What, you, what we're showcasing on your screen right now, what you can achieve for, for 30 pounds, I just it would never dreamed possible. Never dreamed possible and and you know there you go you can see it in your daylight it is a special moment if you've tuned in today what, what a day to tune in oh isn't it isn't it just um good luck every single one of you jewelry makers 10 pounds today as little as 10 pounds you can get hold of this opportunity we know we're not going to get this moment again we know that we could all right we'll be able to bring you maybe uh, as dave said earlier on uh jade out from jaipur would they be able to in fact we've no. got our own cutting house you know the the question i'm going to ask you can they do this no because you need the best raw material to do it, and the best raw material doesn't find its way to Jaipur. Right. It stays in China. That, so, that's the, so what you see, you might see like little, um, I don't know, like Buddha carving yeah. or, 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 or things like this, or Buddha beads, and they're incredible, and they're very difficult to do, but they won't have the same level of translucency. We just have to be honest and frank about it. Mm -hmm. That's why usually there's a massive chasm in cost. Not today. Not today. 
But this, like we said, that whole process that the Bengals have to go through and the reason they're so expensive and so valuable, this has been through. And it has a, a much lower success rate, which makes it, you know, per carrot, far more expensive than a bangle. Wow. Yeah. I, I guess that makes sense. You know, for, I wonder what the statistics are. You know, what, one in 10? One in 20 actually make it oh, to the much, finished much piece? Oh, much less, much less. Really? No, really? Well, and the same for the bangle. Wow. If only it was one in 10 or one in 20. Yeah. You know, that is, we are talking maybe one in 100 and, and for a bangle, and this will be far, far harder to achieve. And that's losing top grade material. Yeah. So, which is why many people, I suppose, would shy away from even trying. 100%. Wow. But, but, yeah, if they could, they'd go for the bangle every time. Uh, again, just to recap, those of you messaging in, in this is a size approximately L. Um, so we had a larger size previously. And also we've got the uh, we've got three sizes in the paler yes. colour, haven't yeah. we? In, yes. the, in the lighter colour, which is really pretty. Oh, my goodness, there's just 10 left of these. Okay, sorry, guys. It is... If, if every time the graphics open, if you could just help us out by just jumping on the phone line, yeah. you're not missing out. Because we have this huge influx of people coming through now and we only have 10... Yeah. remaining so this is your chance if it's in your basket check it out this is and shop ahead oh for sure there's nothing stopping is it on pre-order yeah oh, the other yeah the, shop ahead the other the other color the other sizes yeah, um are available on pre-order yeah. so let's bring you the large i think this one's going to absolutely fly how many out do we have door. of these guys we have how many ben someone tell me we've got 500 216, but 50 okay. have gone on pre-order. Okay, so 200. Yeah. Look oh, sorry, 216? Yeah. Oh, so like 150, 160 again. Okay. Again, you're dealing with the, the, the largest size here, 18 carats. I mean, the fact that we have just promised these all at a fixed price, essentially. It's mad. It's ridiculous. Not factoring in this is 10 carats larger than the piece. Well, you'd the never just go our fixed price and all our diamonds, would you? No. You, you wouldn't do this it, This is would like you? 10, well, eight carats larger than yeah. what the previous piece is. So almost double the size. Uh, this is a size T. Oh, it's going to fit top. I need to get one of these. All your names along the bottom of the screen. I want to say congratulations to all of you. Uh, to those of you multi-buying, a special congratulations. Uh, we'll take a minute, clock. For the largest carat weight you've seen, 18 carats. I've never even sold an 18 carat cabochon for the price we're about to do on this. Would never even entertain it. No. I, I, and flying out the door. Absolutely yeah, flying out the door. Um, this, oh, I just love the fact you've got that river of green running through, that yeah, really intense yeah, emerald green. Yeah, veining, look at that. Half and the stock's again, gone, if, Dave. Yeah, no, of course. And you know where it's going, guys, so don't hang around. But should we show that translucency? Sure, let's because, do it. Yeah. You know, it's 18 carats. We might think, oh, okay, well, is this opaque? Because it's a much larger carat weight. No, it's still that same level of crystallization. It's still that unrivaled translucency. Thank you, guys. You're going to see that with your own eyes right now. It's the circle of heaven that you can wear. You know, look at that. It's phenomenal. Look at it that. It really is. This bright, ethereal halo of light with the striations of those deep colours. You can see it there. Yeah, I love the, the light there. On this one. Okay, can't believe I'm going to say this. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, which makes zero sense. No sense. Zero sense. But it makes it busy. It makes it really, really busy, which is always great to, to see you all joining us uh, for, for these showcases. It's amazing to see all of the names that we've come to know, all of you guys you know, that are particularly, you know, Loving these opportunities on the Jade. We're giving you this opportunity right now. We're at $29.99 or three easy, interest-free split payments, 0% interest of £9.99. Uh, Wiltshire, Essex. Uh, well, let's just read the people who have multi-bought. Yeah. Gary, you've got three. Pauline, you've got two. Anne, you've got three. Freedy, you've got two. Angela, you've got two. Lindy, you've got two. Cardiff, you've got three. Gemma's got two. Grace has got two. Richard's got two. Uh, Helen's got three. Um, Jenny's got six. This is special. It's a special showcase to be a part of. There are 40 Our Irene's left. got two. Okay. That's not hanging around. Angela, you've just got three. Oh, these may... You can always add this to your wish list, but don't leave it to chance. Just check out. It will be really an on-screen sellout, for sure. For sure. Because, look, Tessa... Tessa, just, you've got two, yeah. 
Uh, just every time we see a name, you're just multi-buying. Yeah. Every time, every time a new name gets on our well, screen. Well, probably because people were thinking, Dave, even even with you, that a 99.99 would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. Look, usually when I come out of um, the studio and I go into the gallery, everyone's really pumped and happy, and it's you know, look, it's been really busy, it's been great. I think it's going to be. People are going to be dejected. Is, is, People is, are going to is, be. Is not Wayne happy. even still in there? <laughs> Have you ever heard him that quiet? No, I think so he's gone. I, I just think <laughs> it's one of them. But my argument is, I just say, Wayne, I understand. Maybe we've lost money. It is what it is. But look how busy it is. Look at how many people are on those phone lines on the web. Massive congratulations to all, you. All of you guys. Look, that's that's what my argument is to the team. Okay, that's why it's so busy. And usually. A single ring like this would be in a place like Bonhams. Mm -hmm. Of course, it would be from a different era. It would be um, you know, from a different dynasty, Shang dynasty, Quinlong dynasty. Yep. So it would have that historical importance. But it would be in an auction house, and this many people would be out outbidding each other to own the one. Yeah, not everybody would be successful. But here, everyone's like, oh, he's giving it away for £30. Let's just jump on the phone lines. Not yeah. a paddle. You don't need a paddle to bid on this. <laughs> you just need to have an app or, or a phone. And this is why you do what you do. I mean, Janice just saying, uh, uh, Dave, thank you for the oh, prize. No Quality and the history of this wonderful gemstone. I've always wanted a jade out ring, and now I have. I've always wanted one, too. This is almost... This is almost a deal that I did just out of vanity because I wanted to get one in my collection. So I was like, let's... Have you got one this? then? Yeah, I've got one. Uh, of course. Um, I was like jealous. I'm jealous. I want to get one at Whole well, I hope you, well. I hope you manage to get one as well. I'll They're beautiful. Anything. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? I particularly like the texture on this one. Yeah, I do too. That like, wonderful there's, there's modelling. Beautiful, like I said, and that that's, talks to the, um, the fact that it's natural. Yeah. You know, like it's not dyed one colour. You've got those striations from the boulder, those veins of colour that we're experiencing. You can see it here. And there'll be variation in all of these, just so you know, because we're not, we haven't dyed these or coated these or there's no polymer. No. Nope. So each one will look different. And that water content that we discussed only yeah. yesterday, Dave, you, yes. know, you can really see that almost melting Yeah, that ice. crystallization, the, yeah, the, the wet polish. Like that incredible, beautiful ice jade eye appearance. Oh, there's 20 left. Sorry, guys, I wish, I wish we could have got more. We've actually and well, just got just five. Got, yeah. But, you know, I wish we could have got more. And in reality, we have got a lot. We've got a lot more than anyone else. Oh, we've But this isn't the kind of thing where we could just get 2,000. <laughs> so there you go. £9.99 on your interest-free split payments. Uh... Hello to you, Caroline St. Dave, what a star. You've completed my collection that I started as a child. Wow. Mum had three coloured jade out rings. I was envious, but not now. Oh, oh Caroline, wow. isn't Caroline, that wonderful? What incredible to have that. To, you know, you've been, you know, your whole life have, have been you've collecting won. jade out and you've never got that pinnacle. You've never got to that one. Your mother had three incredible jade out rings. And you thought maybe that's the piece that I'll never be able to get in my collection. And here you are. And I tell you what, your mom, maybe she would have bought them, obviously, maybe many years ago. And I bet you still paid less than her. Yeah, I Even bet Even though she, she might have bought hers in the, the 80s, the yeah. 90s, 70s, who knows. But I'm telling you now, it would probably have been more than 30 More than 30 pounds. Back then. Yeah. This is why it's incredible we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. Really um, right, let's bring you the size uh, the size down. Okay. So this is what we call the medium, which uh, I think was equating to, was it an, I can't remember. Is it a P or something? Uh, a P, that's yeah. it. Yeah, a P. Uh, look at that. It's absolutely 15 beautiful. 15 carats. Absolutely 15 beautiful. 15 carats. Beautiful. Amazing. How many do we have, Ben? Oh, this is limited. Go on. 45. What? 45. All right, 30 pounds. But when it's limited, we're not going to keep you waiting. Oh, have people chopped ahead? Oh, right. Oh, that's hey, why. Got you, got you, got you, got you. I was like, God, we, we only managed to get 45 of these. We've probably got 200, and we're down to our last 45. Now we're down to 45, but there you yeah. Go, 30 pounds. And if you want to buy 10, you want to buy 12, go ahead. And many of you have in these auctions. That's all, you know, there's... It's always, you know, when you've gone too low, when people are going, I'll take 10 of them. Yeah, might as well. You know, 10. Crazy. Do you then think, like, hours, you know, as the hours progress, you know, and you kind of go, look back and reflect on the day, Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you go, yeah, maybe. But this is why I like to stay busy. <laughs> so I don't have time to reflect. That's why I like to stay busy. Like, you know, Friday, I'm going to bring you some incredible pearls if I've still got a job. Um, <laughs> I've got some incredible showcases on, on, on our sister channel over the weekend. One of the ones I'm most excited about is the East African natural blue garnet. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. And that, that has been collated over about 30 years from a series of three or four mines. I can't even give you the exact mine. Some have come from Madagascar. Some have come from 
uh, Kenya. Some have come from Tanduru in Tanzania. But yeah, this is what we're talking about. So I'd like to stay busy so I don't reflect. But I'll probably And also people tonight. don't get hold of you then, I guess, do they? Yeah, exactly. They get hold of you. Look at that. Right, again, multi buyers. Nicolette's got two, Jenny's got four, Richard's got two, Angela's got three. These are genuine opportunities on your screen right now. I think there's like 25 chances for you to get Oh, no, this. no, no. Oh. There's two. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. There's two left. I should have an earpiece. I don't. I just, I don't know why I said 25. <laughs> I just, I thought it was like a nice number. I thought maybe we've got 25. I was giving you the re. Don't listen to me. Just listen. I, to get, me. I mean, I get. You can. I'm maybe trying to be optimistic. At the I'm trying to be optimistic. It. Really trying to be optimistic. For yeah, you. no, there was Elle's, two. I was telling you, you got There's two. two. So I apologise. That's it. Good luck. And now down to uh, the smallest of the size, which I think I said, sorry, why do I keep going blank? My brain is not retaining any information. Um, wasn't this an L, yeah? Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. L for L, yeah, absolutely. Um, already 45 of these have, uh, have actually home. checked out. 20 carats. 20, it's this a, is the largest one in yeah. terms of carat weight. So this is thicker? Yeah. Okay. We we'll have to do it. We still have to do it. I'm a bit worried there because that was a bit snug when I put it on my finger. Then. Wow. Let's do a minute clock. Are you, are you just saying that else so you get to keep it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit stuck, so I have to keep this one. And get it off. She's got it off. Oh. She's uh, she's relieved. I have that moment. Well, I'm not relieved, but. No, but well, yeah. <laughs> I did have that little moment of panic just yeah. then. Um, the last one previously literally just sold out. Mm -hmm. This is going to be no different. How is this bigger then? It's wider. Yeah, it's, it will be thicker, won't it? It'll be denser. Wow. Oh, we've got a. Oh, hello, Wayne. He's. Oh, oh he's back now. He's back. Oh, he's, he's back. He's got one on him. He, ha he does sound a little bit like a bear with a He hasn't slept. He hasn't slept. He said he had Has an he hour's not? sleep. Oh, is, is, is that literally the, the heat? Yeah, the heat, he said. He said he, he just would have like <laughs> moments. That's fine, Al. You, I mean, <laughs> again, just to the testament of the Jedi, Al's dropped it about seven times. <laughs> it's still intact. <laughs> These and are passed down through generations. <laughs> they have, you know, they, they were on the battlefield with people, you know, as archers out there on the battlefield. So a little drop on the table is going to be absolutely <laughs> fine, okay? Sorry. No, sorry, don't sorry, be sorry. sorry. Don't be sorry. What a uh, li live demonstration. Oh, look. Right, at where, what price are we going to do on this one? $29.99. Let's do $79.99. <laughs> No, I'm joking. We'll do 29.99. Uh, Jennifer's <laughs> got two. Brenda's got two. Anne's got two. Richard's got two. Carolyn's got two. Moira's got two. It should have been higher though, Dave, because yeah, you're talking oh, it should a big have been 79.99. Yeah, I came up with this crazy idea this morning. There you go. He's done it. Wayne's done it. Thank you, Wayne. That's, That's what, what you're paying. Is. Pay the 79.99, please. Um, okay, it's it's uh, it's 30 pounds. <laughs> 29.99. We we tried, Wayne. We tried. Yeah. But I came up with this crazy idea this morning and I said to Wayne, do you know what we're going to do, Wayne? We're going to do the same price on every single one. You know, whether it's 20 carats, whether it's 10 carats, 12 carats, 15 carats, and we're just going to do 79 99 Did and you people, look at it? Then people, because the problem is, the real problem is when something's carved completely out of jade eye, it's, although, although we have paid more for different pieces because of the carat weights, right? Yeah. We don't want you to do that. When, when I do a show next door and I bring you a Kunzite, yeah. I don't say to someone who's a PTQ is going to pay more than a J to K. No, that's true. You know, even though there will be obviously more gold, yeah. we understand everyone pays the same price. And with, with this, why should you pay more? Just because we've had to use more jade true. for it to be a large size. So although, yes, we've paid more for some of these, yeah, the, obviously, we, we can't then go to our vendors and go, oh, no, can you just do us a fixed price on the 10 carat and the 20 carat jade? They're gonna <laughs> yeah, go, they're going to look no, at you and go. Because when I bought the jade <laughs> by the carat weight, <laughs> you know, that's how it works. But we decided we was going to do a fixed price for everyone because I wanted you all to have the same opportunity. <coughs> and and we're, all, we're all different shapes and, shapes and sizes, and, and you shouldn't have to pay a premium for e any part of that. So we said, we're going to absorb that cost. And I said, let's do them all for 79.99. And Wayne was annoyed at that. Yeah. He was like, 79 dollars for all of them. And I was like, yeah. And then we're here live. And we just said, right, OK, well, what do we need to do to sell that? We said that at the start, didn't we? We said, what do we need to do yeah. to move volume? Yeah. And you have to do the best possible Work price. very differently to any other... Um, jewelry well, house. It, it, uh, yeah, any other jewelry house. Um, jewelry house, they, we, you know, everyone knows. Everyone knows because we, we love jewelry, we love gemstones. You walk into a jewelry house and you walk in, you go, excuse me, can I look at that... Um, a wonderful diamond ring. And you get it out and they'll go, I don't know, say it's, it's 7,000 pounds. And you go, 
oh, I'm going to leave it. They don't go, actually, mate, what we'll do is, because we really want you to get this today, would you, what, what, should we take it lower? Should we take it lower? Should we get the, get the egg timer out? And they should put it on the desk and they go, a minute. Uh, imagine that in real life. We should do a series of jewelry maker in real life. <laughs> Yeah. Because imagine if you were face to face with a, with a customer, with someone who wants to buy a diamond ring, you just put a minute clock, you just like... <laughs> and they go, what is this? What's going on? And you go, just wait, just wait. Just wait for that. Just, wait. <laughs> just you wait. Just you wait. Don't then you worry, go... boy. Don't you worry. And then, ding, <laughs> then we go, oh, what should we do? Um, and then the, the, the sales assistant is there and they're talking to you and they go, what's that? They're doing this with their little earpiece. And then there's a guy just in the corner of the room, just Ben, on a laptop. And then we just go, we're just going to give it away. How about 30 quid? Yeah, okay, fine. Because that's essentially what we're doing. It is madness. It's not in the real world. Let's just put it that world. way. It's certainly not. Oh, wow. Well, it's funny. It is so funny. But that's what we do. You know, like any other jeweller, we could just put this back in our vault. You know, some jewellery stores won't sell anything one day. I might sell five pieces. Well, totally, day. I've but been there. Yeah, of course, and they won't sell anything, but it's fine because they're making such premiums, I'm sure, and they mm -hmm. have to because mm -hmm. they've got this prime real estate, they've got a lot yep. of stock, and they go, no problem, sir, that's fine. We might have something cheaper, but that is the price. Yep. And then it goes back in the cabinet. But here we go, well, what, the first auction, we're at 79.99, and 200 out of 300 are sold. That's a pretty successful auction. Yeah, totally. But we went, how do we get the rest of the 100 out? <laughs> 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 and then imagine a jewellery store. This is the other thing. If it was in real life, if you make in real life. Imagine you sell, you've got five diamond rings and, and someone comes in and they £7,000 and they go, no problem, I'll buy that for my, you know, I'm going to get married. And, they yeah. buy it. and then someone else comes in and they go, I haven't got £7,000. And the guy goes, all right, we'll do it for you for £6,000. And he goes, wait there. And he runs out the shop and he goes, excuse me, come back. Some, we gave it to someone else for £6,000. We're going to give you the low price as well. <laughs> it doesn't happen, does it? But that's what we do. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what we do. We go, oh, we've sold 200 and everyone's happy at 80 quid. Should we get a £30? And I tell you what, everyone pays £30. <laughs> it's crazy, but it is fun and it's amazing. Oh, it's it interactive is. and this is why. And I wouldn't change it either. I wouldn't no. change it. It's, it's fabulous. And, that's what, and it's thanks to that yeah. whole ethos yes. that we own these gemstones. Well done. Absolutely. Well Congratulations done. to every single one of you. I don't know how many. Oh, funny. I'm crying. Literally crying. Well done. Oh, Incredible. Wow. Now, should we do one of your... In well, what? no, you tell me, actually, because oh, I got myself I in trouble yesterday. Oh, yeah, you did. No, we're going we're gonna to give everything away today. Don't worry okay. about that. You okay. Don't want to get in trouble. But what I would like to talk about... Can I borrow the clicker a second? Because I wanted to bring you one carving today. One carving. You know, over, over the course of our, our time, uh, over the last few weeks, we brought you a series of carvings, that master carving event. This one is, is a really, really... Incredible carving. I showed it on the Facebook Live today. Mm. Nell's got it here, and I know Paul has a wonderful recording of it as well. But it's it's a, a myth that I alluded to on the Facebook Live, which is the 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 mountain of immortality. Wow. And the depiction, one of the ancient depictions of this, is on the far right of this picture here, if you can look. And you've got that in carved jadeite. Wow. That shape, those mountains, that little palace in the centre is all depicted in jade eye. And I thought, wrongly, that it was just a wonderful landscape. Yeah. And it is. It's an incredible landscape. But there is a myth that goes with it. And this story, and you can read it for yourselves, it's, um, it's a legend originating from the state of Kui during the pre-Quin period. So the immortals lived in a palace called uh, the Pengle Palace, and this is the Mount, Mount Pengle, okay, that's what this is dubbed, this is what this is named. And in Chinese mythology, the mountain is often said to be the base for the eight immortals, or at least uh, when they would travel to have cer a ceremonial meal, as was the illusionist uh, Ang Shueng, who is, uh, from what I can decipher, he's like the Chinese version of Merlin, okay, he's like a, a magical figure in Chinese wow. folklore, because uh, I was like, an illusionist, that's strange, and then I looked him up, and yeah, he has that kind of mystical... Uh, you know, history, that folklore to it. Amazing. That's, he was there. Supposedly, everything on the mountain, and this is why this talks to prosperity, it talks to you know, abundance, because supposedly everything on the mountain appears pure white, while its palaces are made from gold and silver, and jewels grow on the trees. Uh -huh. uh, there is no agony and no winter. There are rice bowls and wine glasses that never become empty. I would like to go there for a weekend. Yeah, it sounds good. I think good. it'd be fantastic. That Just sounds fun. The wine glass is trees. never empty. Yeah, and the wine glass. The wine bowl is full and there's just like rubies and emeralds growing on trees. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like heaven. But no winter, no agony. Um, 
and they've never become empty no matter how much people eat or drink from them. And there are enchanted fruits growing in Pengle that can heal any ailment, grant eternal youth, and even resurrect the dead. And this is, you know, this is the, the, the story behind this incredible depiction. And historically, um, I don't want to really ruin this name, but Quin Shi Hang, in search of the elixir of life, made several efforts to find the landmass where the mountain is located, to no benefit. And by the way, in modern, you know, in, in modern thinking, there's, there's many places that are said to be this location. So there's a place in South Korea, a mountain in South Korea. There's also Mount Fuji in Japan. Because so when they talk about it, because people did believe it existed hundreds mm. of years ago. When they were going on these expeditions, they were looking for it. And these are the places that they talk about. But historically, um, Pun Shing Hang, in search of the elixir of life, made several efforts to find the landmass where the mountain is located to no benefit. And the legend tells that Xu Fu, one servant sent to find the island, found Japan instead and named Mount Fuji as Pengle. Wow. So in, in modern day cultures, they believe, some people believe in China that, that Mount Fuji is indeed this legendary mountain. And that this is the depiction. And, and again, it, it's I mean, what it means to you. But what I would say to everyone is, you know, if, if we talk about abundance, we talk about prosperity, we talk about, you know, good health, good fortune, this is what this is depicting this incredible Mount Pengle uh, and its palace on residing on this mountainside. The, 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 the trees that bore mm. jewels or fruits that can cure any ailment or resurrect the dead. You know, the, the, the endless wine glass, a mega pint, if you will. Oh. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the rice bowls that were never empty, no agony and no winter. It is, you know, it's our, our, you know in the West, we'd call it paradise. And this is what is being depicted in this beautiful carving. And again, you know what show you've tuned in for. You've tuned into an incredible showcase that we're going to bring yeah. you today. And we're going to do you a phenomenal deal on this jadeite. What a beautiful story. Yeah. What an amazing, amazing uh, um, 85 story. 85 carats. Uh, there are, sadly, only... And again, sorry, I say only and then I kick myself, but there are 40 of these available. Yeah, so we don't have... Uh, a huge quantity of these and usually that's okay but you have all fully aware of how busy it's been today yeah so I'm going to give you a minute clock the question is you know you've seen what we're doing you've seen what we're about you've seen what we've done all day it's not like we're going to pull the plug now and go right let's get serious this is going to be crazy Wayne's not going to be happy you guys are at home this is going to be a collector's opportunity it's going to go to a price that it should never be um, incredible, uh, incredible. If you love it, I, the legend originating, um, uh, uh, the pre Quinn period, immortals live in a palace called Peng Lai Palace, which is located on Mount Peng, uh, Peng Lai. Chinese mythology, the mountain is said to have been the base for the eight immortals. How beautiful, how beautiful is that story where jewels grow on every tree? Oh. That's absolutely astonishing. It's like that capture, that story is pictured and visually captured in your carving. But I suppose it would be, because that would be the whole root of the, uh, of the, yeah. of the inspiration, absolutely. the artistry. Yeah. Okay. Those of you that have joined us for our carving events will know, you will already have an idea of what price these go to. Okay, you'll already know that. Mm -hmm. But today is a very different kind of day. And to commemorate that, and to reward those of you that have trusted us and have said, the deals are crazy today, they are. This piece, 79.99. But there's only 40 of them, so just be quick. It is uh, a killer deal. Okay, so next door, if we had an 85 carat jade, yeah. carved like this, even here, forget next door, even here, we know this is 149, maybe 199, 179. 149 if we're feeling you know, really, really... Um, yeah, it, it, it's not a double-figure price tag and for, for something of this. And you've got your split <clears throat> pay. Diana, Nottinghamshire, Rene, Anne, uh, Irene, Linda, Angela, Marie, Justin, Virginia, Beverly, Karen, Maker, Maker, Cumbria, Angus, West Yorkshire, B. 
Be as fast as you can. This is twenty um, pounds on yeah, split pay. Twenty pounds. And uh, and Dave, just to recap, you know, this is all done literally in an abrasive manner yeah, by so hand. Yeah, it's not just as easy as carving many of the gemstones that we know and love here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it is abraded over time, so it's it's sand and water. It's Amazing. a laborious task, and that's why it's so difficult to pick out details. It's so difficult to create those incredible minute moments that that depict these scenarios, these pictures, you know, Mount Pengle, which is this ancient paradise, this mountain uh, paradise. Uh, Linda, you've got two of these, congratulations. And it's the layers that, are, that fascinates yeah, the me. Depth. It's yeah, the depth, the depth. Like when you look at the image that we have, that ancient picture yeah. that, that showcases uh, Mount Pengle, which many people dispute where it actually is. Is it Mount Fuji? Is it in South Korea? Look at the depth. And then to, to, to create that level of, of, of Depth of field yeah. in, in jadeite is astonishing. It's a it's a feat of, you know, the most incredible artistry. Look at that! It's absolutely astonishing. And we had a message, a wonderful message, in yesterday about someone who had one of our carvings. Mm -hmm. Said the more they look of it, the, the, the more it reveals. The more they see. We only see. give you a snapshot here. Each one is unique as well, but you will find your own moments mm -hmm. within the, the Mount Penglei carving. You will find. The, the palace, you will find the mountains and the trees with the jewels on. You, you will see these little moments and every single one is unique. Look at that. It's, it's just incredible. And I love, I, I love to hear, I absolutely love to hear the, the, the history okay. and the legacy. 20 pounds on right, four, four months again, split pays. I'm meant to be here on Friday. I don't know if that's gonna take place. Can I have a minute clock, please? Half of these have gone. Sorry, Wayne. He actually is serious. Huh? Yeah. But I know we think it's a joke in a pantomime, and I feel safe because I'm on screen right now. Uh, he but says, have you had any sleep? There is a moment where I have to come off screen <laughs> and actually talk to that man that he's shouting in the gallery right what? now. What? Um, but I am going to go again, because it's just one of those crazy days, and I'd, I'd much prefer to put it in your collection than to put it back in the vault. Yeah, absolutely. And I think deep down, Wayne, deep down. Oh, his I jealousy think. says. Oh, OK. Okay. He's just very jealous. What? You're not delivering these deals. Exactly. Get that, get that cowboy costume on. Yeah. <laughs> I that. miss. There's this a new day. sheriff in town. Yeah. And we're going to do this incredible deal for all of our. Oh, uh, listen. Um, after what I had to put on yesterday, I'm oh, saying nothing. Oh yeah. I'm saying oh, absolutely yeah. not. I'm not paid enough for that though, Dave. That's what I'm. I'm it looks fantastic. <laughs> on I'll tell you later, Gemma, honestly. Um, hang on a minute. Yeah, there is a clock ticking. 49 99 49 What are we going to do? We're going to go to 69 99 No, we're going to go to 49 uh, uh, Sorry, I was literally about to step away. Um, yeah, chin on yeah. the floor. Reaction. Yeah, 49 Dave. Look, it, it's like 85 When carrots. is that event next week? Uh, yeah. Favourite things? Yeah, it's going to be played loads as well, I isn't it? it. I it's going to be played loads. It's not even on a day, is it? No. Oh, I don't know when, when it's... Uh, again. Anyway, don't, I don't, never mind. We'll, we'll just forget that happened. £49.90, £12.50 on split I pay. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. It's ridiculous. That's the price of a charm on the high yeah. street. Silver mass-produced charm out of a catalogue. Yep. Yeah. Stocked in every... That won't place. even get you a Swarovski piece of jewellery. No. You won't even get it, which is no, what? It's ludicrous. Cut glass. It's, lu it's cut glass, yeah. Yeah. Ludicrous. Linda, you've got two. Linda, you've got two. That's the way to play it. If you're getting deals like this, incredible. Needless to say, um, it is very close to being an on-screen sellout. If you love this, we have got more incredible. Oh, there's six. Oh, you've got to be quick. Six left in the world. Yeah, I was going to say, if this is not an on-screen sellout, then I'll check our feed is going out. I'll yeah. check that the, the, the aerial's not down or something. Yeah. Because of course that's an on-screen sellout. 49.99. It should have a one in front of it, and that's yes. a, an uh, amazing that's a jewelry, jewelry maker. Price. Yeah. Not, that's not me and Al going, imagine this in Bonhams. That's us saying, oh, what would this have been last week? Yes. 149.99. Literally, on our own we are channel. Live. We are reactive. And this completely talks to that moment. Oh, incredible. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do check them out. There's 60 of you with it in your baskets. Um, yeah, no good leaving them in there. And we can see you on the phone lines. Nicolette, Likewise, you've got Jackie. two. Angela, you've got two. Linda, you've got two. Um, a lot of your multi-buying. That's, again, on an on a 85-carat carved piece of jade. Yeah. You know, you've gone too low.
Single figure quantity remaining. Please stay where you are. If you've pressed your option one, you should be okay. Speak to our call center. Um, to those of you that haven't yet checked out, all we can say is good luck. Uh, good morning, good morning, Marie saying, we love you more than ever, team. What a show. Oh, Aww. thank you Isn't so that much, lovely? Marie. That's lovely to hear. Beautiful message. Yeah. Uh, always great to hear from you guys. Always great to, to give you these incredible deals and you know we every now and again we like to do crazy things like this just to show you that we really are live and sometimes we'll lose money yeah but you know i'm so glad marie like you i'm so i will be eternally grateful like you know when i'm a, when i'm a, a, a de an old lady um, and I'm looking at long, my jade long eye. Time. Long, so. long time. Long, long time. I hope so. Um, a lot, old lady looking at my jade eye, I'll go, oh, Dave Tross. Oh, no. Dave but, Tross, he was the one that managed to bring all those amazing deals. It, well, like we said, it's a massive team effort. You know, <laughs> we've, got, we've got the whole team. We've got the whole team involved in, in doing these incredible deals. Uh, and you guys are part of that team. You know, you allow us to, to go out and get these deals for you guys. We know we've got an incredible oh, it's uh, a collection. Sellout. Yeah, it's a sellout. Well it's done. 20 people more to multi. I'm not surprised. Well and you got two as well. Well done. Not surprised by that. Oh, this strand is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's two. Both of them are beautiful. Which do you, one? Do you know what Wayne just said in my ear? What did he say? One of the best we've, I've seen. Yeah. So, I, again, I referenced this in my Facebook Live today. There is a colour in here which is so close to being like a Padparatra jade eye. It's natural. It's type A. So it's not, it's not honey jade eye and it's not red jade eye. And it's this wonderful multicolour strand of large round jade eyes that I'm going to do for an incredible deal today. That's All of stunning. That's I don't Those think I've seen this colors, before. 110 carats. Um, how many do we have, Wayne? Or oh, Ben? 50. Oh, okay, look. This is going to be on and gone. On and gone. That's beautiful. Yeah. I don't think I've seen this strand before. Oh, it's a... Pre oh. It's brand new. It's brand new. As is the next strand as well. We do have another strand which would work so well with it. You know what I'm going to do, I don't know what you? you're going to do. We're going to get the overhead camera. We're going to get the blackboard out. And Ellie's going to do what Elle does and show you what this would look like together. Well, it, you, don't have to be, you don't have to be the most talented of jewellery makers when you're working with prep components this beautiful, do yeah, you? Yeah, no. Um, you could literally just... It's oh, so long, though. The, 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 yeah, the, it, that's going to be... You don't, no need for a clasp. No. So, obviously, imagine the tassels aren't there. Yeah. Imagine that in bottoms now. Oh, yeah. Anywhere in the world. All type A jade eye. The candy colours of jade eye with the beaut... Look at that. Yeah, imagine that in bottoms. Do you want to be able to create that at home? Do you, is that something that you want to be yes. able to do? Then we're going to make it happen. Definitely, so, definitely go, let, do. Okay, if we are in bottoms, what is the, the, the large around? 799? You know, reserve estimate, maybe? Let's come in with that. So how many do we have? 50, that's it. 50? Okay, 10% of the stock's already gone. Never in a million years. Reserve, would... reserve price. Oh, okay, Pre I was going to say. It's to encourage bids, isn't it? They yeah. deliberately put it low. Yeah, yeah, okay, So then okay, the I bids get, yeah. go through the roof. So let's just do that. Let's, our pre-sale estimate right now, and we're not a normal auction, so we're not, expect, we're not going up from here. We're going to go down. But let's come in at 799 pounds. Which, uh, which absolutely is incredible. Mm -hmm. I want to multi-buy on this. I want someone to create that look and then show me what it looks like. Uh, or, mm -hmm. yeah, that look, but I'd also put in there some of my red jade. Oh, yeah. Really add in the colours. Yeah. Complete the colours. Okay, I'll do a minute clock. I want all 50 of you on the phone lines, though, because I'm going to do something crazy, but I cannot be left with one of these. So I want all 50 of you that want to create that look. I need to see you on the phone lines in this minute clock. It's never been seen before, and I have to tell you, it's created quite the Kim, build of Erica, excitement. You've already checked out Zoe, Irene, Fiona, Barbara, Angela, Jax. You're, you're on the phone lines. Guys, I want to see 50 of you. Yeah. You don't have to check it out. But I need to see 50 of you on the phone lines because if I'm going to do the price that I am going to do, I don't want to be left with one. I do not want to be left with one of these. So I need to see 50 of you on the phone lines. Uh, well, can you imagine my name's up there? Because I want to buy this. Okay, I'll imagine that. It's, be it's absolutely beautiful. It's, it, look at that colour there. Is that the one you were saying almost paparaccia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's and not honey jade. It's natural. Eye. It's like an orange jade, eye, isn't it? It's not honey jade, eye, but it's not red jade. Eye. Not all oh. red jade. Eye. Anyway, I mean, in an auction, that would be considered red jade, eye, I'm sure. But today, half the stock has already been committed. We only have 50. 
And for, for every single one of our collectors today, we're going to do a killer deal of 199 And you get your split pick. Wow. 199 on this. Even with the red? Yeah, so you get the translucency. You can put your phone like through, sure. through this strand if you want, because these are large. So you get this element of translucency. You get those beautiful colors that you're seeing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I want Seriously this Jemmy. Seriously, Jemmy. And to create that look that Elle demonstrated, you know, it's forty nine ninety nine on these today. That's type A jadeite. Look at that. Type A. Do you know jadeite. what that reminds me of as well? Um, oh, I've just gone blank. Your, the pearls, the natural yeah, pearls. Yeah, the papaya, the mellow pearls. Yeah. Yeah. It literally reminds me. All right, me. let's do a minute clock. I said I don't want to put one of these back. Sorry, Wayne. Sorry, Ben. You heard the groans. I did. I heard the collective groans. I'm just, look, this is going today. It's going. Oh my goodness. You guys are driving a really hard bargain. This is Taipei Jadai with a myriad of colors. You know, the, 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 the beautiful open greens, the whites, these, these touch of blue, bright glowing orange. Oh my God, I can't believe. I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to do something crazy and I'll, I'll, I'll completely own this. But then, Ben, you need to make a choice whether you want to bring the next strand after this. And I think the answer might be no. Okay. You see the deal that I'm going to do on this. 16 seconds. Those of you that know me... I, no. don't, I don't know what you're going to do. But those of you that know me know that when we do a crash... Oh, I know crash. that. Yeah. You don't take a cheeky. You don't take a cheeky ten percent or twenty percent off. No. But, I mean, I mean, how much more difficult is it to actually acquire multiple colours of jade? I ask you, at the wrong. It's, time. I mean, look, look. You've seen everything you've seen today. The rings, everything. There's like one of these. And um, Ben, take a hundred pounds off the price. I've gone rogue, and I apologise. I don't even know if Wayne's going to let him do it. No, he's I just, just heard like Wayne grumbling. Yeah, grumbling. He's, he says you, uh, there's some, yeah, something not right with you today. No, there's not. I've not slept <laughs> either, Wayne. It has been extremely hot. I had two fans pointing at me. Yeah, like, and still didn't sleep. Of my bed. No, it's way too hot. We so just let's do a minute. Need... Paul, should we do a minute clock? Just that's it. They get yeah. a minute to get this. That's it. Then you. We're gone. not going any lower. That no is the price point. If, if, if after this minute clock, we either end it or I take it up in price. Okay? Yeah, that's, that's fair what enough. Uh, Fair Sonia, enough. amazing to see you. I know you've got a, an enviable collection of Jada. You've got three of these. Rene, you've got two. We've got Nicolette, Richard, Fiona, Angela, Michael, Miranda, Maria, Jenny, Zoe, Irene, Kim, Erica, Linda, Margaret, and then a whole host of you on the phone lines. 35, half a minute to get this. Yeah, uh, exactly. 99 and £24.99 on split. Uh, and also remember there were only 50, so very, very, very limited opportunity. Super limited. £25. Yeah. Twenty-five pounds. Yes. Uh, and you've got you, you you know you've got a multitude of rarity across the different colours of gemstones as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean I've I've actually never witnessed that colour before. The, that the orange. Orange, yeah, super bright, like tangerine orange, and then some of them are like padparacha colours. Yeah, these aren't dyed. Are they, no, no, no dye, no polymer, no nothing. Literally, totally and utterly natural. I get that off the screen. That is way too low. But okay. there was a look that L. Uh, showcased earlier. Should we do it again? Yeah, let's do it. It's up to Ben if he's brave enough to uh, let me call a price it's on it. It's a long strand. Really You long. could literally just restrand it and it'll go all the way around. This is beautiful. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love this. We don't see it very often in Jadeite, do we? No. I, I actually really like these the petite size. sizes. Yep. In fact, we, we really don't see it. No, we have the larger sizes more than we get the smaller sizes. Yeah. And you've and still one got thing... the same colours echoed in this, and that colour that we talked about. That and if I know our seen. customers... Pardon? If I know our customers, yeah. which I hope I do... You do. They really love this size of round. Oh, wow. Because this might... I'm going to talk another language to you right now. Yeah. You can create things like beady beads. Never heard of that term mm. before, but... It sounds good, right? Yeah, I like it. There's a so little... good they named it twice. Yeah. <laughs> Beady beads, I like it. It, it, it. It's a very popular size, so please, I'm hoping but, but the, the, there's the, the, the best thing is you, that colour that we all just witnessed in the, the, the larger rounds, that I think collectively none of us have ever seen, certainly not here. It's not honey, it's not red. Uh, it's actually in this strand too. 
Wow. How many do we have, guys? 200. Ooh. Look, oh, Paul, what an incredible job. Look, when we talk about water content. Yeah. And just, you know, in layman's terms, it's, does the jadeite look wet? Does it look wet? Yes, it does. And that is the, the kind of highest caliber one can achieve in jadeite. And that's a parcel of jadeite. Yeah. Yes, we're giving it you in a strand on a bright green cord, but it is a parcel. Yeah, totally. Unbelievable jadeite. I don't You've got those oranges just dotted within. Yeah. I don't know what um, uh, uh, Ben's agreeing to, but he says, let's do it. OK, I'm just going to let you know, Ben. Um, we've, we've worked together a couple of times now. Um, and we, at the very beginning of this show today, we said, what, you know, when we have a big quantity, 200, 300, yep. what do we need to do to get them out? No, don't, yeah. We have to do something crazy. So. If, if you want to bring in those, okay, he's done it. He's open to it. He wants to do it. You want to do it, that's fine. Uh, 200, 70 carats, ultra rare colors dotted within the, the type A kind of really t uh, top grade jadeite. And we have to make 200 disappear. We have, to, we have to make them disappear. That's one strand that L's wrapped around already. Yeah, that's three bracelets. Mm -hmm. Three oh, bracelets. That's three full bracelets. Full. Yeah. Without, you can put without it on a slider, yeah. You can do whatever you want and without any precious things. metals. But right. you know, we call, we talk marlas. Think big, beautiful tassels. Yeah, love it. Oh, love they're it. gorgeous as tassels. Right. How, how many people are on the phone lines already? Okay, I'll be honest, not many. No. So Linda, you've got two. Janice, you're on there. Angela, you're on there. Cumbria, you're on there. I, I'm. I, I've got to. I've got to get two hundred of these gone. I've got to get 200 of these gone. All right, I'll take a minute clock. Do you trust me? Are you going to be one of the 200? 100%. Let's go then. Let's 100%. Erica, Maker, Lorna, Cumbria, uh, Sonia, you've bought three. This can be silly. I mean, I don't doubt that for one second because it has been silly for the absolute entirety of the day. Yes. Um, 38 seconds. Half yeah. a minute. Yeah. This is your call to action, lovely jewellery makers. This but, is look, where... I understand if you want to wait, but you're going to join a much bigger queue when you see the price. Yeah, exactly. Um, I already know you've got something up your sleeve. I got that, I've got that vibe. I've got that yeah. feeling in the air. Yeah. Look. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to pretend... What's he saying? El, did you just buy it? Maybe. Did you? Look, I haven't tick, clicked across yet for some reason. Have I? Oh, congratulations. Uh, 49 dollars Wow. It's a full 20-inch necklace without anything else. $49.99. Goodness me. And, you know, we looked at the, the, the other strand and those work absolutely perfectly together. Yeah. Let's put that literally together. Oh, my word. And I know wrapped around my wrist, look, that's three full bracelets. If you would uh, be that fr uh, frivolous, if you like, with all that jadeite. Um, but, yeah, an over-the-head necklace, maybe alongside the larger size that you brought a few moments ago. Dave, it's £12.50 on split pay. £12.50 on your split pay. Ah, oh, have I checked out? Have I, I thought I had. Have I checked? There you are. I see you. You haven't come across yet. Oh. Have you? Oh. Uh, Minute clock. Sorry, Wayne. I'd love to pretend that this is planned. I'd love to pretend that, like, you know, this is some sort of little rehearsed thing that we've got going on. But I'm actually terrified. Of yeah, he's, he, he, I don't know what what what, the, what, what he's gonna Wayne's gonna look like. There you go. I've ticked across now. There we go. Um, and all mine will be the seed pills that we had. Yet we had some seed pills yesterday, which I oh, think yeah. are absolutely beautiful. I heard um, you and uh, Gemma talking about them earlier. Yeah, how rare they are, how difficult they are to get. Really difficult, aren't they? And to drill. Yeah, very difficult. So this alongside seed pills and a really beautiful long line style necklace. Um, okay, I, I, again, I'm not sure. I'm, I've got a feeling that this is going to be something that we don't want to miss out on. You talk about quantity. Well, I've got 200 at the beginning of the auction. This is my price. If I had 100, it's my price. If I had. 60. Yeah. But I've got 200. And it's already ridiculous. Mm hmm And we've got five seconds. 
But again, if we're going to do these deals, guys, we all have to we all have to play our part. So can I have a, can please may I have another minute? And the reason I'm asking for another minute is I want to see 200 of you on the phone lines. Come on, I need to see 200 of you on the phone lines because I am I am going to. You know me. You know that. Or if you don't know me, I'm not going to take just five pounds off or a little chunk of this. I know I've got to move on this price to get 200 out. But you guys need to be on the phone lines, showing me that you know you, you're going to capitalise on this moment. You've got 40 seconds to show me. But 40, 38 seconds to get involved, to be part of this moment. This is jadeite. This is a colour we haven't seen before. And and if it was just the the, the wonderful apple green, the kingfisher mm -hmm. greens, that's impressive at 50 quid. Yeah. Taipei which means it's natural, but to throw in these oranges that, you know, when, when we asked if we could do this, they said, we can't do you a full strand of the oranges, but um, we but knew we'd love this colour. We knew we'd, it was like, can you put a few on the strand? And we can offer our collectors a chance to own this colour. And they have, they've put like three or four or five or six on the strand so you can get it into your collection. We've partnered it with the larger one, with the bigger orange colours and, yeah. and the ombres of green. All right, this is it. This is your moment. If you want to multiply, do it. If you want to get five, do it. The split pay is going to remain. I am sorry. Twenty nine ninety nine. It's what we've got to do, I think. Today. <coughs> today is one of those weird. We don't. Days. We don't. No. We never have we, to we, do we, that. No, it's, of course, it's, we could put it back in the vault. Yeah. Who wants to do that? I don't want. But to also, I need to remind our lovely viewers how often. In fact, I'll ask you a question. How often do you see four millimeter jadeites? Yeah. And I guess that's purely I, because I don't understand what. Like, you know, I'm not completely au fait with what you guys can do here at Jewelry Mix. Yeah. I understand jewellery. Yeah. Um, but what you guys can do, uh, you know, ah. it surely gives you that these multitude of options that you might be able to, you know, work with. And maybe you get those chances to four mils with other gemstones. And I understand we've kind of neglected this size in the Jedi. But, you know, we're trying to listen to you. I want you to be able to create those wonderful things that Elle talks about, you know, the marlers mm -hmm. and the tassels. So we've gone and got you the strand. We haven't, we haven't just, you know, gone, okay, well, we've got you the strand, there you go. We've put those ultra rare colors within yeah, it. Yeah, within wow. it. So, you know, we are giving you the best of the best. And we're at 30 pounds. I mean, this is not, quid. this is not like, uh, I don't mean to diminish or demean anything, but this is not like tiger's eye. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's not like even Laramar, which is extre extremely expensive. And yeah. Very hard to get and single source. Yeah. This is jade eye. Exactly. You know, and, and again, you might have seen a, a little bit of jade eye over the last year, right? <clears throat> You've had 12 years with Malachi. Exactly. You've had 12 years with Laramar. That's true. You've had 12 years with, 12, oh, seven with pounds Tiger's Eye. Day. You've had 12 years with Garnets and, and even Pareba Tourmalines and Tanzanites and Amethyst. Let's reframe and look at the opportunity on your screens right now. This is remarkable. I'm with you. Uh, hence why I've, uh, yeah, literally purchased uh, behind, um, on your screens, um, double figures remaining, and we're over allocated all around the world getting involved in this opportunity. You know well I'm done. Gonna do I'm, I'm going to set up uh, an Etsy or an eBay. I'm you should. I you really it. should. It's crazy. You will every, clean up. Every day I come on, uh, you know, these, these incredible channels, and I get mm. to bring these deals, and I think, what are we doing? And of course. When we look at the market value, and I'm very unique position, I get to see the market value because I go to the market and I see, um, you know, the, the, uh, Tucson, I mm -hmm. see JCK, and I think to myself, oh my God, like I wouldn't mind charging them yeah. the price that Jade actually Totally. Be. I don't want to charge you that. You know, my job is to save you the most that I can. Yeah. But like, I mean, I might just start an Etsy yeah. or, or an eBay or a website, I don't know, <coughs> and start taking some of these incredible deals that we've done. Because, you know, the, the genuine thing that I was saying earlier, saying to you, I was saying, look, with this jade out that we've managed to procure in this unique moment of time, which we can't really get right now, we might use that as a bargaining tool to get other gems. Oh, totally. And that's down to the sheer fact of how rare it is and, and how valuable it is. But why don't, I mean, I just want to set something up where I'm going to sell it. I, I'm, I'm, if this is 30 pounds and it's 70 carats of certified type A jade eye, Amazing. don't ever look at that as a 30 pound deal. It's uh, not, that's not its value. It, it, it's on the verge of selling out jewelry makers. Um, yeah, we, we're um, hugely, hugely sure, over allocated. I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's people right now that have these businesses, right? Sorry, yeah. They're, they're tuned in, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The, the reality is, you could get this home. I, I don't know. I'm not saying this is a thing, but say you doubled your money, tripled your money, mm -hmm. sold it in, in a different avenue, and all you've parted with today is seven pound forty-nine. And you've already sold it. 
Yeah. And then next month, you've got to pay 7 pounds 49 in the month after. Exactly. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Uh, Congratulations, it, it, well done it, to you guys. It's very, very, very achievable. I actually spoke to one of our lovely viewers yesterday who messaged me and said, look, you know, I, I've been making jewelry for some time, but I need to build my confidence to go actually try selling it. And I was like, you know, build confidence firstly. Start with your more affordable pieces. But if need be, if need be, you get that too. Oh, I know you get that too. But. Um, if need be, do you know what? I'll take you to a lot of my collect uh, uh, sort of connections who will absolutely snatch your hand off for jadeite. Something like this. Then can I? I've say, never seen anything the, like the, it. The, the use of the clicker a second. So I'm, you know, I talked to you about the market, didn't I? Yeah. Right. I'm talking to you guys now. If you lack the confidence right now, okay, and I understand, or you're you're sitting on the fence and you're worried, I'm going to give you the biggest tip. I'm going to give you the biggest tip right now as a friend, and I wish I could do it. I don't know if I'm allowed to do it, but I'm going to take you to the market, okay? And I'm not taking you to Bond Street or, or the, the, the beautiful jewelry stores that I used to work at. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking the, the crazy retail world. I'm going yep. to the wholesale. So this is me at Tucson, okay? This was on, 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 on a booth. This is legit. It's a one of a kind. A one of a kind on a booth. And of course, it's got some very small diamonds inlaid in the middle and on the bale and around the outer edge. That's that. And I said to the gentleman, hey, I work for a shopping network. I didn't even have to say it. I was wearing a lanyard, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you have to, to get into the show. And it says, Jem Poria Shopping Network, and it said, buyer. And he was like talking, we exchanged business cards. And I was like, this, we, we, you know, our collectors are just getting a taste for Jedi. They're just getting to see Jedi. And this gentleman, all he works with is Jedi. If you look in, if you, I mean, it's out of focus, but if you look into his booth, he's got a Jedi bangle. Bottom left, he's got some Jedi pendants. Mm -hmm. He's got that beautiful honey Jedi yep. just out of focus. You know, all he does is Jedi, okay? And he had this piece, and it, I was you know, immediately drawn to it. And I said, what would, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm an idiot, I'm naive. And I was like, well, how many of these could we get? And he was like, it's a one of a kind, sir. <laughs> right? And it's like an estate piece or whatever. He's acquired that from like an estate sale. He was Chinese, he, you know, he, he works with the miners as well. And he was like, this is a one of a kind. He goes, because of the depth of color, because of the size, mm. right, which you look at. It's, and he, this is where he explained the term the haigu, because at this point in my life, I'd only ever seen the, what we call the pie yep. symbol or the donor, yep. which is a much larger internal ring. And he was explaining that, look, the haigu is the, the, the hole in the center has to be exactly central. It has to be one fifth the diameter. He's explaining all these things. And he was like, and this is, and in, you know, it's a valuable piece of jade. And I was like, okay, so it's a one of a kind. I thought, okay, well, still, we're at wholesale. If I, if we can get the incredible deal on this, maybe we could bring you guys either at Jewel Maker or at Gemporia. I didn't know where it was going to go at this point, but I was like, what would the price be on something like this? What, what would the price be on something like this? You know, wholesale. But when I say wholesale, what I mean, just in layman's terms, I'm not trying to belittle anyone. Just know, maybe it's your first interaction. What I mean is, this guy's selling me this at the lowest price and he's expecting me to make a profit on it. And a, you know, the profit margin usually, we're absurd here, but usually is about three or four times the price you yep. pay okay, in a jewelry store. Yep. Okay? So he wants me, to, okay, let's just say he's just, imagine I take the smallest margins out of any jewelry store that I know of, and I go, okay, I'm just gonna double it. Mm -hmm. what, what would I have to sell it for? Well, his price to me was $10,325. Wow. Okay? If you are on the fence right now, and maybe you've got incredible jade and you've designed incredible jade pieces of jewelry with the jade we've bought to you, and you just want that one significant piece. You want the, something like that. You want that one incredible piece to be on your website. Okay, and you don't even have to sell it, do you? You can just- That flagship it. piece. The flagship piece that lets everyone know you're serious. Like our Arthur Ivy. 100%. We never sell it. We bring no. it out because we want you to know, look, we, we are serious. We're experts. We have bought $40,000 Canary Diamonds. Yeah. You know, we, we want you to know that of course, we're always trying to provide you the best deals, but we also know a lot about the jewelry. You know, we bought the biggest Sarai that was mined ever at the time. If you want that piece on your website or on your Etsy page or on your eBay page, and you're looking at that, and you know what? Come up to your screen right now and take a picture of that if you want. You can use that image. I'm letting you use that image. Yeah. You want to put that, and you can put Tucson 2022. Wholesale. Wholesale prices for something like this. And then I'm going to offer you your flagship piece, okay? This is it. Okay? Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can get it on that camera if you want. Thank you, guys. I know, I know it's difficult because we're in the studio. There's wires everywhere. Thank you, Stephen. Um, but yeah, that's... Wow. 
Okay. Both sides as well. Beautiful. Yeah, stunning. Natural and colour. And going to go, oh, do you know what? Also as well, I'm, I'm going to throw something in for you as well, just to sweeten the deal, to give you an incredible deal. And Elle's going to go, how about a strand as well? A an endless A metre, yeah. A metre long length. Jada, this is maybe the most ridiculous deal we, we're, we're going to do here. Let's be honest. Look at that. Imagine if I'd have said to that guy at Tucson, throw in a metre of jade as well, will you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just... It, it, yeah, it's okay. ridiculous. You're right. It is. It is a ridiculous deal, because this on its own. Yeah. Let but me check just. This out. This is how confident I am. I just signaled to Elle. She knew what I was thinking. I knew what you meant. I want to see translucency. This Look. is incredible. At that translucency. This veining of colour. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know what, Elle? You hold the light, and yep. I'll, I'll move the jade. Yep. Okay. If yep. I can get in a position. Is my arm blocking anything? But, you know, as we rotate this, we're going to open wow. up. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look, it's literally imperial green. Yeah. I cannot see the screen, so I don't know if I'm blocking anything. No, it's but perfect. I just want to showcase all the way around this level of transparency. Okay. Wow. Right. How many do we have, Ben? 50 available. I, I, I can't even guess the carrot weight on something like this. All right, let's go to a third of the wholesale price. Let's go to three grand. Yeah, yeah. especially yeah, considering the fact that you've got that metre long length of jadeite as well, yeah, also yeah. Type, type A. Also type A. I don't, that, that almost doesn't get talked about enough when I'm bringing this, uh, when I, with this opportunity. But please know it's there. Yeah. 255 carats collectively. That's absolutely huge. It might be the biggest jade I, like, uh, circle of heaven we've ever done. Yeah, possibly. And I, I get, is it risky actually carving these because you've got that central? Yeah, of course it is. Well, I suppose the same with the mangle. Fault and... line, if you hit a fault line or you hit a, a, you know, a, an internal crack or a fissure, then the whole thing's going to break. The whole thing is going to shatter. Look at that. It's incredible, isn't it? That intense imperial green. Okay, I just hope that you're ready for this because there's not another 50 hiding somewhere. The chances of us repeating this deal are impossible. Mm. And I just, look, we're not, we're not going to be at the price on your screen, but I just want you to be ready. Okay, so Anne, you've checked it out. Sonia, you've checked it out. Linda, you've checked it out. There's 46, 47 opportunities remaining. I'm just letting you know right now, this is your moment. This is your moment to get this. We are going to make it affordable. We're going to do what we do. And as, as, as a collector myself, as someone who would love to, to, to work with, make my own jewellery and to, to have my own boutique, I'd love to do it. I'm offering you the chance right now. And, and that is it. Look at that. This is... I was about to say Bonhams of the future, Sotheby's of the future. It's Bonhams and Sotheby's of now. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is literally knot it. Yeah. And we can show you how. Okay, I'm going to take a minute clock. I have to kind of stagger this auction a little bit, okay? Um, just to, to manage the kind of response that we are seeing. So Dorothy, you've got it. Lancashire, you've got it. County Antrim, you've got it. Cardiff, you've got it. Hampshire, you've got it. Greater London, you've got it. You've got it. I've got a queue as well. But we are only taking confirmations on a piece like this, just so you understand. Let's just reference people that have checked out on something like this. Yeah. Uh, there's always going to be hundreds in baskets of something like this. It's a, it's a wish list piece. Absolutely. But let's, we're just going to talk to the collectors that are confirming that are checking out. Everyone's going to pay the final love price. It's on split pay. Right now, it's, a, it's an irrepeatable deal. That's what we have to understand. Dorothy has actually bought two. No, I don't blame you, Dorothy. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to do the unthinkable right now, okay? And I'm still nowhere near done. Most I'm actually nowhere near done. Most of us would imagine seeing something like this in a museum, Dave, wouldn't we? 100%. Uh, you know, it, never being able to hold that kind of car uh, sort of hold yeah. something of that scale. I'm just looking, what? No, 255 carats in the high goo yeah. and 489 carats in the rounds. And now I'm going to take off. £2,000. And I'm still not done. I'm actually 
nowhere near that. I'm so far from done that I'm just staggering it. I'm just letting you know how crazy an opportunity like this is. You know, if I'd have said to that gentleman when he's got the $10,325 in the calculator, if I'd have said to him, can you just take two grand off that, which would still make it $8,325. Yeah. It'd be a flat and half. Yeah, of course it would. There'd be no bartering. I've just taken two thirds of my price away. Yeah. And I'm at a thousand pounds and I'm nowhere near done. It, it, it is so true. It would be literally a point blank no. Yeah. Point blank. I, I don't know if I'd have got the $325 off a piece like that. Because no. Because it's just wholesale. And it's one of a kind. It's a one-of-a-kind one opportunity. It's extraordinarily special. Exactly like what's on your screens right now. Goodness me, £250 on your split pay. Okay, I'm going to take a minute clock. Oh, now, this next price, still, happening. still, by the way, and I want to remind you, even if it sells out Wayne and Ben, don't get excited because I'm still going to go again. Okay. Even if it sells out of the price that I call right now, which realistically I think it might, I'm still taking, and, and quote me, hundreds off the price you're about to see. Okay, hundreds. So you know, there's no escaping the kind of deals that we're about today. We are, we are doing these unbelievable. I want this as well. Well, L. Yeah. Get on your phone, mate. I'm yeah. serious because this is going to go. And sometimes, you know, L and I are friends. She might reach out to me and go, "Well, can you see if we can get another one of those for me?" And sometimes I will if I can. Not today. You I'm, won't I'm be telling able to. You, I'm telling you live on TV. If you want to get it, then join us. But. Um, Dan. You know that beautiful zircon that we had this morning? Oh, yeah. Can I borrow that? Literally, Thank you, Dan. so we could drop it in the centre. Yeah. Oh. Literally drop it in the centre. Yeah, 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 100%. Oh, right, my um, goodness me. Okay, this is probably going to sell out at this price, just to warn you. We are only taking confirmation, so I'm not referencing how many people are on the phone line. Mm -hmm. I see the demand on the phone lines, I get it. At this price, this is when people are going to migrate over into the confirmation lane and then it might sell out. But even when that happens, I'm promising you, I'm saying it live on TV, so you can record it, and they're going to have to do it. I'm still going to take hundreds off the price. <laughs> so my first crash, again, this is unthinkable, half the price. Half? Yeah, half the price. Wow. We're serious today. It's one of those days. I've just figured out the split pay. That's absolutely yep. incredible. Thank you, Dan. Wow. If everybody checks out, it is a sellout. Yeah, again, imagine. we are not even referencing those phone lines. I know it's blistering yeah. with something like this. It always is. We are just managing the confirmations right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, it is, it's got to be, Dave, one of the biggest pieces we've done. That's on, I what, 750 be, yeah. carats um, across, um, ac across the entire piece. And we had this, by the way, in the early bird hour. And you might need a mount, but uh, hang on, hang on. You need. You can put one of the mounts that we had earlier on. I take a minute clock, guys. My final deal's coming now. What? That, that's not your final deal? Nope. Look. I mean, I'm sorry. Look at that. Wow. Jenny's just bought two. Well done. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Let me, let me hold it forward. Yeah. Hang on. One second. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at okay, that. Okay, Jenny's bought two. Sonia's bought two. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. As it, I, I was not expecting you to go under £500 today, uh, I'm Dave. taking hundreds off the price. Really? Yeah. 750 carats. I mean, we haven't even talked about the strand. No, exactly. Yeah, we haven't That's even talked exactly about the 500 carat strand. Yeah. Well, 489 carat strand. That's remarkably beautiful as well, and yes. also has the most incredible translucency, all of the above, and everything that we've been discussing so far. Yeah, it almost feels unjust, doesn't it? Are we you haven't ready? Mentioned that. Are you ready? We only had 50. I believe just under half the stock's already found a home. For every single one of you, I'm gonna, we're going to authorise a, a crazy deal. Take two hundred pounds off the price. Yeah, take two hundred pounds off the price, and it's a sell. No, it's going to be a sell. You know, wow. I mean, two hundred ninety nine for. No, I, I can't. Even, it shouldn't be two hundred ninety nine each. Nope. Nope. But you've tuned in at one of those kind of special moments. 
Special, special It's moment. beyond special, Dave. Again, yeah. we're going to look back on these occasions, aren't we? You know, fast forward. This is how my mind works. You know, we're going to... These wonderful Because you've been there so many times. Yeah. You, you, it's, it's that kind of self-fulfilling prophecy, isn't it? It's like we, we've been there so many times. Yeah. As, as a group, mm. Brazilian Pre Tumalin, you know, Russian Alexandra. Yep. You know, we, 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 we've had these opportunities before. We give you these Argyle diamonds, give you these incredible yeah, deals, true. and then they disappear. And, you know, that's, that's, the, that, that's the fate for certain gemstones. That is the fate. And right now, we are experiencing this special moment. And when we get a great deal, we pass on that great deal. It's what we've always done. It's what we've always been about. Do you know, it, 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 I remember, not, go back probably 2013, 14, and somebody actually saying to me, oh, you say tanzanite's rare, but it's on our screens every single day. It's not now. It yeah, isn't anymore, is it? We used to do tanzanite days. Yeah, it's not we? anymore. You tanzanite days. You the, know what, I'll take a minute clock. To close the auction? No, I'm going to take some more off this. We've got one more piece to squeeze in. All right, don't give me a minute clock. Let me just save you a little bit more money on this piece. Ben, just take 50 pounds off. Sorry. <laughs> Did you just hear our lovely Wayne again? Yeah, and uh, again, what? look, we, we have, we said we have one more deal. Yeah. We have one more deal, and uh, um, if you want to squeeze it in, that's fine, but I'm just going to do a killer deal because I'm not going to keep Gemma waiting. We're gonna sm go going to smash the price right down on the next piece. Give an incredible deal. You've done that every... I know. Oh, oh, there's a big quantity in the next auction as well. Oh, wow. So we've got to go ultra low. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's okay. do it. Guys, um, wow. So we have one more Haigu coming your way. Oh, my goodness. So for me. those of you that maybe found this a little bit out of your price bracket, which I get, I've still gone to a killer deal. This, this is, is beautiful. White. And, and we'll get the graphics in straight away for this one. I, I Stay holding for the previous this. piece. This is one piece. And you, Elle, you know what Elle's doing. You can't see her right now, but you can guess what she's doing. She's getting her phone light on. Your battery must be dead, Elle. No, it's quite good by phone, wow, actually. That's good. Uh, Lucky, so this isn't is it? this is you know the, the most valuable of the jadeites. You know whether that be in in the thirteen hundreds. Wow, it has like a lavender moment to it. But whether that be in the thirteen hundreds when Wang Xiao said that white jadeite is the most valuable and only the empress could own it, or even in two thousand and eight when Richard W. Wise said a white Jadeite jade cabochon of a moderate translucency should be considered the finest of its type. Well, here's a haigu. It's 10 carats. How many do we have? You said we had a big quantity. 250. Okay, well, you guys asked for this, so it's on you, okay? Okay. I was happy to just you know, meander out the studio. Yeah. And it is what it is. I'll take a minute clock, please. You, you, know, you know what? I've got, to, I've got to shift 250, and you know it's been, it's been one of those days where you guys have, have uh. really, really, you know... Uh, made us work hard for it. Wait, 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 wait. I think, I, do you know what, I'm going to give... Oh, my goodness. If you didn't get that zircon, it was the early bird this morning. Can I show you something? Honestly, Gem, look at this. It's not set. Obviously, you'll need to do it. Dave, look at this. But that would, it's the perfect size for a ring, isn't it? Is there any chance? Oh. No, that's fine. But is there any chance we can show that on your hand? So when you on see my the hands. size of this as a ring, it's perfect. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a cocktail ring, but it's it's elegant. It's not ostentatious. It's not like no. in your face. It's subtle. It's translucent. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my word! I'm sorry. If you, pomelato or you know, Dior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Boucheron, I was thinking Dior, yeah. Or Van Cleef. This is why I need to start my own, my own. Totally. Gallery. You know what I'm going to do? You want to create that, and you guys know how to do it. I don't. 50 pounds. Do you know? Oh, that's wow. it. That's it. Like, there's the gold ring. 50 pounds? 50 pounds. And that's it. And by the way, this morning. I'm not playing any games. Um, that's me done. Seriously. There's 250 if you want it. And I'm, I'm genuinely contemplating striking a deal with Wayne or whatever's left. Well, and Wayne we, we, has just we start said... Our own, we start our own Jadeite Gallery, Wayne, okay? Can I join in? And Al, you join anyone. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not, and I'm not going to promote it to you guys on TV because we're going to go and attack that high jewellery market and go and get the right price for this. Yeah, thing. totally. Uh, Wayne has just said in my ear, he's like, Al, there's no white... We haven't got any white Jadeite. Yeah. You know, it is... It oh, is, boom. I'm buying Carolina a... Carolina Yes! A ruby. Do we have one? No, probably not. 
The one that we sold earlier on. Do we have that ruby no, still? Worry. But I mean, a ruby in the centre of that. that yes, Caroline. And it ever. was a beautiful ruby as well. And we know that Chow Tai Fu, who are the, one of the biggest jewellery houses in the world, based in Hong Kong, been around since the 1930s. They are the Far East equivalent of Tiffany & Co. They've created the world's most expensive necklace. It's $200 million. And it's, it's got, in the centre of it, it's got a 100 plus carat type 2A cullen and diamond. <laughs> wow. Internally flawless. And you know what? They've haloed around the outer edge of it. White jade. Wow. It's $200 million necklace. Amazing. And Dave. That's, that's the look, essentially. But I, as again, as I said, uh, congratulations to all of you. The, the, whatever's left is yours. But I know uh, the wonderful Gemma's got an incredible masterclass coming your way. Um, Elle, it's been uh, wonderful to get as to spend always. the morning with you and with you guys. Thank you for taking the time to join us. It has been incredible. And um, again, just... If, if, if Gemma is not enough and Elle's not enough, you've got Ben producing. I know. In the prices he's doing. I know. You've seen the prices. I know, guy. he's pretty wicked. Incredible. Uh, so Paul's feeling a little bit put out right now. So. Oh, well, you've got the incredible Paul as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul's yeah. Incredible Paul. <laughs> and Stephen. And Steve. And yes. Wayne. Yeah, come on, they're all there. They're all amazing. Dave, no, truly, um, thank, thank you, you so Cheers, much. Man. We really do absolutely love you, um, yeah. uh, in particular for these kind of deals as well. Um, yeah. Amazing. And I know thank you're you. back tomorrow with the most beautiful strand of pearls. If they let me. If Hopefully. Me, yeah, I'll, I'll be tuning in for okay. that one. Do not go anywhere, though, lovely jewellery makers, because coming up, it is that mermaidial headdress that was created oh, by... Oh, yeah, I saw this on social media. It's, it's awesome, incredible isn't it? incredible with the shells. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. By the wonder that is, our Gemma Crow will be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join us for the Tales of Jade. This is a gemstone that has been revered for well over 4,000 years. It has been uncovered in archaeological sites dating back to the Neolithic era. Every single dynasty that has ruled over China has valued this stone above gold and us mere mortals are never meant to own it. After visiting Myanmar in 2018 and hearing about the stories from that part of the world, from that side of the border, we wanted to bring to an event where we uncover the true tales of Jadeite, steeped in folklore and mystery. This event is where you collect to get to experience all the different varieties, all the different colors, Essentially, every jadeite we have ever acquired, that we have ever procured from the Far East, will be available for a limited time only and for the best and incredible deals. This is your chance to get your jadeite happily ever after. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker.
interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our facebook page jewelry maker happy to help Make sure you join us this Saturday on Jewelry Maker for Rumble in the Jungle. And we've got everything you would expect to see. So amazing deals on amber. We've got incredible animal charms, animal themed kits. We've got seed beads. We've even got a sterling silver elephant wearing a peridot. See you then on Saturday. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewelry makers, and welcome back to you. Oh, thank you very much. Beautiful, beautiful Gemma Crow. Oh my goodness. Gemma, this is absolutely incredible. What? And lots of us, Dave was saying, I saw this on Facebook. Mm, I agree. <sighs> I've, you are. I think you can tell. I've, I've not stopped going on about it. I just love, I love making things like this. And I absolutely love putting all these gorgeous components together to make this. Headless. And this is very much you, actually, because I can remember you doing that body chain. Yeah, I do a lot of costume. I'm talking to Stephen today about it. I do a lot of costume things, a yeah. lot of um, sort of, headwear and it's just my favorite thing to do oh I, I, and things that you've actually worn out as well yeah. i can remember yeah, you doing that dress. yeah <laughs> yeah i mean i'm literally ordering on that river website and you'll see me in one of those <laughs> uh fancy dress costumes in a vt that's coming up it's dreadful oh, but you get oh about. it's terrible <laughs> it's terrible that's what we were discussing earlier on did you see it i can't wait to see oh it. it's horrendous like, do you know and i was like oh i'm not paid enough for this honestly i'm not it's you'll <laughs> laugh you'll think it's absolutely brilliant anyway anyway by the by um but this is what you really are known for um now we have your kits i'm literally going to race through the kits and then Gemma, you obviously uh, take as long as you wish um and you were bowled over by the price of these kits weren't you? i'm amazed i'm amazed somebody asked me how much i would charge for a piece like this <clears throat> um that's an Instagram. interesting question and i said I, I i don't know because i don't know how much the materials are going to cost because they're gemstones and shells and they're, you know, really um, quality materials. I was thinking that, you know, materials would probably take up a big chunk of, of the price. So I said, well, probably around £200. Mm -hmm. And now I know the price of materials. I feel like maybe I overpriced. Oh, well, uh, that's, I mean, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's a good thing. Um, you're getting a really beautiful selection of your shells, or what I always call unicorn shells. That's what uh, yeah, create that shape. Um, sorry? Have I picked up the wrong one? Ah, oh, sorry. Hang on, it would be, wouldn't it? It would be. Always the way when you're rushing. Elk. I just saw pink and I picked up the pink, but there's pink and blue in that one. That's a nice oh, picture. Oh, this is the this is the one that you've actually. Oh, that's a lovely picture. In fact, it's yeah. far better actually working off that than what I'm about to show you. Um, but let's talk about everything that you get here. You've got a beautiful length of chain. So you've got what a meter long length of some really nice chunky yep. chain. Yeah, nice chain. Great for hanging links on. So nice open links. So that's creating all all this. The beautiful oh, cascades yeah. around the ear. Um, of the headdress and then literally gather can you see this sort of gathering across the headdress also so you can see where Gemma has actually used the chain in here then you've got your lovely little stars which I think you can already see you're getting a pack of 10 of those um, and you've got your cup chain which I, oh, I mean it just add, it's the finishing touch it it really does make all the difference having that twinkle in there that spark yeah definitely the little bit bit of bling yeah. alongside uh, yeah. alongside the shell um so your cup chain i'm looking for that length it uh, looks approximately 20 centimeters 
Let me just, uh, 30 centimetres, I beg your pardon. Uh, then you've got these really beautiful, like, coral, pinky coloured shells. Um, you're getting five of them in total. I learned something the other day, Gemma, that, and that's that um, you shouldn't just collect shells off the beach. Really? Why not? Apparently, they do, apparently you can you can get fined for it because they're whole ecosystems. Yeah, well. There you go. There you go. But these are literally um, farmed. L uh, Linda told me that. Oh, right. Linda told me that. So these are all harvested. So okay. you can collect these absolutely fine. Um, look at all of these. Lots of lovely. Beautiful things. shells. Yeah, lovely selections of them as well. Really nice shapes and. So if you said you were selling this headpiece for £200, that's £100 profit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, um, but you've also got to remember the time. Yeah. So actually, it's probably going to be more than £200, isn't it? Yeah, it would be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because I shouldn't imagine you whip this up overnight. Well, no, it wasn't, no. A labour of love? No, do you know what? It doesn't take that long. It's, and it's such a pleasure to do. It's sort of, you forget how long you're working on it. But I'd say... I reckon there's about 10 hours in there, okay. eight, eight to 10 hours. Now you've got your shell pearls. We're very keen to get on with the demonstration. So what we're going to do is do a 60 second clock. You've got rhinestones, you've got shell pearl, you've got your beautiful little blue crystals just here, which I can't even see the details of. They are pale blue glass pencils. They are drilled as well. You get five of those. There's your rhinestones at the front. Then you get two strands of your shell pearl in both your six and your eight millimeter size. It's a huge, huge, huge kit um all of which creates this wonderful masterpiece now um the deal fairy's back Gemma. Oh, i can hear him i can hear him he's a back with a vengeance wand. tap tap tapping his wand away <laughs> <laughs> are you ready are you ready is there anything that i need to add to this um yeah we've got some one structural wire. wire yeah but on the, on the web, if you notice on pre-order, there's also some headbands. So if you prefer to work on a base, then you Have use, a look on the website. Know, use the base, because that might... So have you been might... shopping today, Jem? The uh, fact that you've been on the website? Just a little bit. I mean, Dave's deals, come on. Yeah, it's exactly. Ir irresistible, right? So yeah. I had to. I had to. <laughs> Don't you just love him? He's awesome, isn't he? Lovely. No, you haven't told me what you're taking this to. 24.99. I'm pretty sure that's even about five pound lower than you even told me, and I was shocked. Yeah, it is. At, shocked at that. So that's amazing. Um, and guess what? We've got two kits, which is available on pre-order, just slightly different colourway. Mm. We're going to match that price point. So if you prefer to have the sort of purpley greens, go for that kit. If you would prefer the sort both. of pinky blues or both, have both. I mean, have a purple, a pink and purple version, and then maybe a blues and greens. And oh, just have it all. Amazing. Again, yeah. shop ahead. We're going to leave the graphics on your screens for this kit. Again, have a little look on the website. The structural wire, um, the other kits available. Also, we're going to try and squeeze in as well um, mm -hmm. at some point your gemstone uh, um, box class. But okay. take it away with this absolutely beautiful creation that literally has got all of our heads spinning. Right. OK, so first things first, then I want to show you a little bit of everything. So first things first, I want to show you how to sort of get your shells into the state where you can actually use them mm -hmm. um, in your pieces. So you can use any, any glue, depends how patient you are. So if you're um, really patient, I would recommend something like an E6000 or a Hypo Cement or um, you know, a general jewelry glue and leave it overnight because that will give you the best um, adhesion. Right, okay. okay. And what I've done is I've taken my 0.6 uh, wire or 0.8 wire, it's really up to you what you're happy to work with. 0.6 is nice because it enables you to thread it through your base when we come to make that and add gemstones to, to the base too. So I've gone with a 0.6. So to attach the, um, the, the larger shells, what I've done is I've taken a piece of wire and I've made it very loose, not very tidy. In fact, if it's a bit untidy and wonky, it'll have um, better adhesion and grip. So just make a, a sort of a spiral base like so and give it a kink back so it's more like a sort of a lollipop shape. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to glue that into my shell here. Now, a handy thing to have for these is um, 
Clothes pegs, really essential tool. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so I use my clothes pegs to hold it in tight. Only so you would think up that idea, though, Gem. <laughs> I that's used them a lot. When I used to make like the cinema head pieces, mm. it was a central part of my toolkit. These clothes pegs. So I get my clothes peg. I'm just while it sets or while it dries. And if you're using a standard glue, this is essential. You will definitely need clothes pegs to hold those um, pieces in while they dry. With with the um, glue gun, of course, you can you could pretty much do it. And I'm just going to orientate this in the best way to get it flat onto the, oh, flat onto onto the shell. Okay, so just. Put that in and let that set so that it gets that good adhesion in there okay so that's how you attach the wires to these put those to the side then attaching the wires into these lovely um sort of spiral unicorn horns that's what they look like to me again we're going to use um 0.6 or 0.8 wire really up to you and i'm always cutting a nice long length because that's going to give me tails that i can add beads with or extra details later on in the design if there's too many i can just cut them off but it's better to have them in there rather than having to keep add adding so for these what i'm going to do is make a spiral so i'm going to hold the wire at the tip of the tip of my jaws of my rhinos pliers and i'm just going to start spiraling that around the jaws of the pliers okay so i'm just going like this a nice loose spiral what this is going to do is give me some adhesion when i put the glue in so it won't just pull straight back out but it's also going to allow me to sort of screw that into the shell because it's got that shape so just turn it turn it turn it and it sort of screws itself into the shell and also giving you that extra grip and then i'm going to take my glue gun or my normal glue and just almost fill fill the shell there with a bit of glue so what the glue is also doing is it's also helping them be a bit stronger as well because you know shells are quite brittle so you do need to take a bit of care with them so we'll leave that to set as well and then pretty much this, a very similar thing with these you just create sort of um bigger spirals and just screw them into the into the gems into the shell and then glue in and let them dry okay so that's those and then let's show you how to prepare these little spikes as well, where we're at it, these gorgeous pencils. So with these, again, 0.6 or 0.8 wire, whatever you want to use or whatever you've got to use. I'm going to cut, again, a nice long length. So I've got about 20 centimetres. I'm going to pass my pencil. It's got a nice big drill hole there. Pass my pencil through. And we're going to just bend. So I'm going to take this so I've got about six or seven centimeters left at the end here. Then I'm going to bend these around and, dub and cross them over on the base of the pencil, okay? Now the long tail that's left, I'm just gonna take my flat nose pliers or chain nose pliers, hold onto that and just bend it upwards. So again, it makes like a stem. Um, then this shorter length, I'm going to wrap around that stem just a couple of times to hold it in place. And then take this piece of wire up onto, up onto the pencil. If you don't do that, what, what can happen is when you put it in the headpiece, it can, if it's not quite tight enough, it can just fall down. So to keep it upright when we put it into the tiara, what we want to do is just take that wire around a couple of times just to hold it in place. And then we'll just add a bit of detail there with a spiral to finish it off and make it more mermaidy. Okay, so just a spiral on the end of that wire to help that out. Okay, like this. So that one now is ready. So what I would do is make lots of these components, get them all ready, and then I'll just have a big batch of them. Let me bring, I'm just going to clear this board a moment. It's going to get messy. Hold on, I'll move this board. I'll bring in a new board. Oh, a new board. A new board, a new Here's clear one board. She prepared earlier. <laughs> I've got so many bits here. Um, okay, so here's all my components that I've got ready. Look at those. So I get them all ready and have ready them. Already looking fabulous. Have them ready. Now, what I may have done before this stage is done a, like a brief layout. So I might have just positioned my shells onto a bit of a layout to see what works where mm -hmm. and, and where I want the main components. Okay. Yeah. So get all those ready, and then it's time to make the base. Now, if you've already got a tiara base, you don't need to do this. Um, but if you haven't and you want to make your own, 
Then we're going to make, a, we're going to plait some, some one millimetre wire together to create this band. I like the band because it's quite a heavy piece. So it's nice because it sits around the back of, back of the head. And if you want to, you can pop it like underneath a ponytail. Oh, that's a good idea. To stop it falling or coming loose. So yeah. it's good for security when it's on as well. So I've got here in my vise, I don't know if you can see that there. Mm -hmm. Here in my vise, I've laid out six lengths of um, one millimetre wire. Okay, so I've got six in there. Do you want me to tilt it slightly? We have got a vice on the on the website as well. Um, yes. Are ready for pre-order, haven't we, Ben? And the one millimetre wire as well is on your screens um, too. So do keep an eye on the deals on the website because uh, Ben is uh, literally dropping them in throughout the course. The deal fairy is dropping them in silently. I need a new one of these. My um, this is your, is, is your is your ball seized? <laughs> yeah. <It has. laughs> The ball oh, really has. What? Well, yeah, I need a new one, so I shall be. I should have been <laughs> shopping for this. Oh, what about like WD forty? <laughs> Just bash it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's at a very strange angle, but we're going to live with it. Yeah. Okay. So what I've done is I played out six six lengths. Now they were a long length, so it's a, about a metre each because it does shrink because of the crisscrossing over when you plait. Yeah. So you want about a metre to work with. Okay. You want it to go all the way around your head and we want to create a little bit of a V. I saw you doing v. this and you kept going, literally going back to your head. Yeah, because I, I just up. used my head to measure it. So I just kept going, no, not long enough, not long enough, keep going until I've got the right length. And then we want a little bit over so that we can create a bit of a V oh, nice. to create that shape. Yep. Uh, and then we join it together. And we also want a bit over so that we've got extra lengths of wire to crisscross over to get everything um, joined together. Mm -hmm. So to plait, just in case you've never done this with wire, the key here is to keep this flat. Don't lift your hands up and down. We're going to take our hands side to side, OK? They're never going to go up and down. OK. So what we want to do is keep those, those wires parallel um, and parallel to one another. Don't let them cross. So we'll take one set under the other. And we just keep doing this. So one set under, and we just keep going. I'm not sure if I've even got this tight in to the vice now that I've. No, I haven't. Tighten that up. Okay. So take the the sets over and under, and like no lifting. So we're just trying to keep them as flat as possible, and that's going to make our braid comfortable to wear, and that's the key. So if you're finding you're getting it's difficult to get your tension, put your thumb and finger over the last little um, crossover you did, hold that in place and then pull the other one underneath and you'll get that same sort of um, nice uh, tension in the plait all the way through. But remember, again, don't worry about this too much. It is really just the base. You're not actually going to see the plait at the front. So this first part is actually at the front of the head. Mm. Oh, OK, um, yeah. So, you know, the first part is often the, the scruffiest bit, you know, if you're getting started. Um, so don't worry about that because you really won't see it. It's, it's just it's the frame. It's hidden behind a shell, isn't it? Yeah, and it's just the frame that we stitch into all the way around. OK, so you carry on until you've got the length of plait you need for your headpiece. And then I think I'm going to get this out of here and out of the way. So here's one I've got, I've you made earlier. earlier. You were okay. so desperate to say that. Really. <laughs> Here's what I prepared earlier. Um, and it, it's, it's uh, ready to go. So now what I want to do is make sure it's flat so it's a lot of wire. And it'll be quite stiff, which is what we need it to be for the structure. OK, so just sort of shape it into the rough shape you want. And we're going to allow these wires to cross over. So this first bit that's been in the vise, we probably want to undo that a little bit just to give us a bit more space in between our plaited sections. OK. So let's undo it a little bit. OK. We just give it a wiggle to make it straight. OK, so now we're just going to basically try and join these together as neatly as we can. So we've got to remember that this is the front of your head. So this is where sort of it's going to be touching your skin. And so we don't want it too lumpy bumpy. So we're going to do the minimal amount of um, crossing over as possible. Remembering that when we add lots of pieces in, it's also going to act to stitch it together. So we don't have to go overboard with how we do this. So I'm just going to take 
two from one side of my, of my piece and sort of slot it through the other side, pull. Um, don't, and, you know, don't get too caught up with which two you take, just, just get them locked in together. So even with just those two over, I'm going to bring those up to the top. So even that is already hooked this in, in place. So then we've taken one set from this side to that side, so now we're going to take one set from this side to the other side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just find the best and easiest two to get to and get those combined. So that set's come over to the other side, and we're going to bring those up to the top two. Okay, so pretty much that's our frame done. So if you can see any pieces that you think look a bit vulnerable, just tuck them in, help them to cross over one another until you get that frame and that V shape formed. Okay. So I'll just get that into the right position. And, and then we can start adding shells etc into it okay so it just seems it seems it's still a little bit loose so i'm going to do a little bit more threading through and the other thing that i sort of want to make sure i've got is like equal amounts of wire each side because if i with something like this i i sort of want symmetry or a, you know a little bit of symmetry because i'm going to have a middle so i've got now um four strands this side, four strands this side, and four, uh, four at the top, okay? So I'm just going to trim them all to the same size. That's going to help me stay on track as well. Let me just roughly chop them all down They're a bit longer. Right, so now is the fun bit. You start building it, okay? So you've got all your components. You've got a rough idea of where everything's going. So we're now going to start taking um, our, our pieces. So this is my favourite my favorite shell. So what I'm going to do is pull that wire sort of back from where, where it was glued, and I'm just going to thread it into my um, framework. So just find the sort of centre point to take that through and pull it into position. Okay, so settle it in there. Now this one wants a bit of extra support. So what I've done is use some of these to help sort of catch it like you would a prong setting. So I've got these four wires at the top so I can bring those and hook them into that um, the shell sort of edge because you've got those lovely sort of scalloped edge to the shell. So it just pinches into place like that, and I can pinch this one into place as well, like so. Just get them in, and we're just going roughly for as much symmetry as we can get. Okay, so there's the top prongs ready. And then at the bottom, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna trim some of those off so they're not so much in my way. You will have lots of wires to deal with, and that's, you know, part of this is as much about patience and, and just figuring out ways of neatly, you know, getting rid of wires as it is about um, composition, really. So you have to sort of be a bit patient and, and just think, well, everything can make it decorative. So I've got those up. So that shell now is pretty well secured in place on there. So I can just do some um, spirals on the end of each of those to make it stay in place. So, oh, shall I do that? Shall I do that where you? Yeah. You have those those um, those clasps. Do you want us to do that? Well, yeah. Whilst you're doing the smooth yeah, release. Everybody's been asking me about those as well. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, let's do those then. Yeah, Ben's been talking about them <laughs> in my ear as well. So I, I think we need to squeeze them in, Al, because we have yeah. promised. Yeah, we have promised absolutely. Now, which one? Labradorite. I haven't got citrine. No. No. I have Labradorite, Garnet, and... 
No way. Wow. I've never seen Madeira Citrine look like this before. Oh my goodness me. Blimey. I mean, all that sterling silver craftsmanship, all of that beautiful, beautiful colour within your gemstone. 925 sterling silver. Loads of you have been messaging us throughout the course of the show, um, asking to include this um, uh, to our live screens. Yeah, of course, I, and I get it. I mean, for example, the kit that you had on just a few moments ago, mm -hmm. some really beautiful, sorry, um, some absolutely beautiful um, classic white pearls. I mean, imagine that in like a multi-strand. Literally. Yeah, gorgeous. Super simple. Yeah, absolutely. It makes all the difference having a beautiful clasp as well. Yeah, because you, yes, okay, the clasp is functional, but that doesn't mean it shouldn't be beautiful as well. No, absolutely. I think it speaks of the quality of the rest of the piece. If the clasp is good, it sort of gives um, sort of permission for the rest of it to be. Yeah. You know, totally to precious with a genuine gemstone yeah. in the center you've got what just uh just shy of three quarters of a carrot and the best thing is uh your clear quartz your labyrinth and the beautiful box class that's on your screens right now arguably one of the strongest class that you could get hold of 19 pounds and 99 pence oh or is it says ben oh okay not today and are you gonna price uh, are you gonna uh, are you gonna price compare 14 pounds and 99 pence only look at that absolutely beautiful i mean when you think about when you think about the actual craftsmanship of a box class, so basically it's like a, almost like a tongue and groove. Mm -hmm. So if I press down, can you see it's like a little wedge? There you go. And then it's obviously easier when you've got the complete finished piece of jewelry and then it literally just clicks into place. This is why, and I always mention it, always reference it. That's why when you see your vintage um, or your antique uh, necklaces and things like that on places like mm -hmm. Antiques Roadshow, they tend to have a box class because they're so yeah. strong. Yeah. They're so, strong, so yeah. strong. £14.99, you can shop ahead. Um, let's quickly bring the, bro uh, the moonstone on here. Okay. And your labradorite is coming up, which I have to tell you, is is ridiculously beautiful. There it is. We're going to match that price tag. Beautiful moonstone in the centre. That wonderful ethereal, natural purity. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. This would look beautiful with something like the pearls, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Moonstone is so ethereal, isn't it? It sort of goes well with pearls, I think. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Again, make sure you do check out your baskets. That's a six millimeter round brilliant cut. All that 925 sterling silver that's invested within your, uh, your box glass. Um, many people, you know, all those of you that have message throughout the course of this morning show you, it's, it's something that we um, come across quite frequently, actually, box glass, box glass, because, you know, with, especially with the gemstones like today that we've yeah. actually been, uh, we've been lucky enough to get hold of with, um, with lovely Dave, um, you're going to want to invest in the luxury of your clasp as well. £14.99, but are you ready to melt the phone lines? Go on then. Because a lot of you, in particular, messaged about the Labradorite box clasp. And, and I, I get it. I, I really get it. Look at it's beautiful. This should be called blue sheen labradorite. Look at that. You know, it is about that's that cherry on the proverbial cake. You know, when you're making the most beautiful pieces of jewelry and you invest all that lovely time, we've promised we will match the price. We've promised that we will match that price point. How many do we have of these then, Ben? Oh, 70. That's not going to be enough, especially when A, Labradorite still is one of our most popular gemstones. Um, C, uh, sorry, B rather. <laughs> Wait, I just missed out B. Just missed out B. <laughs> Why? Sorry, <laughs> just shouted letters of the alphabet. No, B, the fact it's as beautiful <laughs> as this. Seven, no, C, <laughs> sorry. Um, also, look at that quality. Look at that quality. Are we going to match that price point? 
It's a favourite. I think everybody's favourite. No, we're not. We're surpassing that price tag. There are 70 of these available. That's it. He had a little trick up his sleeve, didn't he, Arben? What a mischief. An absolute mischief. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's going to sell out for sure. Um, I don't blame you for getting quantities like threes, twos and fours. They are a necessity, aren't they, Jim? Yeah. And we don't yeah. see them all the time, do we, box class? No, I, I'm always trying to uh, accumulate nice and interesting yeah. clasps because it does, it does. It really finishes your jewellery well. I'm going to leave that with you. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. Are you ready? I am, yeah. She is good to go. Over to our lovely Jim. Right, so I've skipped, I skipped ahead a bit, but I just left a piece to show you. So... All I did with those four sort of wires that, was, that were coming over the top, that I brought over the top of that shell, was I've just popped a bit of a spiral on, the, on each. I haven't been very tidy. I haven't been very tidy You're kicking here. that bin again. I, <laughs> I haven't been extremely tidy or neat here. But actually, you know, the organic feel of this doesn't require you to be no, all that neat and tidy yeah. either. So don't worry. So then these ones at the side, really, they're just to support because it's actually quite firmly in place there. So just for some extra decoration and to sort of finish these wires, I've just done a bit of a swirl on the sides here. So just taking the wire and swirling it a bit on the side. And then I'll leave these, these excess wires here just just in case I want to add something to them or bring in another element later. So as much as possible, I'm going to leave wires until the end. OK, so if you can bear it, um, leave these until the end. But just bear in mind, if you do try this on your own head, just to see how it's looking, just, just make sure those wires are poking outwards and not inwards so you don't poke your eye out or scratch your face, because I did do that a few times. Um, OK, so I've popped one of my shell on the other side as well. And this is what I'm going to carry on doing now. So now I've got my centre. I just keep coming to either side and adding a new element each time. So adding in the second, um, sh the third shell then, I want it to be about the same distance um, as, as the other side. So I'm just going to do that roughly by eye. So roughly this far apart. Pop in my wire through the frame. And this time I want to position it sort of at a slight angle. So just positioning it at an angle like that on the frame. And then the wire at the back, we've just got it through through the frame there. And we're just going to take it um, and sort of hook it around the bottom of the shell because you've got all these little anchor points in the shell, either these corners. And don't worry if one's got a corner and one hasn't, one side, because all this is going to be sort of covered. Um, yeah. So wrapping it round, making sure it's secure. So whatever you need to do to make sure that this um, stays in place. I'm just going to take that back through the frame again just to make it nice and tight. So um, if you want to thread up through that plat, it's good just to put a little kink on the end of the wire and it sort of helps it act like a hook to get in and through in those tight, tighter areas. So give, them a, give that a pull with your pliers. Tighten it up. If you do find you've got loose bits, loose loose wires, and, I've got and, loose it's, bits. <laughs> and it's not, um, and you know it's not holding very well, get your get your pliers onto the wire. So hold onto the wire and just give it a twist. That sort of pulls it taut. Okay. Don't do that with your loose bits. <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only that was easy, as easy as a twist of yeah. wire. OK, so then you can bring this wire up and you can do something decorative with it if, if, you, if you want to, you know. So lots of loops and swirls. And remember, this is of the ocean. So, you know, swirls and things are just going to resemble waves and bubbles oh, and yeah, things like that. Beautiful. So use as many as you want. OK, so now I've got this positioned. It might be a good idea to have. I've got my, my poor Polly, my, um, my poor polystyrene head. She's sort of my model when I want to check that things are in the right place um, and how things are looking and the layout. So it might be worth having something like that to have, you know, handy yeah. to work on to. The styrene goes straight through me, bottle of styrene. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? It's a funny sound. Yeah, it's, it's really awful. Right, the next thing then is to start adding in your other components. So um, it, here it's all, about, it's all about just positioning them where you want them. So I wanted a centre a centerpiece so these work well as a center giving me that bit of height so now I can just decide okay so I want that one in there 
Um, so I'm just going to find a point on the frame to bring it through. So just going to, again, put that little curve on the end of the wire to help it hook under, under the frame. Right, a bit more, a bit more of a hook on there. Hook it under. Oh. And grab a hold of it and pull it through. Okay, so just pull that down the two at sort of at the point that you want it to be at the back. And then I would go through again to like almost like tie it in. So the nice thing about working with wire is that it really holds position well. So come back under the frame, tie it in, pull it nice and taut, nice and nice and tight so it's wrapped in well. And then these tails particularly the 0.6 tails that you've got left. These are what we use to start clustering our pearls and things around the base. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just show you how to, how to sort of bring some of your beads in. So if I take some of my um, purple ones or some of my white pearls here. And you've got the two different colors of kits as well, yeah. depending on you know which color you prefer. I can't wait to finish doing this one in the purple, so I think I thought I was going to love the blues and... Purple's lovely and too, isn't it? Terracotta's the most, but actually... I so you're doing it. these parts now, are you just like introducing Yeah, so I'm just showing you how to, how to sort of infill. So what you'll do is you'll add all your components in exactly the same way as I've just shown you. So just laying out each component into position around your piece. And then you'll have these spaces in between and you want to fill them up. Mm -hmm. So you want to cluster your pearls and things like that. So you just take... take um, whatever size pearl sort of fits the gap you're trying to fill. And sometimes you can add on two pearls to fill the space. So I'm just gonna add one here as well. Mm -hmm. Right, and just sort of position them around the frame, wrap them round. Okay, and then if you want to um, make this a bit, a bit fuller, this cluster, just bring in I bring in another another pearl like that over the top and you might want another one down there so up to you which color you choose <laughs> okay and then hook, hook the wires in. So it's, it's not an exact science, this. It's not something, you know, I think you can look at it and feel like it's a bit daunting because there's so much going on, but it is just a case of putting your main things in. It's like making a map, you know, making your main lines, your main features, and then filling it up with lots of smaller building. details. Yeah, it's building. And that's what's so lovely about it. You can keep coming back to it. Um, I've got no idea what you two are talking about, but um, Ben says to collector in the Surrey. It's collector in Surrey. You're welcome. I don't know what you're talking about. He says I'm not going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> okay, right then. So these little ends of wire, some of them you'll just want to cut away and get rid of, and some um, of the some of the wires you want to do something decorative with. So maybe you frame. Frame one of your um, pearls with that wire. That can look quite nice. And we can do a spiral. So spirals are always win. You know, they're always good. So spirals will work. And then we'll spiral that in and make it sit on top of the pearl. And there you go. So that's that one wire finished, okay? So really, you know, don't worry about all these ends. They will all come together and it's like, it all looks messy, and then all of a sudden, it all just works out. And you can just, um, you know, play and add extra pieces on. So, uh, again, just, you know, just take your time working around. I would sort of recommend getting your main pieces in first before you put in your little details like your pearls, because it really, um, you know, it really helps to get those features in place first. 
Someone's asking the question, Gem. Uh, yeah. Can you hammer the wire to make it stronger? Um, of course, yeah, it will make it stronger if you hammer it. It's really not necessary with something like this because it's very there's strong. there's a lot. There's a lot there, it's, isn't there? It's very strong. There's no, it's, it's not going to bend out of shape without force, without actually, you know, particularly manipulating it. And I tell you, it's a really good idea not to do that, um, not to harden it. And I'll, t I'll show you why, actually, whilst we're, whilst we're talking about it. So, one, everybody's got a different shape head. So, very rarely is somebody round heads. So they're a more oval. So your head, when you put it on, you definitely got a more oval head than me because it came some out of the side. Some might say, some might say rectangular. It, and it pinched the front of your head. So mm. for me, it sat well just on the middle. So everyone's a bit different. So it means you can manipulate it if you don't harden it too much. The other thing is, is you can make this a little bit bigger if it's too small, even whilst it's in this state. Because if you pinch your plait and wiggle, Oh, it's stretching. And you see it's getting more condensed, straightening the wire, and you can gain, you know... A um, good inch, probably, gain, yeah. gain a couple of, yeah, inch or so. And likewise, if you want to make it smaller, you can compress it. So you can wiggle it and push it together to compress it to make it a bit smaller. So it's best to not, um, not harden the frame unless you're very certain what shape, you know, you want it to set in. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, you know, without it being hardened, you've got a, you've got a bit of Leeway. room for, yeah, for manoeuvre. Lovely thing about shells um, is they, these particular shells is they've got these lovely grooves that you can work into. So you can take your wire around the actual shells and that looks really nice. So just, just take it right. <laughs> oh, Benny makes me laugh, doesn't he? Making uh. songs out of everything. Right. And then that, those green shells are beautiful, aren't I they? I love these. I love this. I love this. Um, this colorway. I didn't check. I I I decided I wasn't going to paint over which one to choose. So I just like closed my Grab eyes and picked one out. And I didn't even open the other one, so I couldn't second guess myself. So I didn't even see this until yesterday. Uh huh. <laughs> so, so there you go. They, they, is, they're, they're beautiful, aren't this they? This is it. This is how you how you build things up. You just keep adding. Oh. Do the same each side. So if you do something one side, do it the other side. Keep you on track. Mm. Once it's all done. So, I mean, if you want it to be symmetrical, I guess with something like this, yeah. you can go for something maybe a little bit irregular. Yeah, as long as it's, the weight is balanced. Absolutely. I mean, it's so it started off symmetrically. And then I just thought, wow, it needs a bit do here. You go and then I, yeah, you just end up just putting things where, where you want them to, you know, where you think they're going to look good. Um, and so, you know, the shells aren't perfectly the same because well they're, they're not going to be yeah, yeah they're not going to so be you're not going to have perfect symmetry so you can go rogue if you want to it, um it's yeah. stunning it's an actual work of art and i've also just noticed i don't i hope, I hope you don't mind me mentioning you know these mm. you know what some of them you've literally put them on. oh no you haven't it's just them resting together i thought they were actually inside a pearl so you had a pearl inside them as no, well no no but you could of course yeah i mean you could do that but yeah, the, and then the pearls are just tiara twisted and, and I've added those. Some I've done separately, like on little stems and added them into the frame. Mm. Um, but others, they've been, I've had like a long tail of, so if I attach this one in, I'd have this long tail of 0.6 wire left to use. And so it, with that, I just add a pearl and twist it down oh. and then finish it off. So nothing so, was wasted? No, no, nothing's wasted. I mean, you do get a little off scraps, yeah, scraps of wire. Yeah, minute amount. But yeah, you just try and use it all. So I always do these long stems so that I've got that option. Because um, you never know, you might want to... And you might have things in your stash you want to incorporate or things you've collected yourself from the beach, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. And then just, uh, just showing you there literally uh, little individual pearls. Sort of gathered upwards. It's absolutely fabulous. So much love for this amazing work of art, Gemma. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, now, wow, what a deal. Make sure you check out your baskets on your masterclass kits as well. We've got them in two different colorways, which are absolutely beautiful. Both, both amazing. Both will make this fantastic headdress. Um, we've got one closing deal. Shall we make an absolute corker on what has been a truly, truly incredible Incredible, incredible show. Um, not only because we've had lovely Gemma, because we've had the amazing, amazing Dave. Now, it's the last deal. It's a bit of a spontaneous deal. 
It's type A jadeite. Let's make it a style bag. We've discussed at length, I think, over, uh, over the past few months, certainly with this wonderful window of opportunity, this fleeting window of opportunity that so many of you as well. And I, do you know what? Um, it, 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 it's one of those. Seize the moment or don't. It's entirely, entirely up to you. Um, but it's a moment I am absolutely relishing and enjoying because I, have, I only have to think back to my 18-year-old self when I knew of this gemstone and never in my wildest dreams imagined I'd own it. These are hand-carved, not oh. machine-carved, hand-carved, beautiful lotus flowers. But even beyond that, because if I actually show you sort of a, a side view you do get the pair by the way a side view look at this attention to detail you have that curved base which means if you wanted to wear it maybe as a ring if you wanted to wear it maybe on the wrist all of the above you can do that also you have two very discreet and beautifully uh, um, beautifully cut um, drill holes so I mean Gem you could literally put some sterling silver wire through this couldn't you yeah now on the back of what has been an absolutely amazing morning um, you might be thinking how has Ben how has Ben got hold of not one but two two natural type a jadeites on the back of the mega show that we've just had how's he got more he says i'll tell you how it's because they've never been seen outside of a kit mm. so what we need to, the simple answer then is ben alice <laughs> you've got these through alice haven't you yeah basically basically they've been in kits before never yeah. individually before um ah uh, the deal fairy it's been wonderful ben i hope you'll come back and do some more overtime with us <laughs> no i do i want you to come back i may he says Bef yeah do you yeah, want I yeah want, i want him we want him back. to go he's, yeah. he's jo jolly good fun he is he is i tell you what <gasps> oh what? how many do we have ben there are 147. Okay, okay, okay. Literally, we've got a couple of minutes. So what? Do you know what, jewelry makers? Do you trust us? Do you trust us? Listen, you shouldn't have to think too hard about that. At least I hope you don't. If you do, that's fine. Don't. It's all right. It's all good. We've done literally 300 auctions today. If you trust us and you love Jadeite, do it, Ben. Yeah. Start dialing through because we're going to complete. Did you hear it? <laughs> yes. Did you hear it? Just lowering it. Yeah. No, there's not enough people on the phone lines. Don't do it. Oh, Ben, you didn't say that to me. You said fourteen ninety nine. You were like nineteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. I was like, yeah, do it. Lenny does this again. Goodness me, that's um, they are hand carved. Oh no, I, I'm uh, yeah. You know, I've got that moment, you know, that moment of realisation when you think there's... That, like there's a P45 on its way. Yeah, sort of possibly. <laughs> there could be repercussions to this opportunity. Absolutely gorgeous. I like the fact that there's like a three-dimensional yeah. lotus flower. Yeah. Would that give you even more um, ability, I suppose, to create with, given the fact that you've got those double drill holes and you've got that really beautiful curved shape? Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, they're lovely for, for the a ring, just like, you know, me and yeah, look, statement ring. But actually, the curve is, is um, gentle to, like, be in the centre of a bracelet. Bracelet too, as well. Nice. And, you know, using that sort of um, dip all the way around to do your knotting around yeah. is going to be ideal as well. So your macrame knot's going to hug that really beautifully. Jim, you don't just get the one, though. You get two. I know, I think it's two. That's £6.50 £6 each. Really. What's he doing? Madness. Um, it will never, ever, ever be seen again at that price point. I think this is um, our lovely Ben's parting gift for you today. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I've loved every single minute of it today. I hope you have also. Um, for those of you that maybe have just joined uh, uh, joined us or maybe haven't yet had the chance to have a look on the website, loads of deals. 
that even haven't been included on the show um, are available. Look, here we go. Have we mentioned at all the, the gem tack? No, we haven't. Have we mentioned the combs? No. Um, there's loads on there. Natural colour pearls at 14.99. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you didn't tell me they were natural, loads. Ben. <laughs> when you asked that price back. point. This, this is yeah, I saw that. That that came up on it. So do have a little look and make sure you check out your baskets. Gem. I love you. I love you too. When you're back. Ah, oh, September. Yes, I think. I've just swapped it, swapped the date, so it's early September. So. Early September. Yes. Ah, yes. lovely Gemma Crow, everybody. Well, we can't wait to see you. No, I can't really wait to come back. This is incredible. Have a wonderful afternoon. Stay cool. Bye.